Welcome to the Winds of Chaos, the Dungeons and Dragons campaign where you can influence the course of the game. You can harness the Winds of Chaos, this nefarious force of change sweeping across the lands of Gondara by donating bits during the stream to help or hinder our heroes. For 300 bits, our heroes may find a useful mundane non-magical item. For 400 or 500 bits, you can buff the monsters that our heroes are facing with a minor or major mutation, respectively. Special thanks to our community's very own Bo the Distance for creating the random monster mutation table that we roll on for these redeems. For 600 bits, you can compel a player character's flaw. 700 bits grants inspiration to one player character. That's a re-roll of a d20 during a clutch moment. And for 800 bits, you can make Flutter Die roll on the Wild Magic Surge table, our community's favorite. Flutter's character, Kiona, is a wild magic sorcerer. That means that she doesn't have full control over her arcane powers, and every now and then, well, you'll just have to wait and see what happens. Finally, subscribers to the Dungeon Masters channel, that's Twitch TV slash Ghost Pepper, can harness the winds of chaos to blow a custom NPC or magic item of appropriate level into the party's path. Please DM me on Discord for more info. Oh, one last thing. If you're a regular supporter of this campaign and, and you know, redeeming or subscribing or things like that are, are, are things that you do fairly regularly, please consider subscribing to our monthly coffee plan. Uh, we use the proceeds from that to go directly towards funding improvements to the game, music, artwork, uh, subscriptions to different services that make our game that much better. Any monthly supporters get a free Major Monster Mutation, Wild Magic Surge, custom NPC, or magic item once per month. We really appreciate all of our coffee subscribers, all of our Bits Redeemers, and every single one of you who watches the game. Please enjoy the show. Hello, everybody. Flutter, welcome back. Flutter! And my headphones, apparently. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Classic. 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 Hi, guys. Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yay. Ghost, I really enjoy. Oh my goodness. Oh Bo my gosh. <laughs> Bo Bard, oh, wow. thank you so much for those 69 bits. Nice. Uh, <laughs> it's so nice to see you guys, Striker. <laughs> Bo Bard, welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing? I'm back, you guys. Oh gosh. Hi, Vinyl. I look different than last session. Yeah, I, I think that I um I had a momentary, you know, lapse and uh, things just right. went all crazy for a minute. But it's, it's back the wild now. Magic, to you know? the, yeah. the magic. Wild, right? I had a wild magic surge. <laughs> My surge IRL got real for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, volume bump on everybody's mics. All right, let me, I can probably do this on my side. How does that work? Speak. Hello. Hello. This is this is Foodle speaking. We're gonna fuck him up. <laughs> yeah. What about Mazra? What's Mazra's like victory speech? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think a bit louder. I feel I feel like she just she just like nod and like you know stoically walk away. We may not all die. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello, Metal Gear Kirby. Thank you so much for hey, that Kirby. follow. I saw that follow come in when I got back from my trip. I appreciate that. I much appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, Kirby. Boy. Kirby. Turn myself up to my god. I think mine is all right. All the way up. 
Okay, is that better or worse? Because I just turned it in a direction and I'm not sure which direction it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. Hey, Bri! Hello, Bri, what's up? Welcome, welcome! Long Bri time no coffee. see, my friend. What's going on with you? Hope all is well in your Gee, world. All the, all the... All the homies coming out. Right. All the homies coming out this lovely Saturday morning slash afternoon. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. That's the wrong way. Well, welcome everybody to this uh, very special Saturday session of Winds of Chaos, our uh, live D&D campaign here. Um, we are closing in on the end of the, uh, the Lost Dunes story arc, finally. Uh, it's taken a long time, uh, nice. but, but, these, but these guys, mostly because these guys have been so invested in it. And uh, so we're, we're finally on our way to the Tower of the Mad Mage, the headquarters of Galthor himself. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, possibly meet the big bad today. <gasps> Who knows? Um, but strap yourselves in. We're, we're planning a, a roughly five to six hour session. Um, did I miss the goodbye from Bard's Tiefling? Uh, Bard, while Bard is not playing with us today, uh, Nadani is still around. So it's not it's not, not quite, quite goodbye yet. yet. Uh, and we are hoping that Nadani uh, we're hoping that that Nadani and Bard will be able to join us again soon. Um, not, wow. not called windbags of chaos for nothing. It's That's true. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just I just looked at my notes. According to my notes, we first went through the mountain pass into the dunes in episode 54. Uh -huh. We made it to Camp Intrepid, uh, and it is episode 76. Yeah. We might, we might meet Galthor today. Wow. <laughs> yep. It's crazy. We'll see. We'll oh see. my gosh. But before we do, uh, we've got a roleplay warm up question, and we've got uh, some thank yous I to, do. to distribute. Can I real thank quick to answer two weeks yeah. ago roleplay warm up question? Because um, yep. I, I do believe that Pug nailed it with Mazra being Kiona's uh, animal that she's most interested in, or whatever that is. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the one before was what song would they sing at karaoke? Um, and uh, Woof did nail that one too. It is a show tune because her character is an anagram of Annie Oakley from Annie Get Your Gun. It would be yep. I got the sun in the morning and the mood at night. Nice. You know, nice. She's a happy person generally. Nice. At least Excellent. until Ghost gets involved. But you know. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. That's my job. That's my job. <laughs> As the dungeon yep. master, yep. Um, and you said, <sighs> I did. You said you I gave you permission. I have planned. I gave you the permission. I know. <laughs> Sometimes I really wonder why, but I did do it. <laughs> yep. Regret. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, your role play warm up question for the day, and as always, uh, if you've had a character in this campaign we would love to hear your answer from that character so you know uh how how would nadani answer this question how would ifima answer this question uh if you have a character from your own D, &D campaign uh that's kind of near and dear to your heart answer the question for them uh this question is going to be very specific to our uh, three core party members here uh which is how has the desert changed you how has your experience in the desert changed you? If your character is a uh, like an, an Ephema or a Darfin who uh, has guested in the campaign but has not uh, been part of the desert story arc, maybe you can answer how has whatever it is that you went through with the party changed you? Um, and then uh, finally, uh, how about... You know, if if you're if you're uh, have a character from from your own little uh, campaign, um, 
how has your character's experience, uh, some harrowing experience, changed that? Mm-hmm. So, while our party members are thinking about their answer to the question, uh, I've got some thank yous to distribute. First of all, thank you so much to our June Coffee subscribers. Those are Bard Owl, Shogras, and Bruce Campbell Soup. Uh, we really, really appreciate your support. Uh, your coffee contributions allow us to do a lot of awesome things like the Sirenscape, like a Roll20 subscription, uh, like a subscription to World Anvil that we are, are uh, we're right now using for our written recaps, but are slowly but surely uh, building up. I've been, I've been tinkering with it in the background and, and putting together pages and um, doing things like that whenever I do whiskey and world building streams. Uh, I do my world building on there. Um, and we have some some ideas for what we might do with some of those uh, resources in the future. So thank you so much to everybody uh, who contributed to the coffee uh, for this campaign in June. Um, and remember to use your monthly rewards. Remember to use them. Uh, second thank you is to Bow the Distance and Starborn Striker, our resident rules lawyers. They're helping us out with the rules so that we can uh, so that we can keep play flowing if we run into a, a question or a roadblock. Um, sometimes we, we go with the rules as written. Once we learn what the rules as written are, sometimes we don't. But we always, always appreciate uh, you two looking into it for us. Uh, and then finally, thank you so much to Vinyl Stencil for helping be our, our conductor of the Winds of Chaos. Uh, so anytime people spend bits uh, for, for some of those in-game rewards or monster mutations or wild magic surges or things like that, uh, it's Vinyl who is DMing me and letting me know what we need to do so that I have a nice catalog list and I don't need to stop and ask the questions. Uh, so Vinyl, really, really appreciate you doing that for us. It's a huge, huge, huge help. All right. Roleplay warm-up question. How has your character's experience in the desert changed that? Uh, Nadani has an answer already because Nadani was in the desert, so uh, she can actually answer this one. Nadani has come to accept the loss of her brother, Kalian, and that nothing can change the past. She's pivoted from seeking a way to bring him back to striving to find ways to honor him and his memory. That's sweet. I like that. Yeah. The FEMA's experience with the party reminded her that even though she had lost people she cared about in the past, that didn't mean that she couldn't find new people to care about and serve the role for them that she served for those she lost, i.e. she could be everyone's grandma until Foodle murdered her. No, it didn't happen. He didn't. They didn't make that choice. It's fine. That's the was still there. Sad, sad story. When I heard that that's what happened, I was so upset. I know. Right? <laughs> I, know. I was I was upstairs making my coffee with my Bluetooth <sighs> headphones on, and I was like, I just started laughing, and Megan's like, "What are you laughing about?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Amazing. She should know that when I when I'm walking around the house with my Bluetooth on and and I just go uh, that it's like a D and D thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> just just GM things. Yep. How about our I party? Think, I think for Foodle, especially after the. Timeless Spire. I think Foodle... Um, I think he understands Kiona a little bit better. Maybe. Or at least maybe he thinks he understands. Oh, thank you, Pi. He thinks he understands Kiona a little bit better. Um, because, you know, he was very tempted by that offer. So I think he sort of understands temptation now a little bit more and I think I think Foodle might be a little bit more hardened and determined than he was before where you know before he was just like oh we're going on an adventure and let's get everyone to safety it's gonna be great and then he's like well shit <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh his voice changed <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> new Foodle 
well, shit. I don't know if we're going to make it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. We all wake up one day and then Poodle has like an eight octave lower voice. And it was just puberty, yeah. you guys. Come on, I thought you knew about gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm Poodle now. <laughs> uh, what about Kiona and Mazra? You want me to go first? Yeah. Or you want to go first? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think Buzz like Foodle, I think it's made Mazra a lot more uh, determined between both, like, doing the Paladin thing, but also, like, also seeing the fact that there was some potential version of her that did everything that she is against. It was, makes her real mad, so she's just like, never will that happen, so... Yeah. Even at the cost of personal stuff. Right. Mm. Yeah, um, kind of likewise. I think that um, the encounter with the potential evil past self person, uh, future self person, I don't know, whatever <laughs> Kiona had encountered, uh, will we'll probably go a long way towards sealing the deal of her not actually going down that path um, because she loves her companions and um, doesn't want to be that kind of person and she is determined to uh, set things right and, and, and help out instead of being crazy, hopefully. <laughs> I can't guarantee that it's always going to be 100% not crazy. <laughs> but. There's a lot more craziness ahead of you. Uh, we got an answer for a few more characters here. Fieldine has changed her line of research since having met the group. Her travels have brought her to some places that she may not have, uh, she may not have and have given her skills that might be surprising to some. Whoa. Ooh. If you're if you're uh, if you if you need to be a little bit cagey in the public chat, I would be very interested in a little bit of a DM for for an update <laughs> on what's going on with Gildeen. Uh, I'm finding I'm finding that answer very curious, mm -hmm. and I want to mm -hmm. know more. Right. Uh, Darfin was reminded of why he does all of the things he does, even though the war left deep marks in him that he can't get rid of. And sometimes we all need a reminder that this is this is why I do what I do, and this is why it's important. Yep. Uh, Tree Root hasn't changed much. He was he, he Tree Root. I feel like out of everybody, maybe Vish, Vish and Tree Root probably are the ones that had it the most together out of all the player characters mm. in this campaign. True. Very <laughs> so, true. Tree Root. Tree Root already had it figured out. <laughs> he just now has more honorary grandchildren to worry about and hope are doing well. He is also spending more time with his actual stepkids and grandkids. Wow. Ooh. Oh, you Ooh. sent you sent Polly a thing the other day. Wow. Yeah. Should send that to me too. Uh oh <laughs> uh, yeah, jealous, pie's not here. <laughs> I, it's it's natural for the dungeon master to just want to know everything that's going on. Mm. So Cheers, how bud. can I how can I tragically murder all of Tree Root's children and grandchildren if I don't know they exist? <laughs> Ghost Pepper. Oh, oh, I would never. I would never. <laughs> oh, wow. Even even I feel like that was too low, and you've done some pretty crappy things to Kiona over the last couple of years. So. <laughs> I should say, I would never unless you asked me to. Mm. There is that. That whole giving him permission is, to do awful things, Bo. Don't there do is it. That. I would never. <laughs> maybe half. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Kirby. I mean, resurrection is available. Resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, so readily and easily able to come on. Yeah, it. It just... yeah I'm not. For me personally, I'm not a big fan of that in D and D. I don't want to get into a discussion about D and D mechanics, but it's like sometimes it's like the revolving door. Oh there's even, yeah. There's even a whole 
There's even a whole published module, uh, Tomb of Annihilation, which is really cool. But the whole setup is that uh, people people who have been resurrected are, are suddenly, like, withering away and dying. And it's affecting, like, a large percent of the population. So it's like... So oh, wow. How many people have been that's resurrected? Really like, yeah, but like that's, it is, that is that sounds cool. Though. It's really yeah. But it, yeah, but it but it requires you to have like a significant percentage of the population right. where it's like there's a revolving door. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, friends, shall we get started? Let's do it. I'm so Let's do it. Back, okay. We begin uh, back on our back on our map. Uh, we begin all the way back in Camp Intrepid, where our adventure began. Oh, that shit. sort of ruined town. Uh, if you're looking on the map chat, it's right here. Uh, that ruined town right at the foot of the desert. Um, let me just, uh, get some, get some better music going here. Really hope, sorry. So, okay. Um, so we begin in Camp Intrepid, that, that ruined last outpost of the former kingdom of Amortica. Um, the merchant tents and the awnings are, are all set up. Uh, the the uh, rubble of the town has been reassembled into some ramshackle shacks and buildings. Uh, you remember the, the last chance in is the, the last sort of standing structure in the town that continues to exist as it did before. Uh, and it is once again here where uh, you first met Iskander Blackford that you all sit around a table preparing for uh, your expedition to the Tower of the Mad Mage. Joining the three of you is, of course, uh, Iskander Blackford himself, your guide through the desert uh, and your, your erstwhile companion, um, as well as Nadani Morthos, uh, who, who has not left you just yet. Um, now you've made some preparations. Do you want to quickly summarize what, what some of your preparations are for this expedition? Yes. So Foodle at maybe at, at both the camps as they traveled uh, desperately needed to buy ammo, so they bought some some shot for their musket. Okay. Was it was Foodle able to grab two lots yep. of that? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to remove the gold. Perfect. I'm going to assume that my character sheet has been reset at this point, because I have two health currently on my character sheet. Yeah, everybody's right. Everybody's on a long rest. Everybody, yeah, everybody go ahead okay. and scan right. click that long rest button. Yep. Beautiful. Thank you. You get your hit dice back. Um, and, and I don't think there was anything else, was there? I mean, unless uh, not for Foodle, anyway. Sorry. Not for Foodle, yeah. Um, Kiana yeah. found a letter at the end of the day. The last time, um, she would read that because. Okay. Yeah. Is she reading that like in like at this table, or did she f find some time to? She would have sort of probably read private. it in private at least before she brought it to other people to show them what it was. Um, yeah. So yeah. yeah. So once again, to to remind everybody. Uh, by the way, did we post a link to the the recap in chat for anybody who wants a recap? From I, I have not had a chance to post it yet. Oh, okay. No Unfortunately. Uh, okay. Um, but basically, what what happened last week was in uh, the Timeless Spire. Once you had defeated the the copies of yourself, the the dark reflections of of uh, a, a potential future or present that could have been, um, you, Kiona, found uh, Ewan was was like dead all along, 
question mark. You're not quite sure what was going on there. Uh, he was basically just a corpse sitting at a desk. Uh, and you found all sorts of information, but but Kiona, what was of, of particular interest to you was a sealed letter uh, that you found yourself drawn towards, and you had that sort of familiar tingle vibration in your in your chest uh, as you as you uh, reached out for that letter. And when you flipped the envelope over, you saw that it had your name, uh, Kiona Neely, written on it. You pocketed it. We left. You now kind of. Uh, once the first opportunity you get in Camp Intrepid to uh, take a little bit of time away from the group, you break the wax seal in the back of the letter, open it, unfold it. It is a very, very short, brief note. It reads simply, follow Iskander to Dalcor. Once again, this is this is something you guys encountered in the past, but uh, if you don't remember, I'm going to make you roll intelligence for it. Uh, but that's the that's the spelling. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm just seeing if I have it in my notes anywhere, but I'm not sure I do. Yeah, can I <laughs> my notes? If you if you make a straight intelligence check uh, and you roll high enough, I'll tell you. Uh, all right, intelligence. All right, intelligence. Swoodles. Oh wait, Swoodle doesn't know about this, so he's not gonna roll. No, nobody knows about it. Ooh, good enough. Um, when you were in, when you were in the catacombs under Duramon, you encountered a creature encased in crystal uh, which forced Goldrill, I believe it was uh, to to pick up the uh, the Thundermall the hammer that you had gone to seek that was an heirloom of, of the Dwarven Kingdom of Duramon uh, pick up the hammer and smash the crystal imprisonment with it releasing the creature uh, the creature then reached out to each of you and showed you each a vision yours was simply being in a in a black expanse of nowhere and a voice communicating with you in a language that you don't know but could somehow understand uh and you realize belatedly that the voice was not talking to you but was talking to the entity that you'd recently become aware was inhabiting you. And it instructed this entity to go to Dalcor. Okay, so um, Kiona would bring this to the table with everybody else and um, share it with uh, Mazra. I'm sorry, Kiona. I got the wrong name. It's not. It's the other place. Al Kalash. Kalash. Dal okay. Kalash. I was yeah, wondering because that one I would remember. <laughs> I was wrong about that. Yeah. Right. I was wrong about that. Yeah. I got my names mixed up. Right. I thought there was just some other thing that I forgot yeah. what happened. Okay. Al Kalash. All right. Yeah. So, Al Kalash. Okay. So, yeah, she's going to bring this then. And that is what the letter actually says. That's what the letter actually says. Follow a scander to Del Kalash. Okay. Um, so she is going to uh, bring that to the table and and tell them, uh, you know, that this was on that guy's desk and it had my name on it, and I that was here, and she'll just put it out there so that they can all see uh, what it says. Um, Iskander, do you know where this place is? Iskander picks up the note and holds it frowns at it. I've uh, never heard of it in my life, I'm afraid. I've heard of it before, Wait. but I don't know where it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Hold on. We're considering following the instructions on this note? No, I just... Foodle, maybe. I don't know, but... Well, who wrote it? I don't know. It was on his desk. Where'd you find it? On his desk? Do you think this is a good idea? No, I didn't say that. I just... 
Voodoo, this is the place that the thing in the crystal told me about. Right. I don't know if that makes it better, is it? I don't know. I'm sorry, the thing in the crystal. The six eyed creature. The six-eyed creatures like the constructs that we encountered in the Fortress of the Unconquerable. Right. They've this been... was something else. Some kind of entity. Yeah. But it was unsettling. It's been with those sort of creatures. haunting me since then. I just thought, since you were on this note, you might know about it. That's all. I'm afraid I do not. Can I, can I insight yes. check his slander? Yep. Probably very badly, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try it anyway. Um. I'm afraid I do not yet, but... I will inquire further at my first opportunity. If I learn anything, I will let you know. Thank you. I've never been one to shy away from a mystery, but um, perhaps Foodle's warning is worth considering. I will let you know what I find out, but what you do with that information is up to you. Well, according to this note, that you're going, you're going to want to go there too. Perhaps. Well, I guess we'll Makes see. Makes me wonder more. I thought maybe I should share it with you since you're in it. Right. I just I don't know what exactly this Count Ewan really knew. Yeah. I don't know, but we've been seeing these six odd things so much lately. It's got to have something to do with it. Uh, woof. Um, with an insight check of 17, you're pretty sure Iskander's telling you the truth. You, you, he's giving you no reason to doubt what he's saying. I guess... <sighs> Yona, do we know... What do we know about the other voice in your head not a whole lot I know that Mr. Shabra's shade heart knew something about it it was in one of his books but he didn't seem to have a lot of information about it um, hmm. and I think there's more than one but I don't oh. know for sure I've been having dreams and visions and the thing's been popping up everywhere we go and I just feel like it, it's got answers, at least for my magic and me, but I, I, I don't know maybe it has answers for everything that's happened this last year and a half I don't know I guess hmm, I'm trying to imagine if the desk had had a letter on it that said for Foodle, and it was like, Foodle, go to this place. Love Count Ewan. Like, I don't know if that's a good idea. You know what I mean? Like, the right. guy we just stopped. I don't know if we killed him. He, I don't know if he can be killed if he's, like, in this dreaming darkness place. But you know what I mean? I... I mm. I know. I understand what you're saying, Foodle. And I, I would understand if you didn't want to go. But if I find out where it is, I'm going to go. I need to know the answers. You don't have to go with me. No, I'm going with you. Well, given that we don't even know where it is right now, I don't think it's much of a problem. Yeah, yeah, I guess we gotta find it first. Dal Clash. That's. Is, I would, hmm. is that anything that Foodle would have heard about? Okay. 
I don't, this I don't is, remember my uh, uncle saying anything about that in his travels. This is this is the second time that Dalkalash would have come to your attention. The first time being Kiona's vision in the yeah. catacombs. Right. Yeah. That um, she probably hadn't said it to you guys specifically. She's asked a couple of other people along the way when she's um, been looking for information mm-hmm. about it to see if there's yeah. anything, but um, she hasn't found really any information about it. So you also looked for it in um, the the Unbroken Circles right. library, mm-hmm. and uh, with with no luck. Right, and um, she's she. She might have destroyed the book that had the information within. In. <laughs> I you mean, know, who knows? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Um, so yeah. Other than that, I think did we want to buy some healing potions and stuff? I think that's what we decided we wanted to do outside of that. Yeah, I think I don't think we actually okay. use that many previously okay well, I'll, leave, I'll leave it to you guys to provision yourselves you mm-hmm. can you can get as many healing potions as you need can can we have like I don't know maybe had Mazra looked at these like keys do we know what they do these like necklaces we've been collecting or, like what they are it takes some time to examine them yeah, they they look almost like they're they're like stones, and they've been shaped with like you know grooves and divots and things like that into them. To you know, you could you could almost think of them as like almost traditional keys that you would put into a lock, but it, it looks more like they slot into something than than like this kind of thing. They're very strange shapes. Each of them is made out of a, a different substance. Uh, iron, lead, and bronze. I know if the material types have any particular significance? Um, not particularly. Okay. You know what I wish I'd done? I wish I'd asked Balian what to expect when we get there. Try to send him a message. Can we? I don't know if we, how long it would take for it to get back. He wasn't exactly very keen to have us there by the end. Yeah. I don't oh, know that he was right. willing to answer our questions. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, about that. I left so I wouldn't piss him off, and then you guys just like, good grief. Look, it was I mean, hey, it worked. Day. It worked. It worked. I'm not questioning your methods. I, I think that I think that Bane's probably stuck with him, and he, I imagine that he's at least somewhat okay by now. Yeah, hopefully. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we're as ready as we'll ever be. And at that, Nadani speaks up. Uh, Great. So, once you're ready, we're going to take the path north, and then instead of going to Camp Resilience, we'll veer off to the east, and then north again. We'll have to be careful and make sure that we've provisioned ourselves well. We're going to be entering the territory of the Empress. Oh. And she points to right about here. Do we... Do we know anything about the Empress? That could help us? 
either run or fight or running. Running is the best way forward. Okay. But the Empress is very fast. Right. Maybe something more of a running fight. Hmm. Don't worry, though. The strength of Kalian uh, has a few tricks up its sleeve. Okay. We do still have that barrel of oil. Maybe we could use it as some kind of deterrent? Maybe. I have! Uh, Foodle's gonna root around in his backpack and pull out um, a small clear bottle, and it's got um, that sand, the red sand. And he was like, well, if we throw the oil over, I can chuck this on it. Maybe it'll, like, light up. Or I guess you could firebolt it. That would be what I was thinking, but whatever we think is the best way to do it. I'll hold on to this. At least we have it as a, as a maybe plan. Yeah. Anything we have will help, but... I don't think we should approach this with the thought that we're going to actually defeat the worm. Right. We're just going to get away. Bigger ships than mine have tried. Yeah. Okay. This is always the most terrifying part. I don't... I I feel like I'm forget I feel like I'm going on a trip, you right. know, and I'm like I've forgotten the towels and my pillow. <laughs> it's like <laughs> shit. Um. Uh. Yeah. I think that. Uh, oh, God. I mean, unless unless um, Adani, Adani, Adani. Not Donnie. Not Donnie, uh, has um any other insights or Iskander into what we could do to avoid this thing. I'm not sure that... Well, here, I've got a question for you, Ghost, and I probably should have asked you this beforehand. Uh, is there a magical tattooist in this camp? I'm I'm going to say no on that. Okay. Because this, this is a pretty... Uh, well... I mean, it may be a moot point. No. (laughs) Okay, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, it may be a moot point because it probably depends on how much money we have. But, like, I was looking through my notes and we had, like, 4,000 gold from the Tower of the Right. You're thinking, like, a spell tattoo or something? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We need to save that money for our tavern. (laughs) Right. Right, yeah, the tavern. We're, I forget. We're okay. We're gonna get it off the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. I just, yeah, I, I, you know, the, the Empress. She concerns me. Okay. Well, uh, so something, something like a spell tattoo is like a pretty specialized skill. Mm. Um, that's something that you would find in Lysantia more so than in in a camp in the desert i rolled it though because you know the camp in trepin is is like a a magnet for all sorts of like adventurers and and scholars and things like that so there there was an off chance but that letter did not have a signature line like a from line no okay just double checking (laughs) well here's a question and i think this is maybe a question for mazra in particular but, like, yep. Mazra found and read some of the Count's writings about what their, their research and what they've been trying to do. Give, mm-hmm. Can Mazra compare this note to her memories uh, to see if it's, like, the same hand? Written in the same hand? or Mazra can roll an investigation check. Oh, we'll see. I always move my shit around. So looking, you're looking at the handwriting. Yeah. I mean, you're not you're not an expert graphologist. I think that's what they're actually called. Um, but it seems seems similar. I just how would how would he know it would be is 
Iskander and me, and I, I don't understand. We have been traveling with Iskander for a while, so it could be someone's watching us. I guess that's true. I did. He he did also seem to have very intimate knowledge of each of us. Right, but if he's working with that six-eyed dude, of course he does. Well, and it could be more mundane than that. It occurs to me that I have announced in, I think, every town that we're going to go kill Galthor, so it's possible that word has reached them. <laughs> Poodle's not laughing, sorry. Right, right, no, uh, uh, not, not to mention, no, Kiona wouldn't be laughing either, but she, <laughs> that's so true. Right, well, you know, maybe in the future we should try to not project what we're doing so loudly. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Just like... Oh my goodness. More gnomes. <laughs> Kiona! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. They had a they had a big day yesterday. Oh, there's the other one. Hi. There's the other one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. Can you say that again, Lillian? Yes, the <laughs> 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 so you you kitties are gonna go see your your new baby brother yes wow not yet but i'll be able to welcome gendrick when he gets home Yay. <laughs> all right Yay. bye <laughs> bye <laughs> They're so ridiculously adorable. Okay. <laughs> that's amazing. I know, right? That's amazing. How how excited are they? That's big oh, for them. That's gosh. Really cool. They have been yeah. like ever they, they came over and they've been doing this for like weeks. Um they came over here yesterday like a dozen times and every time they were like, Uncle, uncle, baby brother's coming, baby brother's coming. <laughs> like they're so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, they can't wait. They've been dying for him to him to get out of mama's tummy for a while now, so Yeah. That's <laughs> anyway. amazing. Yep. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's very exciting. That's gonna be that, that's gonna be fun. They're gonna have so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So, uh, was there anything else, or shall we shall we move this on? Um, would Monster be able to source like a collection of empty bottles? Yes. How much does okay. an empty bottle run? Uh, two gold, according to the. Uh... Yeah. That Let me sounds double about check. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that sounds about right because right. those are those are are like specialist kind of uh, okay. Especially if you buy... get like potion, think of potion bottles, not used beer bottles, right? Uh, yeah. It may not matter, but she'll go for the because I assume the potion bottles are slightly more tempered or whatever than like a yeah, beer bottle. Yeah, yeah. So. How yeah. many? How many are you buying? Probably like twenty. Twenty. Okay. If I, she can't get that, that many, piece, she that's buy forty. Them. Um, you'll be yeah. able to buy that many, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a seller's market here at Camp Intrepid. Mm -hmm. Um, so rather than the standard 40, I'm going to say that's going to cost you 45. Okay. For the that's fine. Got it. Yeah. There's a lot of adventurers looking for potion bottles to brew up their potions for going out into the desert and braving the elements and monsters and looking for loot and things like that. Right. Um, I have. Oh, oh good. Sorry. Uh, you had mentioned before the stream that Iskander may give uh, Kiona some bracers that have just slightly more armor than her cloak of protection. I was gonna. I was gonna do that in story. Oh, in, in, the, the, in the. In the. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. I should not have. Why don't you stop breaking my immersion? <laughs> <I'm> sorry. Wow. <laughs> wow. I wasn't sure when you wanted to do that. Like, like we're getting ready to go on adventure, so. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
guys ready? I'm like, I don't know. Do I have the thing? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> fair. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. Man, nope. That's, I really, that's, I, on the, that's on its way. Okay. Nice. Um, with the wand, we've got, we got a wand of web. Right. You, Yona doesn't have any slots left. She does not. Does Mazra have what now? Uh, uh, attunement uh, slot? Yeah. Yes, she has one, I believe. Okay. Wait, I mean, d does she want to? Oh, she was one? using yeah. three, but I think I'm going to take off the boots. So. Yeah. She has her armor and her daggers. Okay. Because um, Poodle does have two attunement slots. So he could use. The wand of web, maybe? I mean, unless we decide that the uh, it's worth swapping it out for the lightning bolt wand, but I feel like the lightning bolt wand is way, way <laughs> like helpful sometimes, so. Yeah, well. And it depends, right? Like, some wands rely on your spellcasting save, and some wands have their own spellcasting save. So if the Wand of Web comes with its own, that's a good one for Foodle, because his spell save DC isn't the best. <laughs> Sorry, what was your question about the wand? I had to, I had to field something from Bo. Oh, it was more for Kiona. You're fine. Oh, okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah. It is a, a spell save DC 15 uh, on the wand itself. So. Okay. Well, what do you think? Uh, does that one make sense for Mazra? The, the reason I was thinking it might make more sense for Mazra is sometimes Mazra can't always get into range on the first turn. So it might be a good, you know, chance for her to use that and you know, grab, throw a bunch of web on some creatures or something. I don't know. Uh, that way they can't get away from her. Because Foodle's got range, so he's usually able to hit stuff. Right. Is that just the standard uh, thing that's in the encyclopedia? Because I can just add it to my character sheet. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the one cool. web, I think. Yeah. It says attunement by a spellcaster. It just it's... You count. You count, right? Because okay. the paladin thing, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Technically, we all count because Foodle's got Ranger, which That's is Spellcaster, right. and <laughs> Kiona and Mazra. That was kind of lucky. <laughs> anyway. Well, we'll find out what Kiona gets on the uh, on the boat ride as Mazra tunes to that wand. <laughs> I think that changed, Bo. Because I think Mazra... Oh, yeah, I'm not that right. anymore. She I'm... went swap yeah. buckler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you are right. I like. I think Mazra was originally like a... Trix, arcane trickster or something? Mm -hmm. okay. Which is super fun. Anyway, so... I think as long as that sort of stuff is sorted... Did we get any other consumables, Kiona? Um... I, Foodle has a, a, a spell scroll, but I think that might have been everything. I just don't want to miss anything for this big fight. Um, the Stone of Good Luck. Uh, oh, there's a Stone of Good Luck. What the heck is that? Yep. It's the one yep. with the that's like a looks like a feather or something like that. Oh. Here, I can link that one too. Stone of good luck. It does require yeah. attunement, so somebody, one of you guys should take it, or sh should have it. I guess that's Foodle, huh? It's plus one bonus to ability checks and saving throws. Okay. As long as it's on your person and you're attuned to it. Okay, well, uh, once they get going, Foodle will sort of spend an hour with that thing. Stone of okay. good luck. Okay. Nice. Is that in the compendium? Uh, if not. So you all board the uh, Nadani's sand skimmer 
the strength of Kalian and set off across the uh, across the desert. Um, while Foodle is attuning to that item, uh, Kiona, I'm gonna I'm gonna amend what I told you before because I found the item that I was looking for. It doesn't do what I thought it did. Oh, okay. Um, so instead of instead of uh, instead of the bracers of defense from okay. Iskander, uh, you previously found a gauntlet uh, in your inventory, and I have actually. Uh, so this is from Bow the Distance. Um, I have actually shared that with you. I can share that with you. Uh, so there, Lazuli's Earthen Gauntlet of Force. Uh, so these are leather fingerless glove pattern to look like stone with runes stamped into the knuckles that glow with magic when worn. There's a circular disc of opalescent stone on the palm about three inches in diameter. Uh, it requires attunement. Uh, it activates with a bonus action. Uh, and when you do so for one minute with concentration, uh, you... Uh, basically any attacks made against you are at disadvantage. That's pretty fantastic. Thank you so much, Bo the Distance. You what? Are That's amazing. amazing! So now it's one minute with concentration. So if you get... If you get uh, if you take a hit, you have to make a concentration save. If you fail that save, the effect ends, and you need to use another charge. And you have three charges per day. Um, and then there's an additional That's ability. Cool. If you if you use all three charges, you can cast uh, Earth Tremor. Um, that's amazing. So wow. to me, that's uh, so to me that's like a like a bit of an alternative to an armor class buff. Sure. Is, uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you guys I think it works, so that's what you get. He remembered that I have this, guys, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For a minute, anyway. Well, we we know we know that when you're not here the the inventory <laughs> is not trapped. Right, y'all are buying potions that we don't need or, or rolls that we don't need and while well, I'm gone, chaos <laughs> ensues even more than it should. <laughs> true okay all right thank you so much Bo. i really so appreciate that um setting off okay. setting off across the desert you've attuned to the items that you want to attune to um and it's not long as you pass the the last little bit of uh the last little bit of aqua sand um and are, and are moving on to the regular sand which the sand skimmer can still cross but but at uh, a bit of a slower rate um you hear and more accurately feel uh the ground around you begin to tremble that can't be good As the ship is moving across the sands, uh, one of Nadani's crew calls out from the crow's nest. Uh, and Nadani turns, looks behind her. She's here. She's here! No! For the sails! Full speed! I'm going to transfer you over to this map. I've got God. a special encounter going, and you see erupt out of the sand behind you. Do I have a... Yes, I do. Oh, look at our tiny boat. It's so cute. Oh, God. Our tiny boat that's just going to get massacred by this thing. <laughs> yeah. It, All the it way was in the so back cute. In, a, in a, a fountain of sand. A oh! large, long, serpentine purple form with humongous jaws appear. All right, this encounter uh, is is something that uh, is something that I've designed. It's a it's a little bit different. 
Um, there it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is this is actually uh, ATM Zero helped me out with this encounter. I, I did some brainstorming with him. Basically, for this encounter, do we have the music? Yes, we do. Uh, just turn it on. Oh my God. Okay. For this encounter, the objective is to. Uh, reach a certain number of feet of distance, which I have noted, and I'm going to be keeping secret from you, uh, before the worm uh, kills the party or destroys the ship. Okay? Or the the <laughs> ship... The ship has a variable speed, so the ship is going to be fixed on the map. Uh, the ship has a variable speed between uh, 30 and 80 feet per round. Um, the worm has a fixed speed of 50 feet. So over the long term, straight gunning it away from the worm is not going to work over the long term. The worm will eventually catch up to you. Uh, you have a number of stations aboard the ship that can <gasps> do certain things that will help you out. So if you zoom on in on the ship here, nice and close, uh, I'll point those stations out to you. Uh, and if I detach my document. Okay, so you have the mast right here, uh, and you can use that to make a skill check. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be a dexterity skill check uh, in order to adjust the ship's rate of speed. Uh, depending on how high you roll on that check, uh, you can adjust the speed of the ship up or down a certain amount. Uh, there are a couple instances in which you might actually want to adjust the ship's speed downward. We'll get to that in a little bit. Okay. Uh, you have the rudder. Uh, actually, let's go to the let's go to the weapons first. You have the standard ballista right here. Uh, in a bank of three on this side and on this side, okay? Uh, these deal direct damage against the worm. Um, they deal, out of, out of the weapons, they deal the most damage, okay? Uh, you have the harpoons right here where if they hit, they deal a little bit of damage but also cause the worm to lose speed for that round. Um, you have the shield breaker crossbows at the back and these are fitted with special ammo that's designed to kind of break through the armored plates on the worm's hide uh, they deal a little bit of damage but reduce the worm's very high armor class I won't tell you what the armor class is but it will it gives it a, a flat uh, it, it turns it turns the armor class to a lower value let's just say that okay um you have a very special weapon right here called the Bombard. Uh, this is basically a cannon uh, that shoots a lobs a, a charged shot that explodes when it hits the ground and it messes up the worm's tremor sense. Uh, so basically, it confuses the worm. Uh, it forces her to make a wisdom save to move that round. Uh, and it also makes her attacks have disadvantage for that round. Uh, but you only have three shots of the bombard. Um, finally, you have the rudder, and this is uh, a situation where you might want to reduce the ship's speed a little bit uh, during certain situations. Uh, the rudder, if you make a uh, if you make a successful check on the rudder, you successfully maneuver the ship into a position where weapons on one side of the ship have a favorable firing position and you get advantage on the attack. However, the difficulty class for making that check successfully is higher the faster you're moving. So it may be advantageous for you to slow the ship down at one point to use the rudder to give you advantage on attack checks with some of the weapons. Uh, Shograz has an excellent question that you guys might want to know. Uh, lowering the AC does not stack. 
the monster's AC is a certain value by default, hitting it with this weapon reduces it to this value. Uh... Foodle's gonna say to Nadani, Nadani! Your ship's the best! This is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> as, <laughs> as this gigantic mouth is just zooming up the track behind you. <laughs> the ship is gonna give us a chance. What's the ship's name? The Strength of Kalian or something? The Strength of Kalian. Oh, I think I misspelled Kalian. Yeah, isn't All that right. cool? Uh, the worm... The worm has certain mechanics that I will leave you to find out yourself. Oh, um, God. I just threw a whole bunch of... Uh, I just threw a whole bunch of information at you. Um, I am gonna take. Yeah, I'm gonna need a... reminders. I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> I'm trying to take. Notes I'm gonna take on a it. screenshot. I'm gonna take a screenshot oh. of the table that I made, and I'm going okay. to post this in our group chat for your reference. Okay. And I need to make a really quick bathroom break upstairs. I think this is an opportune moment for you to kind of review that stuff have a quick chat with each other about a plan and then once I get back we'll get right into it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that um, the first thing as soon as it comes up Fiona will think about is the barrel of oil that's in her thing. Um, she's going to suggest to throw that out there and then hopefully when the worm gets close she'll be able to firebolt it and make it explode on it and hopefully slow it down or something at least. Better. I hope it slows it if down. If we could make it swallow it, that would be even better. But <laughs> no, I don't know what the hell. Make it swallow it, and Foodle shoots it like in Charlie. Megan, help us! <laughs> Yay! You guys gotta kill the worm. I mean, I kind of figure, but we don't know how really? we're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? We were told to run. Well, we kind of are, but... Well, we're going to have to run and try to kill the worm because one or the other is going to fail at some point, so... The problem that's... right now is to hear everything 30 seconds after you say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, because you're hearing through the stream, not... Okay. Um, uh, yeah, we need to definitely use the guns and stuff. I think that's... <laughs> oh, he's coming back. No, don't let him come back. No! Uh, I'm so worried. <laughs> okay, so here's above table. Here's a food. Well, maybe not even above table. I, I'm I'm really dexterous. I could probably do the, the mast stuff and when work on the sails. You guys just tell me if you want to go faster or slower. Because, like, if you look Me? at the the first column there, um, the DC for the rudder is dependent on how fast we're going. So the slower we're going, the easier it is to maneuver the ship to allow people to fire the side stuff. Right. Um, Ghost, I would assume that the barrel idea would probably work like a bombard, sort of, because it's just an explosion. You don't. The... I, I, well, you, you you would need to you'd need to find a way to to, just, to like to... drop it overboard. Well, yeah, we'd have to shove it over the back of the ship. That was. Yeah. My, that was yeah. when Kiona was going to try to grab a scanner and be like, let's get this barrel over <laughs> so that it's out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't imagine that it would do a ton of damage. It would just have to be a distraction or something to the thing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Do we have time to do anything before, like, what's, what's how's the initiative or what? Yeah, let's roll initiative. Oh, yeah. Oh god, right. right. Oh, for That's sake. a thing. <laughs> now, Nadani is present on the ship, but she's busy steering the ship. Right. Okay. So she's uh, not actually in this battle. Alright, here's Foodle's fake initiative. That's really good, too. Okay. Let's adjust that down to what it really is. There we go. At least I'm back for the TPK, guys. <laughs> Hey, you made it! <laughs> oh, oh god, yeah. Freaking poor bard. 
We'll do our best, Bard. <laughs> don't, don't make... Don't get Look, me. if you die, <laughs> you can blame Ghost Pepper. Right. Not our fault. Yeah. And Andrew, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> we are who's behind on the TV. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> okay. Is, uh, we got everybody here? I think we do. So, uh, Kiona, you're up first. Oh, um, okay. You basically uh, need to be in an appropriate space to use the, uh, the barrel. use the station. Yeah. Um, uh, oh yeah, you're gonna throw the barrel? Yeah, she, so then you yeah, need to go Yeah, that's the over first here. thing she's thinking of. So she's gonna come up here. Is this a step, like, up here? Um, and yeah. she's going yeah. to put down the bag of holding on the ground and reach in and grab the barrel and shout because she probably, I don't know, she's a tiefling, so maybe she could lift it out, but it's probably really, it's heavy, right? So, um... Yep. Yep. So she's going to shout uh, for Iskander to come and help her get it over the edge of the boat so that they can drop it into the desert behind them as okay. they go. Yep. Uh, you'll have to wait for his turn to right. do that, yeah. but uh, you can you can hold an action then. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, bonus action. Um. Um. Oh, should I? Well, no. No. Okay. All right. Foodle. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh, Foodle is going to run over here. Five. Oh, wait. Can he just, like, jump off? Ten. <laughs> is that a thing? Uh, roll, roll in athletics or acrobatics to do that. Okay. He's going to flip over with his acrobatics plus eight because of this ridiculous stone now 16 plus eight for 24 24 yeah you're fine okay so yeah you do you do like a, a three-point uh black widow landing um and foodle is going to increase the speed does, that, does increasing the speed or reducing it affect the back ones, does he know? It doesn't say on the thing, I don't think. I'm sorry? Um, does increasing the speed negatively affect the shell breaker? It doesn't say it does. No. No. Okay. All right, so Foodle's going to try to... Increasing speed only negatively attempts, uses to, attempts to use the rudder. Okay. Foodle's going to try... Foodle's going to shout, We should try to, you know, take out its scales first! Uh, and he's going to try to catch the wind as fully as he can with these sails. Okay. Uh, roll a dexterity check. This is going to This is gonna be uh, your, your fine control. Uh, you do not get uh, proficiency on this, unless you're proficient with watercraft. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have proficiency with that. Um, so I think. Oh God, how does this new item work? You gain plus one bonus to ability checks. Yeah, this is, is this an, an ability an... check. Yep. Okay. So, yep. I rolled a fourteen. I have plus yep. four on my dexterity. Okay. So, plus five? 14 from plus the, five? From the luck stone? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, that's a 19 then. Yes. Uh, so, subtract eight from that, and you can increase. So, what's, so 19 minus eight is 11. Uh, yeah. So, you can increase to the maximum speed. Of 90. Okay. This All right, Foodle's gonna try to get this thing moving to 90 feet. We're going full. Hold on to something. And he's gonna be like flipping all over the sails, and, like uh, getting them in the right, the right coordination, uh, right orientation. Anyway, so that's Foodle's turn, I think. Yeah. And so the the ship like lurches forward, 
uh, as you, you hit full speed. Iskander is going to uh, rush to the back deck to respond to uh, Kiona's call for help. And he's going to help her hoist the barrel overboard. Uh, now, what is what is Kiona's strength bonus? Um, as of right now, she has no strength bonus. She's no, no strength longer, bonus? Okay. She's no oh. longer a big thing. She's just a team All right. thing. <laughs> so Iskander then is going to use the help action to give you advantage on a strength check. To throw the barrel overboard. Of course. Oh, should I have done okay. that on advantage? I'm sorry. Uh, yep. Slightly better. That's not great. Yep. <laughs> All right. So you manage to drop the barrel overboard. Um, doesn't not quite aimed where you want it to be. Uh, just gonna make a couple of rolls here. Okay. Uh, it ends up dropping behind you and landing about here. Um. Actually, no. It's going to be about here. So since that was my held action, I have to wait until... I can't hold an action for when the worm gets... Well, it's not your turn anymore. Right. It's not, so, no, it's yeah, not okay. your turn. I just yeah. got double checking. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then Iskander is going to use a bonus action dash. Uh, and, and basically, actually, how about this? Cauliflumps, uh, mm -hmm. you get to control Iskander for this battle. I don't want to control him for this oh. encounter. You can decide where he goes and what he does. Um, okay, so he used so his you action. Know, as a rogue, he has a bonus action dash. So he's used his action, he uses his move action, but he has bonus action dash to move somewhere else. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Iskander's pretty smart, isn't he? Uh. Oh, I can't actually move him. Um, he is going to... Iskander's pretty smart, right? That's something that food don't... Yeah. Okay. He's got, a, um, he's got an intelligence of 14. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I think a scander is going to dash over. Which one was it? We want. This one. This one. Oops. Okay, so he's going to. Re oh God, how how far can he go on a dash? Oh, I need 30? to. I need to give you control, don't I? Uh, I think so. Isn't a dash like twice your movement speed? If he has, if he has no. a dash, will be bonus action for him. So it's. Oh. Well, I guess I mean it does, and I mean it just gives you your movement speed. But he's got some of his movement left, maybe I don't know. Okay, you should have control over uh, the Iskander token now. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's got thirty feet of movement. Okay. I mean, I kind of want him... I mean, he can't make it. How much movement did he spend to get over here? 20? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, so 40 feet. Okay. Shoot, he can't quite get there, I suppose. Uh, Alright, well then, I guess he's going to dash over to this one, just in case Mosrim misses. Okay, and that's his turn. Uh, now, uh, uh, as the, <laughs> that's funny, um, as the worm advances upon you, you feel a cold wind smelling of burnt hair, uh, as Shograz mutates the Empress 
Uh, however, what uh, we rolled on the mutation is an ability that the monster already has. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to re-roll that. Bonus movement speed. Excellent. Oh, God. Yeah. So it can move faster now. Good thing I sped oh. this thing up. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so at 90... So you're moving at... Uh, sorry, not 90 feet. 80 feet is the maximum. Uh, so you're moving at 80 feet. Uh, you managed to open... Uh, if, it, if it does a, a full sprint, it can move 100 feet. So it can advance 20 feet towards you this round. And Mazra, it's your turn. Kiona's on deck. Okay. Um... Okay, she's gonna use her um, action to um, the last uh, on to Foodle, Kiona, and Iskander. Um, actually, no, she's gonna do she's gonna do Kiona herself and Foodle. Okay. So all of you have bless on you now. Alright. And then which which uh thing was the harpoons? Uh these are the harpoons. On either side, okay. She's gonna kinda make her way over there. I don't think she can Um I assume she can't shoot in the same turn uh, since she just used her action already. So um, yep. she'll basically just get over there and, and kind of get set up at this one over on the side here. Okay. Yeah, she already used your action and then you can't use uh, one mm -hmm. of the stations. Okay, Kiona, you're up. Um, I think... Uh, what is the, the gun that she's sitting right next to? That was one of the... Uh, that is the Shell Breaker. It's, uh, it's hit is, uh, it's, it's to hit bonus is six plus your intelligence, uh, bonus. And it deals yeah. 2d10 piercing. <laughs> that was my face, too, when I read that. I was like... Son of a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, the same there is a... There is a... There was a there is a discussion between yes. myself and Andrew where we felt like siege weapons like to aim with right. that proper makes Melissa. a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. um <laughs> I guess though, honestly, she's standing right there, and I don't think any of her spells can hit this thing. So she will the will it hit it? Does it have the range on it? Is the question. Yes, it does. It does have the range yeah. on it. Yep. Yep. Um, These are like ultra long weapon. Uh, so, long-range weapons. Just kind of just standing there. Also, uh, we have three inspirations from oh. Bard Owl. Thank you so much, Bard. Bard. So each each of the uh, each of the main characters gets an inspiration. Huzzah! Uh, Root is making tea. Nobody die. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nobody die. <laughs> I don't think, like I said, I don't think any of her spells are going to be able to hit this thing. So she is going to go ahead and um, is the. I actually, if I have to hold a spell that takes an action, it would take my action, right? Yep. All right. Well, then that's. And what it would doing consume the spell slot if it doesn't go off. Right, uh, but it's a firebolt, and it's if well. Yep. I don't know. How yep. fast can this thing go? When is that barrel going to get close to it? She wants to throw a firebolt at that barrel when it, the worm is close, but I guess that's a timing thing. I have to just estimate when it's yep. going to happen. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, so then the first yep. thing she's going to do is, is fire that shellbreaker weapon. 
because I don't okay. think it's going to be close enough to the barrel anytime soon. You just need to move into this position. Right. Oops, sorry, I forgot my, got my thing on. All right. So she's going to do that. Okay. So uh, roll a d20 plus six plus your intelligence. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that did jack and nothing. Cool. <laughs> oh. Hey, let's add that intelligence bonus, though. Am right. I right? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you yeah. you fire Wait. the uh, the ballista and Is the. This an uh, attack? uh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. can roll a d4. I don't know if that'll help, but. No. <laughs> Probably not, but it's three, so that's you know. Hey, that's pretty it's 11, good. Eleven to hit. For the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, an 11 does not hit. Uh, the the arrow uh, sails out uh, and, and makes a, a wide arc in the sky, and it drops onto the worm's back, but kind of hits it at an angle where it just sort of skips off and flies harmlessly into the desert. Uh, Foodle, you are up. Okay, uh... Boodle's going to shout, Do we want to be closer or further away? I mean, I think further away is probably better. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep us away. You got this, Nadani. Uh, and he's going to flip all over the place, readjusting the sails to catch the wind even better. Uh, so he's going to stay on that mast. <laughs> oh no. Uh what do I add to a two? <laughs> it's my deck. It's your and it's plus your one. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. a seven total for its sake. <laughs> seven total. Okay. Oh, wait. Does bless help? <laughs> Is it an ability it's an ability check. Does bless help with ability no, checks? No, it's attacks or saving throws. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. The ship speed. Uh, you you catch a bad uh, you catch a bad breeze there. Uh, you oh. turn this the wrong way, and you suddenly see those Shit. those nice full sheets of canvas just flop, fall flat. Uh, and the and the Donnie is shouting from from the helm. Not that way. That way. All right. And Sorry. He, reduces to the minimum of 30 feet this round. Uh, it is Iskander's turn, Cauliflumps. Oh, God, right. Okay, so Iskander is going to, if he's in with, well, yeah, Kiona shot, he's going to shoot this thing. So, D20. Where's Iskander? Whoop. Wait, why is this? So that's a 16. Just roll a d20. I already rolled. Shit, sorry. No, no, no. Oh, didn't, I didn't know that it had already rolled. Roll isn't the one. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I just, I didn't notice that. I, I was, it yeah. came up with a weird screen that I didn't recognize. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, weird. Okay, so 10 uh, plus so 10 whatever. 10 plus 6, 16 plus his intelligence bonus. I don't know what that is. Which is, uh, where did she go? She got closed on me. Had it open. Uh... His intelligence bonus is a two. Okay. So 16 plus two is 18. Is that the roll? 18. Does not hit. Shit! Yeah, it does oh, not friends. penetrate the worm's armor. This is a tricky shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Mazra, do you think you want to uh, try? And he'll sort of step aside. Uh, all right, and that's his turn. Okay. Uh, the Empress, uh, you guys are moving at 30 feet, so it oh, means... God. Sorry! <laughs> uh! There. And, we, and since the closer. ship is, since the then ship then is moving as well, Ghost, does the does oil... The oh, perfect. Sorry. Yep. Ghost is doing that, there right? There it is. Yep. So the barrel of oil moves back 30 feet from the ship. Uh, the Empress is gaining ground. Mazra. 
Yeah, she does recognize that it's important, but I also think she recognizes that they need to slow this thing down a little bit. So I think first she'll try to shoot this harpoon to try and okay. slow it down on the side here. Um, so what do I roll? Just a d20? Uh, yep, d20. And for the harpoon, it's four plus your intelligence. Oh my gosh, what are these rolls today? Oh, Maybe I'll use an inspiration and just see if I'll... Okay. I swear, if I... If I, if I roll worse, I'm gonna lose it. This is how inspiration works for us. What?! Oh my god, there's this, no way! I, this is like the this, fourth or fifth time this has happened. This freaking program. Uh, like, that's you, like... You can keep... No, you can keep your inspiration. Bard paid for that inspiration. You can keep it, but you can't use it again. Right. Uh, okay. That's your that's your roll. All right. So the harpoon fires out, and it just you know you see the rope twirling behind it, and it just pinks off the uh, the the worms, rock hard carapace. It's not even like our skill or working as a team. It's just the dice suck today. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kiona, we're back to you. Okay, uh... I guess... Uh, do these... These these ballista weapons that we have in front of us, are they um, as many as we want? Or... The ballista weapons have infinite ammo okay. for our purposes. Uh, it's only the bombard right. that's limited. Um, I think that she's going to actually hold that firebolt for the for the barrel. I might, if I'm, hmm, I might want to do it for one more turn, but I, I feel like she's worried that the, the thing is going to pass the barrel before she gets a chance to make it explode. Um, so she's gonna hold her firebolt uh, to hit the barrel when the worm is within, say, 10 feet of it, I think is fair. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right, so you're going to hold that action? Yeah. Okay. What is the range on your firebolt? Like, what's the maximum feet. range? Oh, I was right. Okay. Okay. So, like, basically there. Right. Anywhere right. past it was there. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a whiff. Okay. Right. I think, I think you're probably pretty safe. Uh, is that your turn? Right, yes. Even if it's, I mean, it's supposed okay. to if it's moving. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Foodle. Okay, uh, Foodle. Oh, God, I don't know. What the heck is Foodle doing? Um, shit. Okay, Foodle's going to, is there, is there a reason to slow the ship, I guess, to get Kiona in range? Uh, so have you moved so far? We've moved the first one. You said we moved 80, Not 80, 80 and this one was 30. 30, yeah, so yeah. 110. Yeah. Um, Sorry, that was I, okay, I guess. I mean, yeah, I guess Foodle's gonna chill for this turn. He's he's gonna sort of let the sails, you know, do their thing. We want the worm to get slightly closer. Maybe. Okay. God, do we? So you're gonna uh, you're gonna take thirty feet? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Hope that's okay. 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 And then Iskander's gonna try to shoot this thing. Uh, D20. Yeah, there we go. And then we add six, because he's got two, and it's plus four for this weapon. So... I'm sorry, what are you shooting? Oh, right. Hold on. He's going to move here, and he's going to fire... Oh, a scanner the... is. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were still on Foodle's turn. No, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I think Foodle's what, just what's chilling. What's Foodle doing? He's just chilling. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess what he... No, he's just chilling. Think. 
Well, yeah, because he can get to those guns if I need to. Furul's gonna shout, if this, if Iskander hits, we need to fire these ones to get it, which I can reach, and Mazra, you can get to those ones, maybe. So that's, I don't know, that's his turn. And Iskander's gonna fire, and he rolled a 23. A 23 hits. Yes! So you see, uh, as the the massive ballista bolt that Iskander fires uh, impacts straight into the front of the worm that's that's zooming towards you with its maw open, uh, and you see the the barbed um, blades on the uh, bolt kind of uh, detonate with this explosive that's hidden beneath on the shaft and splinter apart and there's a tremendous <clears throat> and you just see rocky shards of monster hide just slough off into the air uh, basically it's like a cloud of debris and beneath you can see some some softer looking flesh as a weak point is temporarily exposed uh iskander has a bonus action he can use his bonus action dash to move if you want to move him well that's true uh and he's got his movement what does these things take to fire oh god it's intelligence on those as well yeah that makes sense okay iskander's gonna say well friends i've done it and he's gonna bonus action dash so he has 60 feet of movement so he's yep. gonna run all the way. Is he? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, and he's gonna he's gonna prep for next turn. Yeah. By the way, just so you guys know, these are three separate ballistas, so obviously like a scanner could only fire one on a turn, but yeah. if there's like three people on these, you could you could fire three of them. Oh, so well you, then he's gonna um, scoot there. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, the Empress's armor class is now reduced until the end of Iskander's next turn. Yep. So this okay. is the time to hit this thing, which is why Foodle sort of slowed it down so that it's easier to turn this thing, because we need to turn it for these guns. Okay, the Empress advances behind you. It's it's closing in very close, and you can see it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. This uh, is a big risk. The barrel moved at all? The barrel has moved, and it's moved to there, which is perfectly within Great. your range. Uh, is it is it within your? Yeah, it is. So you fire a firebolt. Uh, roll the spell. Oh my. Uh, oh. Inspiration, for God's sake! <laughs> Come on. You can't. Do, this is the perfect time. You can't do worse than one, right? I just can't really. I just. I would like if it can do any damage at all. I really need it to hit, or at least distract the thing, or something. <gasps> That'll do. There you go. Uh, That's the one. Thank you, Bard. Let's see. Dang, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that is, according to what I just looked up, 7d6 fire damage. So, uh, please, please roll 7d6. Oh, baby! Does she turn ones into twos? Not on an exploding barrel, that's not her own attack. Alright, alright. On the firebolt, which dealt damage to the barrel. It uh, not the worst, 25. though. 25? That's, not That's terrible, pretty right? dang good, not bad. yeah. Alright. So there's this massive explosion of fire and, and thick, sooty black smoke from oil. Uh, but out of that cloud, the worm continues coming racing towards you. Its jaws widening as it nears you. You can see 
pitted and smoking flesh on its front where where the the burning oil stuck to it and burned through the uh through its armored carapace a bit um that was the worm's turn it is now maza's turn when Kiona does that, you hear Foodle just inexplicably yell from the mass, Bluffer Nether! <laughs> <laughs> and that... Kiona's just cheering. She probably doesn't even hear... Liz, we're going so fast! <laughs> and then <laughs> She hears Foodle sure. scream out something, but it's like, uh... <laughs> All right. Woof. Um, I, like where, I like where you are. Yep. So she, to help out She's gonna. Um, she may shout a warning. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do the rudder. So it's um, so it's a what eight plus one? What's this? So it is a uh, it is a dexterity uh, okay. check. Okay. Um, oh, that it's one's an not ability strength. check, not a saving throw. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, this one's this one's a, a dexterity, uh, okay. and it is um, eight plus one for every ten feet of speed the skimmer is moving. Right now, it is moving thirty feet, so the DC is eleven. Doing it, I promise I would. Not this wolf. Your dice won't betray you. I don't trust it. Yeah, I know. I don't trust anything. <laughs> I got it. Now, this is an ability check, so Bless doesn't... No, unfortunately. Ah. No, well... I don't know how Bless works. If you have, if you have the ability to, you can guidance yourself. Yeah, but that's an action, though. Oh, action. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. The guidance was a bonus action. My so mistake. it's it's yeah, it's attack or saving throw. I rolled a sixteen, so that's actually good. Okay, awesome. So which side? So you're gonna turn the ship to one mm -hmm. side. Which side? This side or this side? Yes, gonna towards get the side that Iskander is on. Okay, so this weapons until the end of Wolf's next turn on this side have advantage. Yes. Good. All right. Bonus and action. Anything else? Uh, okay. no, I don't think so. Okay, Kiona, you're up. I think I really don't have any choice. I'm gonna fireball this bitch. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it at level four. Okay. Okay, it has to roll a dexterity save. It fails that dexterity save. You slap that uh, guano in your hand, lob the fireball, it begins to spark and sputter and smoke before it ignites in midair, and the worm, like, just actually just swallows it. Uh, and there is a tremendous rumbling explosion from somewhere inside it as it, it takes 33. 37 oh 30 oh yeah plus cuz the cuz the the ones on that plus 6 so 39 right okay 39 fire yeah, damage bro. uh it now has to make a Fuck yeah As the fireball disappears into its gullet, the jaws close in an eruption of sand. The explosion goes off. You see the worm dive down beneath the sand briefly, uh, come back up, roaring in pain and anger, and you just see bile just flooding out of its massive gaping jaws uh anytime it takes uh 
a, a total packet of 50 damage or more, it has to make a constitution saving throw uh, to prevent itself from basically vomiting. Uh, and if it does, it takes a penalty to movement. Ooh. So next turn, uh, next turn, it does not get its full movement speed. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> nice! <laughs> Reckon the hell yeah. Okay. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. Foodle. Foodle comes flipping down off the mast. 5, 10, 15... We got this, Iskander! And he's going to try to fire these things. Now, it's at advantage, right? It's at advantage. Okay. And the AC And the worm is has a reduced AC due to uh, laws are breaking off its armor. Wow. Okay. So, Foodle misses. <laughs> For sake. Okay. Yep. Yep. Ah! I tried! The yeah, sand got in my you eyes. Don't hit the, you don't quite hit the weak point. Um, Iskander? Um, you know what? Can Foodle... Yeah. Five, ten. I guess that's as far as he can go, but he's going to reposition there. Okay, and now Iskander's okay. going to try to shoot this thing. Okay. Iskander's intelligence bonus is plus two, just so you don't... Right. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. Nice. Okay. Holy flumps. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> oh, this is rough, friends. Abandoned roll 20. <laughs> He's going to... Yeah, I should have been roll using my dice. Uh, oh, that said, I did roll a two last time. Okay, so he's going yeah. to use his bonus action to go yeah. to dash. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 10, 15, 20. Uh, 25-30, I guess. Oh, we'll try again! <laughs> Alright. Uh, it is the Empress's turn, uh, and you are moving 30 feet, and she doesn't get to move, so she actually drops back a little bit. Oh! Nice job, Kiona. As you, as you kind of open up some space. Uh, and that's the Empress's turn. Uh, Mazra. Um, I guess since uh, both Foodle and Iskander moved off the guns for now, she'll try to do... Um, and she'll try this again um, to Harpoon. Well, hold on. Before you oh. do that, which orientation is the ship in? Because you might want to oh, yeah, do the other true. one. This one. This you one. This might... one's the one with advantage. Does it count because if I move you're off a rogue. of it? Sorry? Does it count if I move off of the... Oh, off of the rudder? No, you don't need to maintain on the rudder. No. Oh, okay, right. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Because... Oh, wait. But it's oh, it's uh, 18 until the end of a Scander's turn. Well, Mazra, the the AC's up higher, but you could no, try shooting these at advantage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. unless I misread it, but... Yeah, no, you're right. The AC is... Okay. But, but advantage is until the end of Mazra's turn. Okay. Yeah, so... You still might get it, as long as you're yeah. really better well, than I. Yeah, it's worth a try. This, I got a 2, a 6, a 4, and a 1. This has as much a chance so. hitting as this, so... Yeah, well, yeah, I'll try that then. Okay. So, advantage is still on? Yeah. Yep, advantage is on. But the AC is higher again. Oh, uh, I could roll to 18. And okay, then that's good. 11. And so, you're blessed, right? Yeah, so... Is that an 18 total? Or an 18 diamond? No, it was eight, first was base 18 and then plus 4. Plus your intelligence. The bless, and then intelligence is three, I think. Three. Okay. So yep, that hits. Seven. Okay. Nice. That was worth it. Okay. okay. Good. And that's so the standard ballista does 4d10 piercing 4D10. damage. 4d10. Come on. Come on. Oh, nice. Well, okay. yeah. 19. And just so you know, the way I'm calculating the, the 
the packages of 50 damage is when you've triggered a saving throw, the the counter restarts. So that makes sense. If you deal if you deal like 53 damage, it's not 50 damage and then plus three damage. It's 53 damage. Then we start back at zero for the counter. Yeah. Uh, so we got 19 right now. Uh, anything else, Mazer, before it's Kiona's turn? Okay, Kiona, Foodle's on deck. Um, it doesn't have the reduced armor class anymore, so she is gonna nope. just, maybe foolishly. She's gonna try the ballista thing that's in front of her to reduce its armor okay. again. Um, so that's a D20 okay, plus six. Hey, use D20 plus six plus intelligence. Right, which is a D20 plus six. <laughs> plus, yeah. your, plus your blessed. Yeah, plus that's true. Blessed. It is plus your blessed. Oh, plus a D4, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's not helpful at all. Cool. Well, <laughs> you know. Huh? Yeah. Doesn't quite do it. Doesn't quite Just do it. with the fireballs. Got it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> the, the shell breaker, uh, the shell breaker bolt impacts the front of the dragon's face and just blasts apart harmlessly. Uh, Foodle, you're up. Okay, Oof, what is Fool gonna do? There's no advantage, and this thing's AC is really high. Um. God, what am I doing with Foodle? Foodle's so useless. Uh, Foodle is gonna go, well, I'll give it a shot! <laughs> and he's gonna fire. <laughs> Freaking one of these at this thing. Ah, uh, it's a two. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> He's nope. gonna come back over here. <laughs> he just plinks, just no! It seems like everything you're throwing at this thing, it, it just bounces off of its uh, <laughs> absolutely rock hard carapace. Ah, so uh, tough. Gander. Oh, it is. It is, friends. And he's gonna come over here and he's gonna fire this thing. Um. Come on, something other than a two, please. Something, I I would take something above a ten if that's possible. Uh, this is brutal. On. Like this this encounter would be so much more exciting if you guys could roll. <laughs> roll twenty is uh, okay. being so mean to you. I rolled a seven. I add four okay. and two. Uh, so you had six yeah, for the shell breaker. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so thirteen. Uh, oh, wait, no. So, so fifth, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't hit. Yeah, no, not quite. Oh, oh this is a uh, rough. This is a tough cookie to crack. That's not a thing. Anyway, <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough nut to crack. <laughs> oh, oh god. Um, you guys move thirty feet <laughs> that I'm round. Like shit. <laughs> oh god okay the worm is once again closing in it's coming into pretty close range how how close is it to the ship now ooh 75 feet I'm in danger yeah <laughs> Mazra random question how many nights has it been since I last used my lightning bolt wand <laughs> Does anybody oh, you're know good. For you're sure? good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, just... One, well, a couple. Yeah. It's it's back to full charge. Okay. Cool. It's back to full charge. <laughs> all right. Um. So she'll try and uh, harpoon it. Okay. Uh, don't talk right here. That's good. Oh, good. An eighteen. Yeah. Yes, finally. Ooh, Fast. that'll hit. That'll hit. Uh, so it does 2d10 damage to the worm. Uh, so roll that. And let's see. It needs to make a dexterity save. And dexterity is not its best stat. And I am rolling poorly as well. Um... So the 
harpoon comes down uh, and and there's kind of like a, it's not a traditional harpoon because you don't you don't exactly want uh, the the pride of Kalian to be tethered to this thing. <laughs> uh, but it actually fires like a secondary bolt that acts like a stake in the ground um, and more like an anchor, right? So you've you've harpooned the uh, the the worm, uh, but it's also launched an anchor that grabs onto the sand and rocks and just sort of claws behind it. Um, so you have actually slowed its movement because it rolled very badly uh it is not allowed to move this turn um so you've actually like fully stopped it as you watch the tether the the anchor like grab onto a solid rock poking out of the desert and the the rope just tightens and you see the whole worm kind of just go like just sort of curve around a little bit before the rope finally breaks and it manages to kind of correct itself and resume chasing you, but it loses all of its movement that turn. Um, you rolled 2d10 damage. Yes, you yep. did for 11. Yep. That puts I'm gonna... it at 40, if my tracking is correct, out of 50. Okay, oh yeah, and else? you got a I scanner's think. damage when he hit it originally with the this one, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay, I just had Maja do the rest of her movement, and um, I had her bonus move as well, so. Okay. Kiona. Um, that's a wand of lightning bolts. Uh, she's gonna pull out, she's just frustrated with this, this thing, weapon thing that's in front of her she's been trying to do, and it's not working for her, so she <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and just grabs the wand of lightning bolts and just lashes out yep. with it. Um, a regular yep. shot with it, um, and that will be that. Ooh. Dang! 30 damage. Okay, dexterity save. Nice. Uh, it does save, but even halved, uh, that is enough damage to take it to uh, its next constitution save. Uh, so, and the worm passes that constitution save. Ah, that fucker. Uh, so the, you, you reach out with those tendrils of lightning and they strike along its side and you see scorch marks appear uh, on its rocky carapace. You see uh, stone-like shelves blasting off from the, the heat and the charge. Uh, and it resumes chasing you. Um, Foodle. Okay. Uh, Foodle. What's Foodle doing? Uh, Foodle's gonna try... God, this thing is getting dangerously close. Oh God, he he, he don't want to speed it up too much. Can he? If he rolls high, can he sort of control how much speed we get? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So he's gonna try yeah, the way to... the way it's worded. You can uh, what does it say? The rate of speed can be adjusted up or down ten feet ten feet per result over eight. I can't put it inside the tower. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh. 13. Okay. So you can move Plus. up to 50 feet. Okay. Uh, that's perfect. I don't even need to add the other stuff then. Um, so Foodle wants it, the ship to go 50 feet this round. Okay. Right. And then he's going to use his action because he well not his action that was his action his movement because he believes in a scander he's like all right a scander i'm ready <laughs> all right we're going and again turn. all right a scander is going to try to bombard well not bombard he's going to try to hit this thing with the this thingy the scale ripper or something the shell breaker that's shell, the one shell breaker yep Nope. <laughs> That's a two. Uh, oh my sorry, God. friends. This is a rough. It's tough. This is a hard shot. 
Oh my god. Oh. The dice. <laughs> it's so bad. Dice today. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the Empress does not get its movement, so... It falls way back. Okay, and it is Mazra's turn. Mazra, I might need a hand with this. Oh, and uh... Iskander's gonna scoot out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How how hot is this? Like a, uh... she have to go around? Like, is this like a? Yeah, she has to go around. Okay, so maybe she'll just. Uh... Can she just teleport herself over there? Yep. Yeah, you can throw Check your knife if you want. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to throw it from here. Okay. So. I feel like he's definitely so said she that. She can kind of get the here. Board. And Maybe. then. Okay. So she'll, she'll also try and uh, shoot this thing. Okay. Nope. That's a miss. What's your, what's your roll? I rolled a three. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Dice suck today. Guys, it's like, it's like can't roll most above of a, our four. Like, real, most though. of our rolls have been five or under. Yeah. Mm, this is <laughs> so bad. <laughs> no. I've noticed this is a very tough shot, my friends. <laughs> 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 he is writing in his, in his notebook. <laughs> oh I think goodness. she will, um, just as like a last, she'll just move back in case um, Iskander wants to try and get okay. in there. Well, Kiona, you're up. All right. Um, it is more than the wand can reach, so it's back to fireball, or fireball um, because yep. that has the range. So she's going to do that. Um one more time, this time at level three instead of level four. Uh, just uh, gonna say anything as she throws out the No, but she's ball. angry with this thing and she wants it to fucking die. Fucking die. She says, fucking die. <laughs> just, there you go. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> uh, it does not save, so it takes 19 fire damage. Oh wait, isn't that more because uh, it of your is, thing? It is more, uh, 20, 21, okay. 22 fire damage. Okay. I am relying on you to tell me this stuff. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Anything else? Uh, no. Uh, she might step out right. of the way of the ballista thinger so that somebody else could maybe use it better than she can. Sure. Cool. Yeah, so once again, <laughs> you lob that ball of back guano uh and it it uh this time instead of going into its gaping maw it kind of impacts it on what you think would be it, its face uh tremendous explosion black smoke uh as, as a rain of rock hard carapace shells uh falls into the sands and it is foodle's turn Oh, I'm muted. Okay. Uh, Foodle is going to try to hit this thing because he's not super worried about the distance yet. So he's just going to fire these things into it. <laughs> uh, what is going I, on? I, got, I, I rolled an 8, and I add 0 for his intelligence, and blast. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Iskander, we need you! <laughs> okay. So Iskander is going to scoot into position and he's going to fire. Oh, I better really focus in on this shot. <laughs> it's a tough one. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I literally cannot roll above a 10. Uh, nine. But Iskander's not blast. He gets a plus six and a plus... Two. 
I don't think 17. Yeah, 17 is going to do it. 17 is going to hit. Mazra. Uh, Bard, Bard has given you inspiration. Well, Foodle has inspiration, but like, I think it's the Scander. <laughs> Either that or Mazra, oh my god. <laughs> well, so Bard has given you, Kali, inspiration. Oh, okay. You can okay. use it. You can use it how you like. Like, nine is one of the highest rolls I've gotten, so I'm a little scared to try to re-roll it. Oh. Uh... Mm... We'll see how Mazra does. Go go ahead, Mazra. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it, Bard. Okay. Uh, this round, you moved 30 feet. And the worm gets its movement back. There. All right, it got a okay, it's mutation. It's closing in speed once up. again. Ooh. Yeah, it does. Uh, Mazra. This to me, um, I, I guess, I guess she'll try. I guess you are hashtag blessed, <laughs> Mazda. Oh I gosh. believe. I don't know. See. As a scanner puts oh a hand goodness. on your shoulder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. With a six. <laughs> oh god. All right. So six plus six is twelve. Plus intelligence plus is what? Uh, three plus, uh, plus three, 12 plus three is 15, plus three. 17, 18. Doesn't hit, doesn't hit, doesn't hit the regular AC. Okay. Uh, oh, Bard has given Mazer oh. inspiration as well. <laughs> oh no, Bard. <laughs> uh, I guess I could try again. All right, hang on. Let me. Let me. Uh, I'll. Look. I'm gonna try. Try. This is the one. I. B I believe. <sighs> oh, 14. Much better. Okay. Hey, hey, there we go. What's the total? 17. So on that one, you add six, so keep it's your, a 20. Keep your plus. Bless. We can your bless roll as well. Don't re roll it. Plus your so intelligence plus three. Three. Wait. Well, if you rolled 14. a fourteen, the weapon itself has a plus six. So oh, 14, it's 20, it's 20, 20, 20, So it's twenty-six. Uh, that is a hit. Yes, finally. Inspiration. Thank you, boss. Yes. The, <sighs> the shell breaker bolt strikes the worm. Uh, the the uh, series of detonations goes off, and, and this time you can see that the point managed to wedge itself underneath its carapace, blasting a weak spot open on it. So his AC is now reduced. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, I will also move. Um, let's see. So she's gonna move here. Um, so that was that was um, that was move and bonus for her, and that'll be it. Okay. No. Uh, Kiona. Another wand of lightning bolt. Um, because it's back within range again. So she is going to whip that wand out and, and just whip it again at the thing. Okay. <laughs> God. Ouch. That's a lot of uh, Save. Yeah. A couple sixes. It does though. not save, so it yeah. takes 26 damage. That puts it at, what's 19 plus 26? 45. 45, yeah. 45. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna whittle this baby down, fellas. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Is that your turn? Indeed. Okay, Foodle. Uh, shoot. Man, I think Foodle should maybe be on the rudder. Frick. He doesn't have any way to, like, speed over there, does he? This is what I've been doing wrong. Okay, uh, I guess Foodle's gonna take a shot, since he's here, and then he's gonna start running to the rudder. Um... God, come on, come on. It's something above a 10. <laughs> okay! Uh, so 16. This weapon doesn't get a bonus, right? Uh, its bonus is 4. 4 oh, plus yeah. intelligence. So yep. 20 plus 0 plus bless. <gasps> Hashtag blessed. 1d4. Okay, 21. We'll take it. So it's that might actually is, hit. Is a hit. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. and then what do I roll? Uh, 4d10. Oh, That's the regular attacker, D10. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. Dang. Okay, 24 damage. Uh, and now it has to make a constitution save as the... Uh, as a uh, ballista bolt follows into its weak point, uh, it makes that constitution save. Oh, that son of a bitch. And Foodles, as, as, as he's running back up the stairs to the, the thingy over here, he's going to be like, I knew you could do it, Mazra! Okay. <laughs> Iskander. I did too. Uh, and he's gonna go... Hmm. A Skander's gonna bonus action dash, maybe? Can he make it? I think he can. If he bonus action dashes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then he's gonna fire. Okay. But it's not an advantage. Oh god, okay. Okay, but 16 plus 4 from the weapon, that should hit. Yep. Plus whatever his bonuses are. Plus 2. Plus 2 right. for int. So it's 4d10? Okay, yep, 4d10. Oh! Nice, oh, standard. Oh, oh. Okay. And we're at 25 damage on the counter for the next constitution save. Nice. Uh, and it is the worm's turn. So you moved 30 feet that round. And the worm is going to move. <laughs> that is not what you want to see. Gain. Um... Okay. Oh, she's getting close. She's getting close. Uh, Mazra, you are up. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So she'll bonus. To, wait, Mr. Mitchell. I guess she'll try and rudder again to turn it towards the side where Scander and Foodle are standing. Okay. Um, what was it? Just a d20 for them? Uh, it's a, it's a dexterity ability check. A dexterity, okay. okay. Yeah. Let's... Oh, that's not good. Um, I got like a nine total. Nine total? That yeah. is not successful. Yeah, All you're right. not able to, you're not able to, uh, maneuver the ship into an advantageous position, yeah. 
Okay, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay, Kiona. Um, she's a little nervous about how close this thing is getting. Um, she's not confident in her abilities to do any of the ship things anymore. So she is going to <laughs> whip that, <laughs> whip that lightning bolt out again. She's at this point basically every turn just like gonna do this uh, with the lightning bolt uh, until. And a Kiona. Hopefully something happens. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It failed that deck save. Okay. And it now has to make another constitution save, which it handily passes. Ah! Uh, Foodle, it is your turn. This is getting a little close! Escanda, you do your thing! I'm gonna do mine! He's gonna sort of run 5, 10, 15, 20, and he's gonna try to adjust the sails again. Okay. Okay. Bro. <laughs> it's like the fifth two I've rolled. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, uh, so what's the total result? I think it's seven. So I don't think it does anything. Seven. It doesn't do anything. You're you're uh, at thirty. You're at thirty uh, feet. Is that it for Foodle? Um, yeah. Okay, a scander. Oh, right, that's me. Brick's sake, yep. uh, Iskander is going to go... Let me help you with that, Foodle. Five, ten... Is he? What's what's Iskander's dexterity stuff? His dex mod is plus four. Plus four, so same as Foodle's, okay. Let me take a look at what this other thing does. Ooh. It might it might be time, friends. He's gonna use this thing. Uh, he's gonna fire the bombard. All right. So the bombard is like this big howitzer mortar kind of thing. Um, he loads up the gunpowder, loads up the shot, uh, fires it. There's a tremendous folk and you guys feel the whole ship like press down into the sand uh, as it does so and there's like a shockwave that emanates from the, the ship and you see this this uh, glowing um, flashing shot like a flare go up into the sky and then down into the sand and just goes, uh, massive massive uh, explosion uh, on the sand and now as a result uh, the Empress needs to make a wisdom save in order to move this round. Uh, okay. And a scanner's going to bonus action dash, so he was there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Oh, wait. 55, 60. All right. All right. Uh, wisdom save. Oh, it passes the wisdom save. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. However, for this turn, its attacks are at disadvantage, which is good for you guys because yep, yep, it has caught up. Ah! Um, and Don't... now it's uh, all right. It rockets towards the ship, its jaws opening wide, and you can see these these 
tendril-like appendages shoot out like arrows as his jaws close around the back of the ship. Uh, mm. the, the entire ship kind of lifts up, its nose lifts up as it's, uh, as it's, uh, uh, aft, is that the term? Uh, is dragged down a little bit in the sand. Uh, I think the technical term is butt. I don't think, it's I don't think not, the technical term... <laughs> what did you say, ass of the or back ass? Of the ship. Aft. No, the oh, aft. Oh, okay. The ship. <laughs> A-F-T. I did not. I just said ass. <laughs> I did not say the ass of the ship. <laughs> the ship's ass, you guys. That's how it is. Officially, from now on, in our world, they just call it the ass. Okay. <laughs> Poor cute. What was the name? Freaking... The k- k- Galean's right. ass. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. right. Um. Okay. It's attacks uh, against you guys are disadvantaged, and it is gonna okay, make. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, it is gonna make some bite attacks against Kiona and Mazra as it tries uh. to rake them in uh, with these tongue-like appendages that that uh, wrap around them. Um, no. So, oh, Kiona, oh, great. a 25 hits. Mazra, a 20, uh, 27 hits. Sorry, a 22, Kiona. And a good, 27 good thing, for Mazra. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Okay. So, Kiona, you take 22 piercing damage. Mazra, you take 27 piercing damage. Uh, and then if the target is a larger or smaller creature, it must succeed on a DC 19 dexterity saving throw or be swallowed by the worm. A swallowed creature is blinded and restrained, has total cover against attacks and other effects outside of the worm, and it takes 6d6 acid damage at the start of each of the worm's turns. If the worm takes 30 damage or more on a single turn from a creature inside it, the worm must succeed on a DC 21 constitution saving throw at the end of that turn or regurgitate all swallowed creatures which fall prone in a space within 10 feet of the worm. Okay. Uh, this also includes the 50 damage from the outside. So these are separate constitution rolls. 50 damage outside, 30 damage inside. What? So you're inside the worm. You've been swallowed. I'm over here. Sorry, no, you're not. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, so did they make her deck saves? She gets pulled inside the worm. (laughs) Yep. Oh, they failed their deck saves? Oh, they need to make them. Yeah, let's go. Oh. They're blessed. Hashtag blessed. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag blessed. Unless the bite makes bless drop. No. Well. Oh my fucking yeah. God. Well. Yeah. I guess I would because it's. Would it? Wait. Um, how do you? What's constitution? It's, it's constitution. You roll a constitution, constitution saving throw. Yeah. Okay. So. So whatever you're DC, saving throw stuff. The DC is, is like ten. So or I got half a seven. Damage. I got a seventeen. On. Oh, you're fine. For constitution. Wow. Oh, okay, Bless so you, you managed. Yep, Bless is so still Bless up. Is up. Okay. okay. And then deck saving throw. Yoda, do you have any inspiration? I do. I might, I might, might need to use it, huh? Or, or any of your other nonsense that oh, Kiona can pull. Right. Uh, no, the inspiration's oh. probably the best one. Um... You sure? Doesn't she have like hey, a wolf? How is how is that deck save? Can... I rolled a twenty. Fail, isn't it? You have to. Oh, that's one to fail. that's plus no. Three. That is Don't fail. Plus three. It's a oh, oh, okay. Fail. So like, I see. Okay. I guess I get. I had bad luck. Then. Is that one? No, it's ty- It's a. Uh, Getting swallowed ain't bad. bad. I mean, it depends on what kind of. Anyway. Swallowing is being done. <laughs> Just stop talking. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're just we're just gonna leave that there. Just assume that if it's ghost pepper, it's not gonna be a good experience. Not, right, not, right, not. yeah, yeah, right. true. <laughs> All right, that was my time. Okay. Chaos. Um, so. Wait, that's good. Yeah. That's amazing. 
Do you want to see you, She got a 22! <laughs> oh, that's good. Did you yeah. do your bless as well? Yeah! Okay. I mean, she I got a four. Before, so yeah. Oh, good. Yep. Yeah. So you both oh, managed oh. to avoid being swallowed by the worm. Oh, oh the power my of God. love. Right, right. So you managed to, you got, you got the, the tendril wrapping around your leg. It's dragging you in. His jaws are just going like this. We lock as hands around the in. end of the rudder that's there so that it can't pull us both in. We're just hanging on. Yep. <laughs> yep. And eventually the, uh, oh my oh, gosh, Shagraz. No. Shagraz. No! I hate you so Please! much right now. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Okay, 76 Ooh. and a 31. Uh, weird, okay. Oh, okay. The worm has these massive horns as this cold wind blows around you Great. again. These massive bull-like horns erupt out of its head, uh, and it gains a ram attack. Oh my um, god. Yep. Uh, it also, its body transforms into, like, not just looking like rock and being embedded with, like, desert rocks that it, that it kind of attached to itself as a burrow through the earth. Uh, but the whole thing appears to become stone and earth. Uh, and it actually regains some hit points. For fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, the ship took a certain amount of damage. I'm keeping a note right here. Uh, the, ship, the ship looks like it's still in good condition. Uh, if having a chunk taken out of the back. Um, and that's the Empress's turn. Mazra, it is your turn. I feel like we'd be doing all right if the dice didn't suck so bad. I know, right? <laughs> like, oh my you, the, di the dice have been, the dice have been on your side at some clutch moments though, not getting that's swallowed. Fair. That's fair, that's true. That's a high DC to avoid getting yeah. swallowed. Okay. So she, can she just move? She's not prone, is she? Mm. She does, uh... She does technically invoke an off attack. Whatever. Actually, that was the Empress's turn? No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're still you're still at that distance. Oh, technically me. <laughs> no, yeah. I was I was mistaking the order of when when movement gets calculated. It gets right. calculated at the top of the worm's turn, not the bottom. Well, she's gonna have to do something to get away from this thing, so I think um I think spell wise she has anything that could really help them right in here, so um She'll try to move. Okay. Um, sure. Now you take an off attack, right? I guess. I mean, she attack? can teleport, but I don't know if we. I don't remember if we said that teleport does an off attack or not. I think it does. I think it does. Okay. Um. Oh my god. Come on. Yeah, you're good. Okay. <laughs> So she'll she'll do over there and just try to shoot it. Um. Oh, that's good. Well, this doesn't matter. Um, uh, which ones are these? Uh, those are the, the ballista, right? Yeah, those okay. are the ballistas. Yeah, it's only a 17. Okay. Yeah, that's not a hit. Okay. Who broke who broke the armor? That was you. 
right? I think so, yeah. Armor last time? Uh, so mm. we're back to normal then. Normal armor class. Uh, Kiona, it is your turn. Um, Kiona's gonna misty step right the fuck out of there. Okay. Um, and go over to this here, uh, oops, sorry, the harpoon? That's what this is, yeah? Yep. Oh, she's gonna roll a d20 for a leveled spell. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. You know what I haven't been doing? That's, I'll roll it three times because there was three. We'll be back Four, in one second. Okay. 14, 8, and 3, and 10. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so she's going to Missy Step over to the harpoon. Uh, that's a bonus action. So she is going to go ahead and hit that harpoon because she doesn't know what else to do at this moment. Um, she needs to try to make it stop. Um, so that's what she's going to do. It is a D20 plus 4. And you have what? This one last round of uh, this is the last round of bless as well. So we should slow down. Jeez, really? Plus four, so twenty-six. <gasps> that's a hit. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. And that's Hell yeah. Two D ten piercing. Yeah, because our our ten minutes are six rounds just now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, our stuff that lasts for a minute, it... It's God, we've been fighting this... Instead, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Um... So when it goes left, we get a deck save. Sorry, what was, what was the roll? It was 26. What was the roll? Uh, 26 hits. The subsequent 9 there is the oh, 2 d nine. 10. 9 damage and a dex save. It rolled a 1. So oh, it that. loses all of its movement. Oh. Oh. Thank goodness for that. Okay. That's so good. Right. <laughs> yeah, so at close range, this thing is pretty easy to hit, and you hook it the inside of its mouth like a fish hook, uh, and the anchor drops into the sand, catches a rock once again, and you see the worm just be like violently dragged back from the ship, uh, taking a mouthful of, of the aft hull with it. Um, however, we'll wait until movement is actually right. resolved to reflect that. Um, Foodle, you're up. Okay. I don't like this. This is too close. Uh, so he's trying to do the sails. Okay. To get some speed here. So what do I add? My dex. So plus five, and then I roll a bless. No, because this is ability checks. No bless, right? Yeah. No bless. Okay. So he rolled a ten. So fifteen. 15. Okay. I finally rolled a 10, uh, you guys. 15 minus 8 is 7, so you can move up to 70 feet this turn. And we're going to move all of that. Okay. And we'll... Is, mm, maybe going to... Yeah, he's going to stay where he is. And then... Okay. It's, Gander. Okay. Is going to go here. <laughs> He's gonna fire this thing. Okay. Uh, Dang. Uh, 12 okay. plus 2? No. Okay. 12 plus 2 is not gonna Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, and I think a scanner's, mm, he'll move there just in case, but yeah, he's gonna chill. Okay. Um, now, there's no op attack for this, but the Empress does not get to move. You move 70 feet, so we're gonna go... 50, 60, 70. 
The worm oh. drops back significantly as the air catches the sails. The ship lurches forward. Uh, Iskander, like, almost falls off the back of the ship. It's moving so fast. Uh, at the same time, as the worm is stopped dead. Uh, and then it takes just a moment for it to snap the tether and resume chasing after you. Uh, Mazra, you are up. Okay. Uh, I think she'll try and take another shot at it uh, from where she is right now. Um, okay. Just my dice. Decent. Let's see. Uh, this was uh, four plus int, right? So fifteen. Yeah, plus plus. Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-three is a hit. I rolled a thirty. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what two d? Two d four d ten. I think. Four d ten. Yep. Nice. Not too bad. Okay. And, um, I think she'll Let's see. If she's. I think she'll just go like. Um... Okay. And that's uh, that's her turn. Okay. Kiona. Just within range of the lightning bolt on it. Um, Ooh. She might step a couple feet closer because she's just not quite sure about that. But she's gonna whip out that wand of lightning bolts and hit it again. Okay. Big damage. Come on. Yeah. Nice. Not yes. bad. I like it. Two mm -hmm. nine plus twenty-two is thirty-one. Uh, it did not save, so it takes the full twenty-seven, and that's a con save. Yes. It succeeds at that ah! save. It's nasty. This one gets its movement this turn. Uh, Foodle. All right, Foodle's gonna try to adjust the sails to get some more distance here. Oh my god, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's an 18 plus 4 or 5, so we're going 80. 80? Yeah. Okay. And Foodle's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oops. And that's his turn. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. The Scander. He's going to step back into position. Come on, Iskander. Come on! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do I add s to this one? Six, and then a further plus two. Okay, so plus eight. Uh, he got a 17, so 25? 25 hits. Oh! Class is reduced. As the shell breaker uh, blasts off another section of armored carapace, uh, and fourteen damage. Okay, so he okay. is going to Mazra, other side, and he's going to bonus action dash. Five. Oh wait, he already went five. So ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty. 45, 50, 55, 60. I think that's as far as he can go. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Empress moves its full movements, but with the ship going so fast, it falls behind slightly. Nice. How far away are you guys? Ah, too far. Uh, all right. Mazda, you're up. Oh, I don't like that. Too far away for what? I know. I don't like that at all. <laughs> see that smile on your face okay so she she'll have heard um iskander's uh call so she'll go uh stand here and then try to uh turn the ship uh towards iskander right. if you will say 
and kill us. Now you are moving at full speed, so it's gonna be a high DC. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dexterity check. Okay. What Iskander meant was for you to join him at the other. That oh, side, did but... he? Okay. Yeah. Well. Because you saw a Foodle running up the uh, the stairs there to the. Oh, uh, where was he running? Thing. Uh, Foodle was running up the stairs toward this this thing here. Oh, okay. Uh, well, do you ghost? What's your call on that? I mean, that's up to you. You do okay. what you want to do. That's fine. As long as it's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. So she'll uh, try to take a shot over here. Oh, yes. 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 Yes? Here. Just to prove for Oh. Uh, there you go. That's a 20. There you oh, go. My oh, my God. God. It's true. Oh, right. my God. Okay, so roll, oh. roll 4d10 and add 40 to it. Yes! What's 63? Okay. 63? Nice. Damage. Can she oh. add a smite on it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Uh, uh, sneak attack? <laughs> it, readily, it readily makes that constitution save. Uh, is that your turn? I don't think I can, you but... Yeah, add smite. You can't yeah, add smite. Yeah, it has to be a... I think it has to be a melee. A melee yeah. Yeah. Smite needs to be melee, yeah. 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 All right. Kiona. Kiona's going to launch another fireball at this thing. Okay. Um, and she's going to use Metamagic Empowered Spell. So she can reroll up to four damage dice and has to use the new okay. rolls. Okay. So she's going to, like, do a little skip hop thing and just chuck this ball of Brano out of this thing. Yeah. Um... 33? Uh, plus, actually, it's 34. 34, but she can re-roll up to four of those. She's only going to re-roll that one, though, just to hope that it's better than plus two. <laughs> there we go. So that nice. one changes into a four instead, which is just that's 36. the 36 damage. Those are really good rolls hey. on that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell right. yeah. Foodle. Oh, That's a God, on what? the wild magic. Uh, ghost got me all nervous. Um, so Foodle was running up to the rudder, but he's worried about this thing gaining on them, so he's actually going to turn and run back down 5 to... 20, 25, and he's going to try to flip around and use his dexterity. Ac is it acrobatics? I don't remember. Or is it just dex? Anyway. Oh, for the sails, it's just dex. Yes. Okay. Um, so 12 plus 5. So 17. 17... Does this thing work? 17, 8 minus 9 is 9. So, yeah, you can move the max of 80 feet. Okay, we're going to 80. Full speed ahead! <laughs> and that's Foodle's turn. <clears throat> All right. Iskander's All right. turn. Iskander, because it doesn't... Its AC is still lowered. He's going to fire... Uh, not an advantage, unfortunately, but... Come on. Okay! 16 plus 4 plus whatever is enough to hit. Uh, That's it. That hits, yeah. 40, 10. Come on, baby. Come on. 22! Okay, yes. and that is a con save. That passes... Right. 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, so he bonus action dashed, uh, so he zipped on back this way. 
as a result of its last mutation, it got an ability that's going to actually allow it to gain ground. What? Even though we're going 80? Yeah. It's the charge thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh. Something else. So, it's, so we it's, literally it's new, can't... It's, it's oh. newfound. Uh, well, if you if you reach the if you reach the end point, I've been keeping track of how many feet you've been moving. Uh, so basically, yeah, it's it's got this. Uh, it's kind of become almost like an earth elemental worm, uh, and so it's able to like glide through the the earth as if it's almost like teleporting itself through the earth at this point. Um, and we're not quite there yet. So, Mazra, it is your turn. I just like to think if this thing survives, we have unleashed something terrible upon this desert. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this was here. This was here. Yeah, but yeah, but we no, but I mean, it worse. three times, so now it's worse oh, than it fuck, was before. That's true. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shut up, guys, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh. Alright. Um <laughs> uh, she's gonna she's gonna try to take a shot. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my my god. Although actually, uh no, she's gonna try and she's gonna, she's gonna try to harpoon it instead, actually. Ooh, nice. That's... Harpoon is four plus intelligence. Okay. Um Oh so God. it's uh, it's only a uh, seventeen. So what? Uh, seventeen does not hit. Um, the cold winds blow again. Shogra is gonna have I to like that last take one a was a double. Was it two burns, times like... mutation? That's why. Wasn't it a major uh, mutation? Yeah, it was a major mutation, yeah. That was three then! That's three mutations. Mm. That's three <laughs> major mutations, yeah. Yeah. That's not... You've been such a jerk, Chakra. What? <laughs> this <Okay>. whole <laughs> What? Uh... Oh my god. No, okay. no, no. Uh, oh god, the look, creatures... No. <laughs> The creature actually grows. No! Uh, <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no, but it closer. Ghost, you gotta scoot it back. You, Come on! I know it grew, but like, you scooted it closer. I saw that. Okay, I'll move it Thank back. Thank you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and it also. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Um, Everyone's gonna be like, is that thing bigger? Is that thing bigger it's... than the last time? <laughs> the creature doubles over in pain as long red tentacles grow from the top of its head. The creature gains a swipe attack. Oh! 2d6 bludgeoning and DC 13 deck save or be knocked prone. In addition to its new ram attack. You turn it into a like a hentai oh. monster, sugar. Right, That's for real. Oh, right. <laughs> this thing is so fucking cursed. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. In addition to its horns, in addition to becoming an earth elemental worm. Um. Yikes, dude. Woof! You took your turn. Uh, yeah. you know, yes, you're I did. God damn it. Um, I guess a lightning. Wand again, because what the fuck? Um, yeah, she's just gonna try to try to stun it or something. So she's just doing that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Save. Fails that save. <gasps> she's 
she grabbed the lightning wand with both hands that time to whip it at it. <laughs> she feels like somehow that's going to make it stronger against her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the oh, lightning what? bolt. Uh oh. Sorry. I misclicked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to click chat and I. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that one a lightning bolt comes out. Uh, and and the tendrils of lightning just slash across its hide, blasting rock and shell off, leaving scorch marks behind. Uh, Foodle, you're up. Oh, ghost! I looked into it. I, I did a Google, and the answer okay. is absolutely not. Um, okay, no. so okay. <laughs> I, I didn't actually Google. Um, <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> I'll wait, so I'll wait for Megan and, and Bo. Let me know. Bart already <laughs> answered your question. No. Freaking terrifying. That's not how things work. That's not how things work. That's right. That's a good point, Bart. No, right. I think that no, makes that's sense. Not, that's, that's not, not, that's not that's physics. Not that's, not physics. <laughs> that's not physics. That's not physics. Oh, my God. Rel you you <laughs> got an argument for, like, relative strength and constitution, but not absolute. Oh god. <laughs> um oh frick's sake, really? It's never gonna Oh god. Oh you're killing us here. Oh at least it's not con saves. Um no, okay, it's so it's killing us, it's Shugraz. Just let's let's okay. get that clear. <laughs> you guys want me to keep full speed ahead or should I fire the can the bombard? We gotta get Maybe... out of here, Foodle. No, but like, do I s try to stop it from moving, or do I do the sails? Because I can only do one. Like, either Foodle tries to make the ship go fast, which may or may not go well, or Foodle can try force this thing to make a wisdom save and not move at all, which it may succeed on, and then have disadvantage on attacks. This thing is gaining on us even if Foodle max rolls. Like, what do, you, what do you guys think? Should Foodle just keep doing his thing and somebody else fires the bombard? Or... Because the Scander can. We could try both. Yeah. Is it, Ghost, is this thing already not moving or no? We, we weren't able to no, I slow think it Oh, this no, time. it's moving. Yeah. It's okay, moving. Okay, great. Great, yeah. good. Okay. Bombard it! All right. Okay, so Foodle is going to... We're going to see if we can do both. Foodle's going to try to do the sails. Oh, frick, get in the fucking... Oh, God. Uh, good, 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 good. Uh, okay, so Foodle got a 12 total. So how does this thing work? It's 8, 12 whatever. total for so the sails? Four? Yeah, four. So you can move. Uh, oh, Seventy. Yeah. Uh, right. Default speed plus ten, or is it? Speed plus ten. Yeah. Per result over eight, or no? Um, what did you get? Is per result over eight? So what? What was the result? I. Uh, the total was twelve. Twelve. Yeah, I think I think it's forty. I think it's forty. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I see. Okay. It's like a minimum of thirty. Feet. Great. Perfect. So, all right. Shit. Uh. Oh wait. Oh, hold on. I've got inspiration. Uh. I'm gonna reroll. Thank you, Bard. Uh. Okay. That's better. Uh. Plus five. So thirteen plus five is eighteen. So we can go eighty. Okay. And Iskander is going to go. He's going to bonus action. Well, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And he's going to try to hop down. Is this in range of the bombard? Or does he need to be like here? I mean, he can do either. Uh, one. There. Yeah, one more. The, the bottom one? Or. Yeah. Does it matter? Okay. Alright, so does he make a roll? 
Or he's like a rogue um, and he can just do it. No, he doesn't make a roll. He just does it. Okay. Uh, right, and a scanner's going to fire the bombard. So this thing has to make a wisdom save. So that was 30. Okay. And he's going to go 35, 40, 45, 55, 60. And that's his turn. Oof. It passes that whiz save. So it gets Perfect. to move, but it has Great. disadvantage on its attacks this turn. Okay, so we go 80 feet, and it goes however far it goes. Great. Yeah. All right, and that's Foodle and Iskander. Okay. Um, I believe it was I guess 20 we're... feet at max speed. Uh... This thing is freaking... You're still out of range. Okay, it's closing in. Uh, Maza, you're up. Okay, she's gonna try to harpoon it to see if she can't slow it down. Hopefully this works. No, it's only like a 14. Okay, yeah, that does not hit. The, uh, the harpoon kind of plinks off of its stone hide harmlessly. Uh, Kiona. Um. Do we know approximately how much damage we've dealt to it since its last, like, con save? Uh, 36. The uh, firebolt, fire, uh, lightning bolt. Lightning um, bolt, yeah. Alright, well. Oh, right. Yeah, so she's gonna do it again with the lightning bolt. Just throw another whip at it. And after that, get back, Kiona! Okay. That's gonna trigger a con save. Uh, oh, it may it may not if it makes its dex save, which it doesn't. So it definitely triggers a con save. Uh, save Constitution. It passes that con save. Twenty two. Uh, is that it, Kiona? Uh, <laughs> Fuck, swarm, dude. She's gonna back up a little bit. Um, just basically up to this railing. Um, just like hold on to the railing for the minute. <laughs> I guess. <Kay. laughs> Good idea. All right. <laughs> Foodle. Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Foodle's going to try to dex it up, I guess. And it keeps passing. We we literally have one bombard left, and it keeps passing them. So, I mean, it did fail one, right? I think it failed one and passed one. So, it passed. Yeah, it passed one and failed one. Yeah. Um, all right, Foodle's gonna try to get us as much speed as it can. Same roll as last time. So 18. So we're going 80 feet. We're full speed ahead. Um. You know, haha. <laughs> Little does have action surge. Uh, I don't know if this is the time. Yeah, this is the time. Uh, Foodle's going to action surge, and he's gonna fire the bombard. Okay. Foodle, you get another point of inspiration. Bard gave <laughs> inspiration to whoever uses the bombard. Okay. <laughs> Even Thank though the you. bombard doesn't require a roll, but she said do no, it but anyway. That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Shogos, <laughs> no! Come on! Oh my Shogos. god. For real. Please. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> For sake! 
And Fudo's gonna move back here. And then on a Skander's turn. He's gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and he's gonna fire this thing. Come on! Big money! Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Um, that's a 14 plus 6. Yeah, so 20 plus 2. 22? 22 for what? Uh, for hitting the worm with, with the what? shell thingy. With the shell, shell thingy, okay. Sorry, breaker. I was distracted, so you used the bombard. I didn't do that. Oh no, I did do that. Um, did, you? did I? I don't know. Is that the third I mean, Foodle used the bombard. Okay. My action surge. Yes. Okay. Uh, wisdom save. Oh, it makes that wisdom save 19. Of course. Perfect. I'm so glad. God. I um, Shellbreaker, you rolled what? Uh, a 22 to hit. A 22 to hit. Uh, that hits. Thank God. And its armor class is reduced. Okay, so um, a Skander is going to bonus action dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that's as far as he can go. Okay. Sorry, the mutations are really weird. Um, Yona, you can't do anything about that save, can you? I don't know how, what I you can use your points I on. can, I can try, it's only a d4 minus its thing though. Oh, and we don't know what it rolled, so... Right. Mm, yeah. Oh no! The table the table is good. These guys are going to hate what just happened. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna hate it. Um, Alright, it is the Empress's turn. Oh my god. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, no. I need to find this. I need to... Oh god. 5e tools, why aren't you loading? This will load it. No, that's an article, not the stats. Okay. Uh, somebody who can pull up the beholder stats. One of the uh, nothing is loading for me right now. One of the one of the mutations is roll one d ten. The creature gains the ability of the corresponding okay, on the beholder stat block. That I is six so if you have the beholder's stats up it gains i number six ability it also gains a blink dog's teleport which is 40 feet so it's going to use that right now um how fast is is the we're moving 80 right yeah um so 20 and then it gets another 40 uh 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, God. Telekinetic Ray. Great. Uh, Which oh allows it to literally explode itself. Right. Yes. But it's not going to use that telekinetic ray. It is going to use the hidden super secret ability that was uh, that was mutated all the way back on the first mutation, which is the Banshee's Whale. Oh, God. Uh, and Iskander... Mazra and Kiona need to make uh, constitution saving throws 
of 13 or more will be instantly reduced to zero hit points. Oh! Oh, fuck. I think a scanner's really good Did at constitution, Did you really, like, though. random to roll this? This is roll. This is random. Random. <laughs> remember, remember your inspiration. Okay, I'll roll for Iskander. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Oh my god. Kiona, well, Kiona, no, Kiona, you made the first one. Did I? I thought you said yeah. it was. Yeah. 13. I said 13. Oh, I thought you said 16. Holy shit. Okay. No. Oh, okay, then I didn't yeah. use the inspiration. Iskander made oh, it. Oh, Iskander. I got a 19. Oh! <laughs> okay. Holy shit. So you, so the worm comes up alongside the ship, opens its massive maw, and there's this screech uh, that cuts you straight to your bone. Um, although you made the save, you take 3d6 psychic damage. So all of you take 13 psychic damage. I'll take care of Iskanders. Okay. Who the hell many fucking abilities does this thing have? <laughs> this thing has a ridiculous number of abilities. Um, can a Beholder use its eye stocks like independent of his actions or does it only get one action? Yeah, Bard, I actually have Enchanted T from Ephema, but I don't think it's going to work on this thing. <laughs> Ready, have the Beholder stats. Yeah, no, this is not going to affect this creature. <laughs> Pepper, is it in the compendium? On my on my thing. Is it in the compendium? Oh, it should be in the Why compendium. am I looking everywhere? No, it's not. I don't have it. Oh, because it's in like the monster manual or something? Yeah. I need I need the uh, I need whether its eye stalks are an action per eye stalk. I need to know the action economy of using the uh, of using. It has stocks. a legendary action that can use the eye ray option. Can use one random eye ray. That is its legendary okay. action. Oh, that perfect! Good. This it. thing has legendary actions now. Excellent. Okay. Oh, thanks, Shagras. <laughs> God. All right. Oh wait, it says right there it's an action. It says right there it's an action. So well, it can only use its telekinesis action. as an action then. Okay. The eye rays are an action, but the legendary action is a random eye ray. This thing does not get the legendary action for a random eye ray, so that's its turn. Thank God. Mazra. Do we know... I guess we don't. It's like... The, the thing with certain skills is, like, it's like, oh, put a condition on this thing, but, like... Every boss monster is immune to like every condition, so it's like at that point, like none of those skills actually work on anything. Um, right, because I would have just polyfor polymorphed this poor fucker into a, like a little ant or something in the desert, and then. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I assumed that you can't polymorph this thing, so. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna do the same thing, I guess. It's very unuseful. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. Very unuseful. They could have just integrated the ship. Yeah. All right, what are you doing, Mazra? Oh, I dropped my dice. Yep. <sighs> I'm having, I'm having issues. No, I'm rolling shit now. Okay, so you tried to fire the harpoon, is that right? Yeah. Okay. What did you roll? I don't think that'll hit. I only rolled an eight. Okay, that won't hit, no. All right. Kiona, you're up. 
Um, okay. Um, this thing. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Poor. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to. The two stays a two. 20, uh, I mean, sorry, yeah, it's a 30 even, I think. Okay. It goes down to 19 and then goes yep. up to a 30. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you throw a fireball at this thing, it hits it in its side. The worm rears up in pain as a smoking crater is opened up in its rocky hide. Uh, Foodle, you're up. Uh, Foodle's going to run over to this side of the mast, and he's going to try to dexily get the sails going. Dexily. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, that is a 10 plus 5, so 15. Okay. Uh, uh, 15 four. minus 8 is 7. 7. Is that right? Yeah, so you can yeah. move 70 feet. Okay. All right. Are you going all 70? Yo, yeah, oh, yeah. We're going all 70. Okay. All right. Iskander. Okay. Can Iskander try to hit this thing with the the crossbow that Moz was standing at? Yep. Okay. All right. He's going to try. Come on, Iskander. Come on! Okay, uh, that's, I add plus six for this, because it's a four and two, right? Yeah. So that is a 23 to hit. 23 hits. For 17 so plus six. I can't math right now. 10 and, uh, needs to make a dex save. Okay, 13 damage. And for every point rolled below 10, it made 10, so the harpoon does not have an effect on it. Ooh. Okay, and he's going to go five. Actually, actually rolled quite high to get a 10, because dexterity is, is a dump stat for this thing. <laughs> uh, is that a good idea? I don't know. He'll, he'll stay there. I don't know if that's a good idea, but that's okay. his turn. The Empress Parkour. You went 70. Um, so it can get 30 feet of movement. Where are you at? Yeah. Five, and it is going to make bite attack on Scander. Oh, ho, ho. Frit fail. Oh my goodness. So it bites into the ship, uh, but Scander manages to dance out of the way uh, without taking a hit. And it is Mazra's turn. Ghost, if. Yeah. I mean, I guess Kiona would know this, but if she were to polymorph it, it's not going to, like, drop. It's going to polymorph into whatever she did on the, on the sand, right? I think it'll drop. 
Oh, okay. I think it'll drop. What if, Great. What if, what okay. if she centered the polymorph where it's at the sand? There's no centering the polymorph. Yeah. You target you target the creature, not polymorph the, it into like something a, that a floats. Space. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Chagras, wow. for real, for real. We need to make that a more <laughs> expensive thing. For people to use. Let's just well, or, let's just or like, limit, the, limit the number of times you can do it in a conference. Right, for real. This is ridiculous. So, Graz, uh, I'm going to save that for another combat. I'm not going to do that for this combat. This thing, this thing is becoming so weird. Oh I really appreciate your generosity, so Graz. Uh, yeah. and, uh, but we're gonna. I'm going to save that for another. <laughs> gonna save that for another encounter. Ridiculous. Killing us. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mazar, what are you doing? Just shooting McShoots. Yeah, that's a no. No? Okay. Uh, I Kiona. Only the, I only rolled a seven. Yeah, so you fire that ballista and it it uh, it splinters on its rocky hide. Kiona. Uh, uh, one more charge left that Kiona's willing to use on her wand of lightning bolts, so she's gonna use it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that's a good roll. Yeah. Oh, it ridded that uh, that saving throw. Oh. Uh, makes up for it rolling a one trying to attack a scander, so it takes sixteen damage. I believe it's time for a con save, which it passes. Of course. Uh, Foodle. Okay, so this thing's AC is down until AS Scander's turn. Ah, but it doesn't matter. Foodle's got to do the thing. All right, so Foodle's going to flippity flop all over the sails and try to get them in the right spot. Okay, uh, 16, 11 plus 5. Yeah, 16. 16. So minus 8 is 8, so we can go 80. Eight? Yeah, so wait, wait, uh, wait. Speed. Oh, speed ahead! Full speed ahead! Uh, what is that plus 80? Uh, there. Yep. Okay, Iskander's turn. Okay. Uh, I think... Yeah, if... He, he can bonus action disengage, but he can't get any... Well, I guess that's maybe better. Alright, so Iskander is going to bonus action disengage. Mm -hmm. And go... To this one. And he's going to fire at the big worm. Come on. No. Got a three. Uh, and that is a Scander's turn. Yeah. Okay. That's a Scander's turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Empress is up. Let's see. He went 80, so it's going to be able to go. And it's going to make a bite attack against the ship. Oh. Just make a note of that. Okay, the ship is starting to look pretty chewed up in the back. Right. Uh, Good. Actually, I am going to say this shell breaker is now destroyed oh. as it swallows it whole. Uh, Mazra, you are up. Okay, I'm going to. I'm just going to. Look, you're hurting Bard's feelings. You just stop. Anyway, uh... 
the ship she named after her dead brother. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. The ship's, the ship's gonna join her brother soon. I'm gonna try oh. something. If it doesn't work, then fine, whatever. Ghost, I don't hmm. know if you want to do this, because you certainly don't have to, but if you right-click that thing, you can actually do advanced and then flip horizontal. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Right? Put an, ah! wow. put an X, put a it's big worse. X over it. <laughs> I'm not okay. going to put an X over it. Do, okay, I'm just going to ask you a question, and if you, yeah. the answer is no, my turn yeah. will just be over. Can this thing okay. be frightened or not? I can't tell you that. Well, it's like, ah, uh, fine. She'll try the thing, and if it can't be frightened, then her turn's over. Okay. <laughs> I don't see anything happening, so I don't no, know what this thing gonna is. Try, she's okay. gonna attempt. She's gonna attempt to channel divinity, and okay. if it doesn't work, then that's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Click it into chat. Must make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, what is your spell save DC? It is 13. 13. Okay. It is not immune to being frightened, and it rolled an 11 on its <gasps> save. Yes! Oh my god! You Our present sister. your holy symbol, Our and sisters. it flares with brilliant <laughs> flame and heat that washes over the worm, and you see it actually flinch and pull back a bit. It is now frightened. Oh Thank my you. god. Speed is Watch zero out. and it cannot oh benefit from any bonus to its speed. Uh, Fiona. Doesn't that mean it can't move toward her either? Yeah. It can't willingly. The frightened condition means yeah, it can't but it's, but but it's, but, anyway. Yeah, but it's speed is anyway. Yeah. I know. But this adds on. <laughs> One minute it till it takes damage, though. It can't even run. It yeah, okay. Sorry, it takes it's damage? Yeah. What damage That's does it That's what take? it says. It, oh, until it takes no, damage. No, it's just, okay. yeah, I was just saying what it said. Okay. Um, okay. Kiona, you're up. Kiona is going to jump down to the mask thingy and be like, uh, is there, does the mask thingy work like more than once in a round to make it go faster? No. No? So you can't use it like that? No. Oh, it's okay, I'm on it, Kiana! Okay, then Thank you! Not gonna, she's not gonna jump down there, I guess. Um, I don't know, I didn't know. I kind I of assumed mean, I, that I honestly, didn't know. Honestly, uh... The check. There's nothing she's doing, she just spent the last... Well, I mean, now it's time to fire the big damage stuff, right? Like either of these or right. well, I guess the question is, are we just trying to get away? I think, like I think at this point. Yeah, we're trying, trying to get, get away. away but but, but doing damage does help us get away if it fails its con save. Right, right? but it hasn't in like six times. The last I know. Like six times. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. this its the... speed its speed is also zero right now and and it can't have its speed reduced below zero. Right, right. Yeah. Um So something that damages it basically. Or you can just chill. You can just chill and be like, just, good job, Mazra. Yeah, that's pretty much what she's going to do. She doesn't see it. Okay. Well, you could hold an action, too. I don't even have an action that I would want to hold. Just to get, <laughs> there's nothing you can do right now. Hold right. Mazra's hand hold instead. Hold Mazra's hand. Yeah, no. All right. There you go. Brutal, you're up. Okay, uh, Foodle is going to flip like a maniac around on the sails again. Uh, oh, 
frick's sake. Inspiration gone. We're gonna try it again. Because I got a four. Thank you, Bard. Holy shit, I'm blowing through all these inspirations. Uh, that's a lot better. Uh, 19. So we're going 80 feet! Or whatever! Full speed ahead! And then Iskander... This one was destroyed. It's gonna bonus action. Feet? Yeah, we're going eighty. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you right there. Oh at this point, Nadani points ahead and she says, Look! And you see a ring of stones with two large pillars opening in front of you. You hit the sails at full speed. Uh the ship is a little bit too big to easily fit through those pillars and so when the uh the strength of kalian rams into that opening at full speed the sails on the sides are torn off strips of the hull are torn off but the ship basically manages to squeeze through and just crashes does like a this like skipping stone skipping on water crash landing on the other side the worm the empress charges straight towards that opening but at the last minute closes its mouth dives into the earth and disappears oh my god oh my god I thought and such, and such has saved us. Well, that was the worst Once thing again. ever. Yeah, nine hundred feet. You did it. Can I? Oh can I? Can I? Be, I'm curious to know how much damage, like two thirds of its health. Hey, Half so its health? factoring, factoring in, factoring in all the damage you dealt plus the the heals that it got during the monster mutations, uh, you. Uh, damage it down about one third of itself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You guys... We were the closest ones to killing this thing! <laughs> we also make it harder for people in the future to kill yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> frickin' what have we done? <laughs> this thing. I sure hope Galthor is the creator of this monster. Uh, can, so we, can we name this we episode him. Speed to Cruise Control? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I've seen that movie, and oh, I, I would I would say oh, a gigantic shit. purple worm with <laughs> cheating stats is not in the movie, but it would have improved things a lot. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! god I cannot believe. <laughs> Ouch! Keanu oh. hurts. I can't uh, believe nobody got swallowed. I'm so salty that nobody got swallowed because that's that's honestly, when it's fun. When like I you're thought... you're inside the belly of the beast and you have to like try to damage your way out. When I when I thought Mazra was in there, Kiona was gonna jump in after her and dimension door them out. Mm, that was like yeah, she was like ready to make the jump like that. The mask. <laughs> oh my gosh, leader, that's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> so, guys, yeah. Special thanks to ATM Zero. I see, I see, he's here uh, for for being a sounding board yeah, for me yeah. and giving me some some great ideas for this encounter. Uh, this was this was a lot of fun. I didn't know how this was going to go because this is not really a typical encounter. The D and D rules are not made for this, but that was super cool. It was fantastic. Yeah, it worked very out. stressful, it was but terrifying. very fun. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. You now stand before, as you disembark from the broken and, and uh, crippled um, strength of Kalian. Nadani tells you that she's going to be staying behind to fix the ship so that you can go back home afterwards, hopefully. Good luck in there, all right? Come back in one Thank piece. And, Sorry and about nice your job. 
Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but nice job. You you were like a rock there at the at the wheel, keeping us going. Thank you. Well, you know, all in a day's work. And as you leave Nadani and walk Don't away, uh, her as soon as you're out of sight, her uh, sort of confident and, and bravado-esque exterior crumbles and she just completely collapses to the deck. She just hits the deck like a sack of bricks. She's just like, oh my god. <laughs> she's just like rocking back and forth and hyperventilating a little bit. Um, the ground that you're on is no longer uh, sand, but more rock. Uh, colored the deepest black that you could have ever imagined. This is the this is the void sand. As you pick your way forward you are very careful often like throwing rocks and and you know, like poking the ground in front of you with with uh torches or any long uh implement that you can find in order to prevent falling into one of the many sinkholes that you've been warned about uh it takes some time but soon you've walked about a mile away from the opening in the stone circle before you dominating the sky stretches out Galthor's tower and I'll give you a little image of it here to see oh god made out of a deep deep black obsidian rock the same kind of rock that you're walking across About a mile in, and not quite directly under it, but but definitely under its shadow, the the lengthening the lengthening shadow of, of midday, um, you find a dark stone pedestal. On this pedestal are. No carvings, no script of any kind. But there are three openings in it that look like you might be able to socket something in. Are they maybe shaped like those little key things we got? I maybe. think they might be. But here's here's a thought. I think um, we need to rest. Yeah, I was about to say, how how about a short rest before we put these suckers in? At least, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you guys can take a short rest. Um, and if you if you like, you can do your calculations for your short rest in a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna oh, propose okay. that in a, in a, just a little bit more narration, we take a quick meal break. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, starting back for the second part. I'm Perfect. freaking famished. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll worry about the numbers of, of what you do on that short rest in a little bit. Um, you do your short rest. You kind of refresh yourself. Then what? Okay, here's here's the one that I was holding, and Fudo's gonna like stick it in there. The hold on, he's got the. Uh, the iron one. The iron one. Okay, so that one yep. is from uh, that one is from the Fortress of the Unconquerable. Um, each of them has a different configuration. Mm. I may have said last week that the one that you got from Ewan was iron. It is lead, uh, but uh, so I'm, I'm retconning that if I misspoke. But each of them has a different shape and a slightly different configuration. So there's only one slot that they could possibly fit in. So there's no okay. special puzzle here. You just take your time and you, you find the right one for uh, uh, Winfred's key and you slot that in. I think Kiona has Balian's key. Um, 
So she's going to pull it out and kind of look at the other ones and take a deep breath and put it in the slot. Okay. And as you slide the bronze key into the opening, it sockets in and locks in place. So we'll do the last one. Okay. And the last one, likewise, locks in place. And when all three are in, you see previously unseen grooves in the dark stone light up with a, a sort of running bluish white glow all over them that, that pulses and increases in frequency and intensity until a blinding light engulfs all of you. And when that light fades, you find yourselves in a much higher place, wind whipping in your face on the precipice. Actually, I need to add a scander to this map because God. there was a better than 50% chance that a scander was going to end the last encounter swallowed by the worm. Yeah. But you didn't. <laughs> you managed you managed to save him. Oh. That was that was going to be his uh his his story based exit point. Oh, but you managed save to save our boy. Nope, you did it. Um the most you are, confident this, of us all. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually a little bit salty at uh, Dungeon Draft for this. There's supposed to be like a sky cloud texture. Oh, you see it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There must be something going on with my my GM overlay because I can't see the uh, oh the, the ghost. It's it's probably the darkness overlay because you have dynamic lighting. Overlay. I have dynamic That's lighting. That's probably. Okay. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to fix that. Well, because you can adjust. It, I find it not super useful. No, it's honest. not right. Like, uh, it's still not showing up, and I have it set to zero. <laughs> so. Yeah, Megan. Oh, well. <laughs> what what would his last words have been? Times are tough, my friends. Times are <laughs> tough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So you find yourself as a light fades. The wind is howling in your face. You look back. And you're on this precipice looking back down hundreds of feet over the desert. Before you, Galthor's tower towers, uh, soars over your head. Uh, There's some glowing uh, braziers here, a large set of double doors. A massive complex fortress stands before you. And this, before you enter, is where we are going to take a brief meal break. Right. Okay. Guys, good job on that encounter. Holy crap. Holy cow. That was, that was very fun. That was freaking Terrifying, crazy. but fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah. I do still have a Liaman's Tiny Hut scroll. We decide we want to use it at some point. Right. That's true. Because uh, Kiona is officially pretty low on some spell points. Uh, or spell slots. Yeah. Though I do have um, sorcery points enough to refill one or two. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that encounter was insane. Good night, Pi. Good night, Good night Pi. Pi. Thanks for hanging Thank out. So Thanks Thank for that hydrate. Hydrates, friend. All right. I'm going to go prepare myself some food. Mm -hmm. Um hope they heat something up, so I'll probably be back in like ten-ish minutes. Okie dokie. Yeah, uh, yeah, same. I'll keep uh, I'll keep this on so I can hear if anybody has any questions or anything. Sure. Yeah. See you in a bit. Oh my gosh, guys! Ah, freaking what? What was that? So now we do a wild magic surge, right? Yes. Yeah, we get up to the thing, and then out of the blue, Kiona just searches. <laughs> That's good. You're muted, Woof. <laughs> You're muted. I said they all, she wild magic searches, they all get fireballed off the Oh, Jeff, well, Bard did just oh, cheer. He's just doing it. <laughs> oh my god. I am 
Dumbo. I am sweating profusely after that encounter. I thought for sure that we were gonna be absolutely jacked on that one. <laughs> that was rough. All of those uh, monster mutations from Chagras, man. Right, right. At least it's not the worm. This time we're just gonna fall off this tall in the sky tower thing. Hi guys, Neon! You guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for that raid. Um, Mustang Aspen, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Welcome, welcome, my friends. We are doing a uh, long form D&D &D game today. Uh, we've been at it for a couple of hours now, uh, the three and a half, I guess. Um, we're planning on going for a couple more uh, to maybe, hopefully, get through the last leg of this uh, journey in the desert here, or at least mostly through it. Um, so there may be another boss fight coming up today uh, if you stick around, which might be a bad thing because Kiona doesn't have any spell slots left. So, <laughs> oh god, yeah, holy cow. Hmm. Um. Hi, Pug! Pug, thank you so much for taking good care of Kiona last week. I really appreciate that. I only saw a handful, a little couple of clips and things. I do intend to watch the, the full episode probably uh, this weekend, uh, but I was not able to get all the way get through it um, t before today, so... <laughs> yes, cheers, my friend. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You did, it did. The peril was real. That was a thing. Oh, it, oh that's awesome, Pug. <laughs> oh. What of last week's episode do I know? I know that um, they went um, into the place and they had a vision of Blycross and uh, they had basically um, their like evil selves come out um, and try to kill them. Uh, that uh, it's a potential that Kiona's older evil self was the one that destroyed her farm and her family uh, in in making her into who she was. Uh, I did catch that, like, I've been explained some of the bigger major things so that I'm not totally... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> right? Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. You're being buttered up. That's right, Pug. Oh my goodness. This has been a crazy, crazy day, you guys. Um, so now I know for sure we've got a wild magic surge coming. Thank you, Bard Owl, for that. Let's hope that it ends up being in our favor. <laughs> Those are terrifying in and of themselves. <laughs> oh my gosh. Make a magic canary item. <laughs> I hope it's something good too, Bard, honestly. Um, that's, yeah, that's the thing. Like, it could have really just jacked us instead. So I appreciate that you held off on that until the worm was the not a problem anymore. More smoke leaf leaves for Foodle, maybe? Yeah, that's a possible. Ooh, that would be good, right? Right? Turn her into a plant right before a boss fight. <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> um, oh, God. You guys, you're all freaking amazing. I don't even know. Bo and Stryker helping us with all of the running around and finding out what is going on with the rolls during this encounter. Much appreciate. That has been amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Smoke rock. <laughs> you guys. Oh. Oh, it's so nice to be back with you guys. I've missed you. What is going on in your worlds? Are you all doing well? I hope you're all doing well. Um, Bard, also, I was watching, I did see the full episode of the week before and I thought you did a phenomenal job. So uh, I just wanted to tell you that I thought you did great. 
Aw, Medusa, thank you so much. Doing heckin' good. I like to hear that, leader. I love that. Heckin' good is great. <laughs> Want to just be charcoal or flint? Yeah. <laughs> Smoke rock. What it would be? It would be charcoal. Yeah, right. Because that would be or. Yeah, I would. I would agree with that. Charcoal, smoke, and charcoal. I don't know. It could be charcoal from the desert that has qualities, maybe. Ooh, ooh, what if it's charcoal from the, the void sand and then it's like got a, like a time, <laughs> like a major time dilation thing that happens? <laughs> I think that would be fun. Um, <laughs> that's just me though, probably. I, I doubt that Boodle would really like that. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. It has been a long, long week. Time warping barbecue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was really hoping we could kill that worm because I wanted to I wanted to loot it or eat it or something. Cause I was really getting angry at it by the end. But <laughs> are we gonna have to like oh I hope that when we leave here we don't have to face it again? Question mark. <laughs> that would not be good. That would not be okay. Hotline! Hotline! Welcome! Oh my god. <sighs> I don't even know. Kiona is, is having a rough time of it, you guys. And this six-eyed creature thing we do um also oh you're you're spot on great great so you're gonna work on the ship while we while we uh hopefully hopefully you'll be taking us back it could be that you're just going back without us because we never make it out um that's, that's one definite possibility bard so <laughs> Right, right, if we make it back. I don't know, with Chagras throwing all of these wild, or the, the mutations at us, this is, uh, you get eaten immediately, <laughs> right? Oh, uh, what are the thoughts on the new gauntlet? You know, I'm very excited to use it. I was thinking about using it during that encounter, but I didn't think that it necessarily would work super well for the giant worm chasing us through the desert because um, it is more of a... Uh, I mean, disadvantage on attacks, we were already giving to the worm, which is why I didn't go ahead and use it. Uh, but I think, I love that, thank you. I did notice the fingerless glove. I was really very happy that that was uh, the detail there. <laughs> so uh, I did, I really appreciate it. Um, and the runes, I, I think it's, it, it sounds kind of like an almost like Iron Man-esque fingerless glove with the with the moonstone and the opalescent stone in the palm. I like that just this thing. Um, <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, if the DM says it's possible, Bard, I imagine that you can get that ship fixed. That's the thing. <laughs> Flutter. Yes. I, I very, very much apologize. Something has gone wrong with my camera. I don't know what happened. Um, I think I need to restart OBS. So okay. it will screw up like the other cameras, so, but we're kind of taking warning. a break. This so. is a break moment. Go ahead. Fair warning. Yeah. Our cameras okay. are all going to get funky for a minute, guys. No big deal. All right. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I will be right back. I love it, Bo. Oh, my Did God. Do you need to take a break flutter or are you good i i have not gotten to it going okay for a second okay then go mind. i'm gonna if do you that need to. while you're here i will be right back <laughs> not okay yeah go <laughs> woof you need to talk though talk to our audience killing me <laughs> mm -hmm. i'll be right back Oh yeah, they did. I guess it's because I never turned off my Discord camera, so it's just like this gray box or whatever. Nope, call is here. Ah. 
Oh, shoot. I might have to rejoin the call because that didn't fix it. No. Ah, frick. Okay, hold on. What if which, I... the the armor bow? Which one? Which one? <clears throat> Look, everyone knows I'm a flavor best enjoyed with other flavors. Yes, I thought that was cool. All your magic items are awesome, though. <clears throat> Hello, Pippin. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it Wolf, I'm sorry. I think I have to You're leave fine. the call. I think okay. I have to, I think I have to restart do? my computer. Oh, oh crap. So well, at least it happened now. Yeah. Like my green screen is just not. It, something went wrong with my camera settings. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. I don't have any hot glass. I don't. I'm not. I don't keep in any circles of any gossip circles. I'm like the last person to know everything. Catch you guys in a bit. Okay. Oh, God. oh, there we go. There. M. Thank you, Bard. I honestly, though, I am kind of like the last person to know things, so I'm like the worst person to ask. But if you need someone impartial who doesn't have opinions on anything, I'm your person. <laughs> that makes me sound really bad. Ah, that's very nice of you to say. Well, I don't have any interesting secrets. Uh, ice cream is great. I highly approve of it. But I can't eat it a lot because it I can't stop. That's true. Um... Oh, yes. We may have a vegetable returning. Look, if I'm the DM, everyone's going to sit in a tavern and just be happy for the rest of their lives. Uh, I love that. God, uh, I want to play in your campaign. Yes. <laughs> I got to very recently hang out in a cool molecular biology lab and chat shit with some very smart PhDs. That was cool. I didn't know what they were doing, but I got to watch. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I yeah. remember loving that stuff when I was in college. Like, go, you know, you could go to lectures and stuff like that, right? I'm always super impressed by people. Yeah, they're freaking brilliant. Okay, I think this is actually working. <laughs> there we go. Aha! It's fixed. Okay. Yes, chat. All of you should make heavy use of your local public library and or any other library offerings in your area. Better, that might be better. 
That's about the same. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new style they're building all the office furniture like that so they have to build the bathroom stalls like that too yeah oh my god like... but they probably do since I mean I know Quebec is different but I mean Canada is bilingual so the, I assume they would oh, also they may so... have yeah, they may have. They also may have audiobooks. I would look into that because a lot of um, libraries offer audiobooks. Mm. Also, movie rentals, um, language learning software, um, research databases. I call this my Cinderella dress because it's the blue with the drapey and it's got the black choker. You know, cookies. <laughs> cookies are a go as well. Cookies are a go. Oh, oh, yeah, I have cookies too. Oh, but I have to wait. I highly approve. <laughs> the Flutter fam has uh, is providing dinner, but um, the, rice, oh, nice. the rice is taking just a little bit longer, so I'm not gonna have. I'm gonna have to eat while we're playing. That's fine. Yeah. Um, See, this is the thing, though. Like, I really love stuff like that, like cookies and things, but I can't keep it in the house because, like, I literally have no. No self control. Impulse, over it. impulse yep. control. Yeah, yeah, control. So, yeah, yeah. It's like here's this <laughs> leave of Oreos, and I just eat it and like. Oh no! Half I, an I'm hour a million just, percent yeah. with you, man. <laughs> so hard. Oh, it's the worst. What's everyone's favorite cookie? Ooh, barred Ooh. owl. That's a good question. That's hard to answer. I have to say, and this is thank you, thank you, Bo. Mm. Um, uh, this is maybe a little self serving, but. I make a phenomenal sugar cookie and you know mostly people imagine those little cookies that come with the tins you know that are sugar cookies whatever and they, like but they taste cookies, like yeah. cardboard or something I don't know they're not good but my sugar cookies will blow your fucking mind uh Stryker has had the sugar cookies that I've, I've made um <laughs> so those are probably my favorite my, my that's favorite awesome ones. Yeah, speaking of those, my, my mom at Christmas makes these, you know, like they used to sell those little tubes that had the like stencils at the bottom and you would stuff the dough in and you would like oh, yeah, yeah. And you did make shapes. Yeah. Those spritz cookies, for some reason, for me, those are like, just like pea cookie like, for me. Like crack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Striker. <laughs> White macadamia nut. Ooh, specifically the ones from Subway. Oh yeah, nice. don't you love like, oh, I was just on Delta flights and they have those, uh, the the um, biscotti, Biscoff cookies that they they have. They are so delicious. Those are pretty close to the that the ones you're supposed too. to stick in coffee, otherwise they break your teeth because no, they're so that's, hot? No, that is biscotti. I did say that, but I did not mean that. Okay. They're called Biscoff. They're just basically, they're um, like a gingerbread cookie, I think. Oh, um, right. Like a ginger snap of some sort. They're really crunchy and they're they're beautifully flavored. Troop waffles are also great, but I don't think they're oh, cookies, yeah. though. I don't know. Does that count as a cookie? I feel like it might because it's sweet, right? Sweet Troop is waffle? cookie. Cracker is not sweet, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah. That's that's. I feel like that's how it counts, right? Right. Probably. <laughs> yeah, mm. probably. I want to make oh cookies for Ghost and Megan when they come over here, but I don't think they yeah. can eat the ones I can make. Oh, Bo. I can. Look, I she can. can take a pill to eat one cookie. Yep. <laughs> Let's talk about it. It's fine. Yeah. I will say there are also a lot of really good, um, like, Mexican, like, pan dulce cookies. Yeah. Which are really yeah. super good. Yeah. If it's a cracker, it's getting peanut butter, Pugworth. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. If it's a cookie, they don't oh, get yeah. peanut butter. Unless it's a peanut butter cookie, like peanut a, butter cookies. Peanut yeah, butter cookies, like the yeah. the ones we make at, at Christmas time. What are they with the with the Hershey Kiss in the? Oh, center? like the thumbprint in them or whatever. Yeah. Or... Check out peanut that peanut butter blossoms. Of That's cherries what nice. from my front it's yard. Nasty, but I'm so I'm happy that you can get them from your front yard for yourself. I don't like. I hate cherries. Dude, I mean, they're awful. You know that. I know. <laughs> what? But it costs it cost me like it cost me like two hundred dollars to spray the tree. Oh. But it's like I've probably picked like 
grocery store value like five hundred dollars off right, the tree already cherries, and it's yeah. like not even those look like really not good even cherries. half like there's so many yeah that's amazing i have i've told uh i've told mr roboto and his wife like if you guys just walk down from your house with a bucket don't even knock on my door just right, take my just cherries take off my cherries. tree like there's too just there's take too Ghost's many cherry you guys <laughs> he just wants you to take it <laughs> He's offering it for free to the public. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's my favorite moment in the world right there with Ghost Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and Mazur, Kiona, and Foodle lived happily ever after. Right. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Flumps, your hair is on point. I love the color. It is so good. Oh, thank you. Uh, vinyl recolored it. I think while you were you were away. While I was and... away, yeah, because I saw you it last. Vibrant. I saw it was white, like white blonde, right? Yeah, that's right. I put the the original blue that I had in my hair back in, but you can't see it really well because my lighting is crap right now. Oh. But... <laughs> well, I I love that color on you. It looks so good. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Probably won't make it through customs. Wait, 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 wait. What? What about? The cherries oh, the, um, and stuff? Yeah. Listen, I send cookies and cupcakes to you guys and they make them through customs. I know, but the cherries... Like... It's not oh, fresh I guess produce. It's, it's different. produce. I guess yeah. that's right. I yeah. didn't think about that. Oh. You'd yeah. probably have to like... Alright, then what you gotta do upper. is just preserve them for them and send them a jar of preserves. <laughs> Cherry preserves. Not that Actually, Bard, that's that's a good question. Uh, if, if you met us in Canada, would they let you bring them back? Uh... It depends on the depends, depends on the on customs person. agent. Yeah, the honestly. person you get at the border. Like my yeah, my mom was crossing into the United States one time, and they made her like throw out an orange. Right. She had like an unpeeled orange for a snack, and they made her throw it out. So she she can she can get like a little bit like when people do that, she can get a little bit petty sometimes. Right. So she opened her car door and like put it down on the ground, like right there. <laughs> 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 I can see her doing that, and it's glorious. Yeah, I just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, I do... I do... Um, yep. I do send the mail through cookies with... Uh, I use the, the flat rate boxes, uh, and I make... At, at the holiday time, I generally have historically made... Uh, I want to say something okay. like, it's been about six of each cookie type and I make five and then I give them like 15, uh, there's probably 600 to 800 cookies that I make around that time and put them in packages and send them out to people. Um, so, but flat rate boxes, I, I pack them in, I like basically like kind of vacuum seal them um, as much as I can into like a Ziploc baggie, pack them in tissue paper and put them in a flat rate box and they actually, Managed to get there pretty whole most of the time, so which is impressive. Uh, <laughs> but, Hi. Yeah. Can I ask a quick question? Mm -hmm. um, do you guys still hear the Sirenscape music? I do. Yes. Yeah. Didn't you have to restart? Oh yeah. no! Are we it gonna really have to drop work back out? Going later. That's so funny. Are we gonna have to drop back no. out so you can well, hear it? Well, it might work if Ghost changes the song. Oh okay. I don't know. Here, let me let me stop it. And then restart it. That is that is that is a thing, Bard. I mean, I'm pretty sure that if I had a commodity like that and they were like, Yeah, you can't bring this, I'd be like, Okay, I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> Just be like sitting there <laughs> eating a <laughs> That's a thing I would do, yeah. Oh, that worked. Does everyone else hear it? It worked? Yep. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Awesome. That's really handy. Must be like a just gotta start after you've got it open or something. Yeah. Uh, I should count you one of these years how many of those cookies I make. My goodness. Because I do make a bunch. Yeah? Yeah. We usually have a handful left over here. I make like I know I make like a triple batch of my sugar cookies and probably a double triple batch of most of the other ones too. So 
there is at least a hundred and some odd sugar cookies in one batch because I because you cut them out in different shapes so you know um, ice cream cookies and like a pound of cherries yes <laughs> god that sounds amazing oh my gosh yes and your guest room is lovely I've been there I think Flumps has been there too yeah great. <laughs> I think yep. Wait, has has Woof been to this guest room yet? No, since you no, moved. no. <gasps> I've only no. It was before they moved. <laughs> yeah, it was at the old house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Oh, Pug, I'm having soup. I gotta say, um, um, I will have a guest room too. I know. I'm very excited, you guys. Things are happening. But yeah, Collie and Vinyl were so excited to sleep on Mattress Chan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <right. laughs> Wait, did I get to sleep on Mattress Chan? Is that what I was sleeping on? No. 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 Oh, no. You no. have to go to the new house to do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I've never uh, seen you so excited for anything in your life. I felt bad telling you no. Sleeping on your mattress? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. Okay. I rolled. I've just got oh. my my um I've just got my eating thing up while while I'm mowing down on some right, cherries here. But yeah. uh, I'm I'm ready to start whenever you want. Okay. Okay. Although I'm also not in a rush, so if if Kali needs more time, right. Ghost, do you want me to send you that, uh, we can that kind of GM discuss picture? Some 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 like what we're gonna do next plans. Like, are we gonna take a short rest? Are we gonna save Liam in's tiny hut for right before the boss fight, or what? Like, how are we gonna do that, you guys? Or are we? Do we think we're gonna even get a chance for that? Yeah. Between now and then. I have concerns he's not going to let us like go spend eight I hours know. sleeping on his doorstep. I'm just, I'm just saying I spent all of my level three spell slots I know. <laughs> in that fight. So. <laughs> yeah, and probably a lot of sorcery points. Can you get any of those? You don't get sorcery points on a short rest, right? Nope. I don't get anything back except hit dice on a short rest. Um... Mm. But you can I turn your sorcery points back have, into spell slots. Right, I can yeah. I can turn level one spell slots into sorcery points, so I have a little bit more, and then I can turn some of those into some level three slots, which I'm going to do <laughs> on a short rest. This is how this is how we cope when we're sorcerer. <laughs> what is Shagras? Is the ring of Sh Sh no wait Shiraz? Yes, the ring of Shagras. What does that ring do? Does that give you more? It gives me one bonus sorcery point to use, but when I use that one sorcery point, I get have the wild magic surge. Oh, well. Okay. I just spread out. <laughs> It hasn't come it. to that yet. I actually have six points left because I only used two in that last battle, actually. Mm. Um, okay. So I still can make some things happen, I think. But I'm going to do that and restore one or two slots. And then do, I don't know, three, four. Oh, no, I'm actually pretty hurt, too. So I'll probably do, I don't know how to math in my head how many hit die is it going to be it's probably going to be four or five well, you start can just start four, rolling them right well you can just click them one at a time oh okay right and then just decrement it and add your hit points It's a at. He's going to spend some of his hit points. His hit dice, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that could be fun. I'm not going to use them, are I? Oh, nice. Well, that's a good start, Ghost. It's a good start. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> oh shit! I full healed on hit dice. 
Nice. That's awesome. Huzzah. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. Six more. I'll roll one. Five. There we go. Scander is down one HP. Ooh, five. So that's. I've got to say, I'm having a ton of fun playing a swashbuckler rogue. I really need a campaign to actually play a Scander in. This is. Oh yeah. This is a fun character to run. All right. I restored two level three spell slots. And yeah, Bart. I still have, oh, I have, that's, that zero is my sorcery points out, though I can, I guess I'll restore two sorcery points with another level one spell. All right. Yay. Okay. I think I did all the things. I <sighs> <laughs> that is the one downside of meeting up in our area is like we don't have any space for literally anyone we have a couch mm -hmm. yeah even then it's like, yeah ugh. hey i wouldn't be mad to couch surf, I couch there, surf there are lots the of when i visit friends houses. <laughs> there there are lots of there are lots of decent hotels around you though like oh yeah oh well there you go you it's don't just, you don't you don't you don't live middle of nowhere no, so. it just means it's more expensive, so it sucks. Yeah. Right. I, um... <laughs> I will say I love visiting you guys. I think it's a lot of fun. And I'm hoping, hoping it's not too long before I can do that again. But it'll be a while, probably. <laughs> Right, you guys, you guys, I feel like if you let people sleep in like sleeping bags and air mattresses and stuff, like in your living room, you could pack a bunch of people into that house. <laughs> Maybe. You'd be surprised at how little space we have. Mm -mm. Like, Vinyl's desk is right oh, there. Oh, I was talking to Ghost Pepper, but. <laughs> oh! I see, right. <laughs> yeah. I realized that we were talking the other way. I'm, I often flip things in my head a little bit, so. Right, right, right. We'll bring a tent and Bo can snuggle with us. Yes! Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Look, yeah, it's just nice me. I, I am just obsessed with the idea of having a tribe of people, like, around me. <laughs> so. It just sucks, Bard, because I'm like, I really want people to come visit, and I want to go visit other people. I just want to meet up with people. People don't need to come visit. But, like, <laughs> our situation is just, ugh. It sucks. Yeah. As far as visitors. I would say your pros outweighs your con it outweigh your cons though. You have those adorable little nieces coming around all the oh time. My oh my gosh. What yeah. Amazing. That's the beauty of living here. <laughs> and a new little nephew too? What? Mm -hmm. I didn't hear about yeah. this until just today. Congratulations. That's amazing. I know it's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, I think he was supposed to come like a couple days ago, but. Oh, poor mama. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I say supposed to, right? It's a range. Well, yeah, but I know that when mine was supposed to be there, I was like, because please, for the love of all that is holy, get him out. <laughs> right. A couple of days later would have been awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we need, Bard. We need like a. A like a like a compound or a something, you know? Right? We could just make it a weird like streamer cult compound. Mm -hmm. A commune. <laughs> a commune, yeah. Have a big old common building. A garden. A giant kitchen. Oh yeah. Big ass garden. garden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like all grow shit. Like a big living room area with lots of couches. Some chickens. And Bags. Oh, chickens! I like that. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Right. One of the cool things about uh, they um, 
they do this in Denmark, probably other places in the world too. It is um, doable. But there was a documentary Tiny that I was watching. Tiny great. Right? There was a documentary oh I was God, watching. Oh my God, Neko, not that clip. About happiness. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, oh good, they're ghost clips. Uh, but oh. yeah, it was, it was a documentary about happiness and they were talking about how how much happier people are when they're living like together you know we in the west we just have our own houses and we live separately and you know we got our own spaces but they they build these communities in denmark where you have your own space but then there's also like a big dinner space and there's like a lot of common areas um and so everyone in the commune they cook once a month for like 80 people or whatever and then every other night that you're eating you know what i mean like i don't know it's it's uh, it's kind of cool i was like man that'd be amazing it is kind of like dorms but a lot nicer and like you know a lot more geared around like public like sort of shared spaces like for kids to play and adults to chill and yeah i mean i've i've done a lot of a bit of research um, that uh, about how much happier some some of those nations are, despite the fact they're like dark most of the year because of the community yep. aspect of yep. them. So um, I've considered like I really want to go and see. Like I, <laughs> I want to find out. <laughs> that sounds yeah. amazing to me, honestly. Yeah. Man, that was some good soup. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready as well. I'm good. Does everybody finish their short rest stuff? Yes, I have. All right. This red beans and rice so, is best. Just FYI. Ooh, that sounds so good. Red beans and rice. It's so good. I haven't had it in a while, so I'm like, really? <laughs> I love I love beans and rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These ham hocks are really good, too. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm good. <laughs> Flutter, by the way, uh, what time what time do we need to call it today? I'm actually good. Uh, other plans got canceled, so whenever is good. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we're not we're not going to go a fourteen hour session like last time, but uh, good to good to keep in mind. Okay, so we've got we got a few hours yet. All right. Um, so you are uh, standing at this precipice overlooking uh, the the desert, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet below, um, and in front of you are these large double stone doors leading into Galhor's Tower. Voodle can see something over here. Is that at ground level? Uh, what is that? Well, I can see inside the building somehow, so you it makes it? me think. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, no, this is not ground level. This is like okay. a tower, and you're right. you're seeing through a window. Okay, so I can't actually see any of that. Yeah. Really. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well. Oh, I mean, I'm feeling a bit better. I guess. I guess it's time. Okay, wait. But that window is at ground level. No, it's not at ground level. No. Okay. Okay. Because it's a window in a tower. I know this program, and I've nice done window. it. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Oh yes, did and know? Bard did redeem a wild magic surge at some point. Did you know, Ghost, you can actually do one-way stuff? So, like... Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Yes, I do. Anyway, nice. All I, right, actually, uh... I actually have one of those in this dungeon. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So, well, I mean, do we knock? Or do I just, like, it's kick the door in with, with gimbal shot in hand? We look around the outside uh -huh. first. Oh, okay, okay, all right. 
I, I'm, I'm excited about the kicking the door in idea, but maybe it's not Can the best. Can we even get by these two braziers here in the corner? Uh, no, you can't get past here. Okay, so there won't be any looking around outside then. Yeah. <laughs> just... All right, I'm kicking the door in. Uh, um, well, why don't we just try to open it? It might not be. Bam! Open. He kicks the door oh in. <laughs> like a squat team. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Boodle. Here we go. Kicking it off. Large stone doors. <laughs> you find yourself, uh, in looking into what can kind of best be described as like like a front room or a foyer there are some crates and barrels uh some some cabinets that have various uh, accoutrements on top of them some stuff for like traveling some books things like that Elthor, show your ugly mug Nothing. Mm. Well, you should probably check for. <laughs> I'm, I'm checking for traps. I haven't encountered any yet. <laughs> Mazra just looks over at Iskander and just sighs. Boodle has clearly just lost his mind at this point. <laughs> it's just like, it's happening. Come on, Mazra, we're going to free the slaves. It's time. <laughs> um. um I wonder if Fudo has ever heard the expression "discretion is the better part of valor." Oh, you would think for somebody I... who wants to call us the discretionaries. <laughs> Wait, that's a saying. I always heard valor was the best part of valor. <laughs> that's what that's what my dad. That's what my that's... pa always said. That's interesting. Your yeah. father is a wise man. Okay, what what's on this table? Should I roll perception or? Uh, investigation. investigation. If you're taking oh, a good. look at the table. Uh, five. Dang. Um, it looks like it's an ordinary axe and watering skin. Kiona was going to look at this one too, but I don't think she sees much more. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a magic axe. So... They're kind of it. various. <laughs> yeah, you could pick that up. Um, there are various books on um, a number of different topics. None of them seem particularly interesting. Cool. Hmm. Well, I mean, it looks like we could maybe go back outside over here and See what else is around the outside if you want to do that, Mazra. Oh, climb out the window? Oh, is that a window and not a door? No. Yeah, these are not doors. Oh, okay. Well, then we can just kind of take a peek and see what we can see, I guess. <laughs> Ghost, do these stairs go up or down? Those stairs go up. Ah, so we can't see. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I took point on this room, and, and, and Mazra, you, you might have had some thoughts about that. Do you want to take point on the next room? Which direction <laughs> are we going first? Well, there's only one direction to go. I think oh, these are... Go this way. Oh, we can't go through just... Those are windows. We just established oh, yeah. that there was a window. I'm sorry, I have moment. <laughs> Look. Boodle's gonna you point know it has stairs. happened at one point in every game. Hey, Mazra, these stairs go up. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> these stairs go up. Exactly, Bart. That's what he should have yelled. <laughs> Is is Mazra sneaking, by the way? Mm, she's not really making an attempt to sneak. Okay, Foodle isn't either then. But I think she in. will stop here and... What happened to the music? 
Oh fuck, did we just walk into a battle? The music is like way too... I need like slow music. What? Oh. Are God, these broken that... boxes attacking? That sounded like a battle starting to me. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Ignore the franticness of the music. So we, you I, we find to yourself the top of the stairs, and the music goes into like battle mode, and I'm like, ah oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the top of the stairs, you enter a room that is strewn with debris. Um, at the far end is a uh, brazier that has gone out. In the middle of the room, you see a magic symbol. Uh, painted on the floor. This is this is the music that we're getting. Just deal with it. <laughs> uh, like the there are symbol. four exits to this room. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Don't touch the circle, Foodle. Oh, yeah. did you not say Kiona? Because that's the first thing Kiona wants to go do. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch the circle, Kiona. <laughs> Mosmer, I agree. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but there's like a, there's like theme music running through my head at all times, and it's really creepy and intense right now. So I'm not touching that thing at all. I got a really bad feeling about it. <laughs> um, I don't know about theme music, but I, uh, I am gonna ask the DM if that circle has any symbols that Kiona would recognize. Um. want you to yeah roll an intelligence check not bad not bad for, for having they no seem <laughs> they seem vaguely familiar although you cannot quite put your finger on where you have seen these before in that way that things often around you seem vaguely familiar, but you can't quite put your finger on them. She is going to look directly at Basra, turn around and look at her and say, I mean, don't you want to know where it goes? No. No, I don't. I think we should look around and investigate this place first before we go teleporting somewhere. Alright. <laughs> I say, so far I'm not impressed by Galthor's tower. It sucks. Um, is that, uh, it, that is an unlit brazier over there on the other side of the room. Yep. Uh, yep. Kiona is going to, can she just toss like a little fireball at it? Or not fireball, firebolt, firebolt with a T. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> To, to light it up. I would just advise all of you not to take, not to, to be dismissive. What do you mean? Because I, despite how this place looks, I suspect we're going to have. Oh, no doubt. Quite issues with this guy. I yeah, I mean, probably. I guess I was just expecting like, Damn, he's got slaves. Like, why is this place such a mess? Alright, so you throw that firebolt? Right, onto the brazier thing to try to light it. Sure. So we can uh, see. As soon as you do so, the uh, brazier flares to life, and in the firelight, why is as smiling? though as though they had somehow been concealed Jeez. before you see a bunch of goblins in the room, weapons drawn, and staring straight at you. Uh, I would like everybody to <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> what? Listen, we they were going to get a sneak attack on us otherwise, guys. So let's true. talk yeah, about true. how that... Probably, <laughs> definitely true. It's almost, it's almost like somehow the fire illuminated them. Uh-huh. It's very, it's very interesting, strange. Interesting, interesting. That's probably not good for Kiona. That's cool. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> e 
even better. Okay. All right. Uh, this goblin is going to take aim at Iskander first. Uh, fire two shots. The first, uh, the first misses, but the second one hits, and he takes seven piercing damage. And this guy moves over here. The second archer. Gets a shot off on Foodle. Uh, 24 should okay, hit. that'll hit. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, take 11 piercing damage. Okay. And it is Iskander's turn. Uh, What's Iskander's deck going... score? Oh, that's a good question. You know what? Foodle's you go 19. first. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize there was they were tied. You go first. Okay. Uh Foodle. God. Hmm. Alright, Foodle's gonna shoot at this one here. Okay. We're here to eat bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum, and I don't even know what it is. <laughs> all right, yeah. So you take aim with gimbal shot, fire. Uh, the musket cracks and wings this guy on the shoulder. Uh, what else are you doing? Uh, he's gonna fire again. Whoop. Oh God, he's gonna use his only remaining inspiration. Thank okay. You are. And try it again. Hey, bard. Oh, there we go. That's a hit, but we'll take the 10. Right. Uh, and we'll pop on some Colossus Slayer. And okay. Foodle is going to put a... Uh, he's going to try to scare this thing with a superiority die. So it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Or okay. become frightened. And it takes an additional 6 damage, right? Yeah. Uh, it fails that saving throw. Right, so it's frightened of Foodle until the end of Foodle's next turn. Okay. The end of Foodle's next turn, okay. Yeah. Um, Which I will keep yeah. track of. You don't need to. So two shots, one, another, and it kind of cowers back. Uh, now it's Iskander's turn, uh, and he's going to go 5, 10, uh, 15... Dancing around the goblin, uh, he's going to make an attack with his scimitar. A 19 will hit. Dealing 11 damage. Uh, and he's going to pour on his sneak attack for an additional 17 damage. Um, and then he is going to bonus action disengage. Is he? Where was he? He was here. 5, 10, 15. Yes, he's going to bonus action disengage. Uh, so cut past this guy and charge the goblin. Dude. That must have kind of draw stick. his fire. It's like Sorry? one swift motion as he slices this right. guy as he heads past. That's, That's right. That's right. Um, Polly, your microphone's a bit quiet more so than oh, before. Oh, it's because I, I restarted. That. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. That should be better. Yeah, much better. Thank you. Stupid mic. Um, Mazra. Okay. Um, she'll move here and try to uh, engage this guy. Um, I mentioned ghosts, but while they were in, um, was it Camp Intrepid? Is that what they went back to? Yep. Um, yep. She she just picked up a, like a bar bargain basement uh, rapier just to try it out. Um, okay. She's actually going to just try that and see uh, how it goes. So. Sure. I think I put this incorrectly, but keep an eye on it if it doesn't okay. work. Yep. Your rapier should use your dex. I think that's right. 
Let's see, three dex, three proficiency, that's right. Okay. Um, and then d8 plus your dex, yep, that's correct. Okay. Okay, dealing five damage okay. as you skewer oh. this guy. Ooh, nice. And 11 sneak attack. This guy's starting to look pretty hurt. Okay, and then she'll do um, an off hit. Oh, can she still do, if she has yes, like... please. Yeah. Okay. And she'll use, um, as usual, she'll use Ren for that. Um, yeah. That's, okay. that's a hit. Okay. Okay. Okay, and this one, uh, uh, he's frightened, so he can't move towards Foodle. He's going to instead move 5, 10, 15. And he is going to make an attack on Mazar with his spear. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. He All gets of three them, attacks. Yeah. <laughs> six, 11 and a 9. Yes! So, distracted by Foodle, he's, he's kind of like stabbing at Mazra while looking at Foodle like... Foodle's just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Mazra, you easily dance out of the way. Uh, the other goblin foot soldier is not so easily distracted. He makes three attacks on you, Mazra. Um, not at disadvantage, but it's a 13, a 14, and a 14. Do any of those hit? Dang. Where did it roll to get a to get a 14 9? So pretty pretty low. Okay. Uh Kiona. Um, okay. I think that um Kiona is just going to um do 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 uh just don't want to use any spells on these guys, so she's gonna grab her little rope dart of multiplication. This guy is within range of her because he's within ten feet, um, and so she's gonna do that. Um, do do with the um, with the the three dagger spread on it. Okay. And that was against which one? Okay. It does not hit. No. 12 does not hit. So you whip out with the rope dart, and it manages to dodge out of the way. Okay. Uh... This goblin archer, he's not gonna... See, my interpretation of the rules is if he's sitting here and he makes a ranged attack on somebody else, he draws an off attack. I don't know if that's rules as written, but it makes sense to me. So he's gonna make an attack on Iskander instead. I think, uh, didn't we like homebrew that or something? I we did homebrew sure. that, I but I think we homebrewed in favor yeah. of being able to make a ranged attack. Although, no, wait, it was the spell, not the ranged attack. Right. But I, yeah. But well, I think I that know. was, that was like, against you at point-blank range. Right. Right? Right. Um, it would be a disadvantage. Okay. I'm talking about, like, if this goblin were to make a ranged attack on Mazra, while well, Iskander is right next to him. As far as I know, rules is written, nothing happens, but like I do remember us doing something. Megan says, Megan says it's at disadvantage. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's why I placed him here anyway to block that. Uh, so. Okay. Well. Makes two short sword attacks on Iskander, but Iskander easily parries them out of the way. Uh, the other goblin archer is going to make a couple attacks with. It's longbow on Kiona. A 24 Someone and a 23. Pitched. Both of those hit. I forgot so that's to 20 damage. my new bracer thing. Guys. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they mark it on the God. sheet. Shield wouldn't have helped with either of those, I don't think. 
No. 24 and a 23? No. Nope. All right. Uh, so that's 20 piercing damage. 20 damage, all told. Cool, cool. Yep. Right off the bat. Cool. Drawing back, it's left loose, and the arrow strikes you uh, in the side. Oh, I'm so glad Foodle, I Foodle, you're up. All right. Uh, Foodle. Uh, do either of these look more in pain and hurt than the other? Uh, this one visibly more so. That Iskander okay. and Mazra have practically cut to ribbons at this point. Okay, Foodle's gonna go 5, 10, 15, so he can get sort of a, a probably a more clear shot, and he's gonna fire a gimbal shot at this one. The, the one on the left there. Yep. Uh, that is not a hit. He's going to... Is he going to use this one? No, he might need him. Okay, so that one misses. Foodle's going to go... Ah! And he's going to fire again at the same guy. Okay, there we go. That's better. That one's a hit. Okay. And Colossus And as there? you... Yep. Nice. As you hit him with this shot... Uh, he goes down. It, the musket ball hits him in the shoulder, and it spins the goblin out, and he hits the floor. Okay. And then Foodle's going to go into that corner. And that's his turn. Okay. And a scander, uh parrying this one's uh, short sword thrust. Then he finds an opening and makes a swipe to take this thing's head off. 22 will hit for sure. Dealing six slashing damage plus his sneak attack. Oh, that's a good sneak attack. All right. And that is his turn. Mazra. Okay. So she'll, um, Try and uh, go for this guy that's right here. Um, taking a slice at that guy. Yep. Oh, nice. <gasps> oh. Yeah. I was just on a better be a enemy, good, but it's gonna be a good crit too. Yeah. You get to roll sneak attack. So twice. you get to roll sneak attack twice. Why well, couldn't this is? Uh... Just hit the sneak attack again. I'm wasting you know. it now. When it could be used for later. Uh, oh god, so it's true. Is, the first one is actually an eight plus three is eleven. Uh, so that's an eleven plus four. Oh my god. It is fifteen. <laughs> Can get plus eviscerated apparently. Another ten, twenty-five, thirty-nine. Oh my god. I'm just gonna do this. Nice, Mazda. <laughs> As yeah. this one is dancing aside. You're, you're like fencing with this one, knife slash, and you just kind of go like that without even looking. And yeah. it just skewers him right through the eyeball. And he slides off your blade to the floor dead. She's learned from a scanner. So she's going to also move. Just um... If Kiona sees that, Kiona will remember. <laughs> <laughs> Kiona won't remember this. Oh, wait. She can only, she can only that was hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. And, Kiona, it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to activate my new little bracer thing. So, Kiona reaches over and slides her hand down over the top of the glove, and the runes light up. Um, and uh, that will give anything that attacks her disadvantage on those attacks. Uh, and I don't remember what else it does, but I can use that three times a day. Uh, so anyway, I'm just gonna do that. And then she is going to, um, just use a firebolt on the guy back there that Mazar was just moving toward. Okay. <laughs> I would say a 25 hits. Nice. 12 fire damage. That firebolt, that firebolt is powerful. Like yeah. that, that was, that was like, that was like an, a, a middling hit. 
I, out of 12. Though. Right, yeah. I, I have only just recently learned to appreciate that Firebolt can do some decent stuff, so... <laughs> yeah, cantrip scaling is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that will be, I think, her turn. Nice. Okay. Uh, Goblin Archer, once again, after after taking that hit, falls back, clutching its chest, and lashes out at a scander again, not having much more choice but to fight here. Uh, the first attack, well, hold on. What does he have? He has this. And I've never really used it before. Nope, that's not the right one. Is it this one? Nope. Uh, oh, it's this one. See, I don't know. I don't know a scanner sheet. Uh, when really a finesse weapon, which he is, with his proficient, re so he's going to use his reaction to add his proficiency bonus to his armor class. Oh. Uh. And his proficiency bonus is a plus four. Add that to a 17. Is 17 plus four 23? No, no it's 21. not. So it's not going to help. Okay. Uh, so he's still going to take the damage anyway. Um, so that is seven piercing damage. The other goblin archer is going to maneuver this way. To kind of put uh, Mazra between uh, him and Kiona. And he is going to make two short sword attacks on Mazra. 13 and a 14. They do not hit. So you easily bat those short swords out of the way with your rapier. Uh, Foodle, you are up. Um, has this one taken it's damage? It has. Uh, this one, just so you know, has partial cover from you. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right. Foodle's going to shoot at the one up here with a scander. A scander, watch out! Nice. Okay. Uh, yep. And then he's going to fire again at the same one, and he's going to put some Colossus Slayer in there. Okay, yeah. And, and uh, the first one knocks it against the wall and the second one just goes what i tell you gobbles down the wall dead ass kicking time oh so 20 25 okay and that's foodle's turn okay and right. scander is oh. gonna come over here uh after after nodding some thanks to foodle uh he's gonna race over here and he is gonna make an attack on this guy um this goblin has partial cover so that ac is plus two still hits it nice. uh, eight damage and i think he gets sneak attack on that oh god it is looking very hurt and that's a scander's turn mazra <laughs> okay Okay, she'll do another attack. No. No. So, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm trying to be fair. I also. I did a quick look up, and it looks like if you're wielding, I think if you have a rapier, I don't think you can do a bonus attack. I. I messed up earlier. Okay. So I. I just. I looked it up. So I'm gonna not do that because I don't think it's legal. Okay. Yeah, let's um, let's check into that later. But for right. now, let's go with no bonus attack. With fine, the rapier. that's fine. So that's yeah. she'll she'll actually she'll just move here, and that'll be okay. her. Okay. All right, Kiona. Another firebolt, please. Um, right, right. All right. Between the eyes of that guy there. Yeah, it does not get partial cover at your angle. Oh, and that'll do it. How do you want to do this, Kiona? Oh, right, like I said, right between the eyes. <laughs> nice! <laughs> yeah. And the firebolt, like, actually burrows a hole in its head, and you see the orange glow in its eyes and in its mouth. 
soon turn into like a puff of black smoke as it slides down to the floor. Dead. At this point, you hear a gong sound. Uh, I wonder if I have one of those sounds. Uh, that's like a... I don't think that's right. Ah! That's definitely not right. That's definitely not right. That sounded like a... It was like a fanfare. Yeah, that was a fanfare. Uh, and that's Morse code. Um, so, anyway, you hear... An alarm sound. Can this sound and please Morse end? code. Can you just, can you just end? <laughs> right? But like, okay, what, what, why it would won't these stop. things be the thing? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right? So you just hear this gong sound. Boom, boom, all throughout the, uh, all throughout the castle. Um, the, the whole, the, the ground begins to tremble a little bit. Uh, and you feel this staticky discharge of magic in the air all around you. Uh, and a cruel laugh fills the air. Well, if it isn't the Vogue Slayers finally here to face me. Yeah, I've we're called the Specialers now. Uh, nobody calls you that. My mom does. I've been waiting here for you for some time. Why don't you come to the top of my tower and face me yourselves? Er, how do we get up there? Well, up the stairs, obviously. But make sure you pick the right ones. <sighs> All right. Uh, you still hear the the sounds of alarm all around you, uh, and now uh, the sounds of uh, action, movement, footsteps all around you. It seems that the tower is on high alert. Oh, well, that's not good. Touch it's hard to be dis now. discretionary. <laughs> uh, sure, you can touch the magic circle if you want. No, that Yona, means no. Yona talking to Mazra. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did she say? She said, "Cannot touch the magic circle now." Uh... I mean, look. Can I really stop you? I I'm advising against it, but... What if it's straight shot to this guy's room? That's, that's true! Although they did say that we need to go up some stairs. He also said pick the right ones. Yeah. Do you see it? Are there any doors in here? Yeah, yeah there's, there's four of them. There's four and there's doors. a. Is there a hallway One, to our north? Two, three, oh, four. Okay. Oh no, a that's a window. I see. That was I that's the. Understand okay. that those were the doors. Look, I don't know what's a window and what's a door. It's. Fine. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I think Tim if you can see through it, it's a window. If you can, it's a door. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, roll for them. Kiela that's is a good gonna go over awesome. and take a, a wall. look. You can't see through it. <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky. Just doors and walls, man. It's, uh, doors, doors and walls are the same thing to the Kool-Aid man. Yeah, yeah that's true. Really that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright. Where are we going first, friends? Um, uh, Kiona is going to go over to the magic circle and take a closer look and try to discern Is she going to Arcana it? Okay. Roll Arcana. I can try. I don't have it, but I'm going to try. With Mazra's yeah. guidance? No, I don't know. Yes. Nope. Oh, no. okay. Nope. It wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> no. Mazra, Mazra's about to guidance you. 
but decides that it's it's a waste of a good free cantrip. Oh, so God. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, that, that is that brutal. Uh, what does it mean? With a, with, with a roll of two, Kiona, <laughs> you're now not even quite sure it's a magic circle. It might just be a circle. She's going to touch you, it then, you... if she's not sure. She's going to put her hand on it. All right. Okay. You touch it, and nothing happens. Okay. And no feelings of zinging or anything. No, you know? no feelings of zinging. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm gonna touch it. Foodle Wait. touches it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same thing happens. <laughs> if someone told you to touch a hot stove, mm. would you do it? Okay. Ooh, I'll be me? right back, guys. Decide which uh-huh. Yeah. All right. It depends who told me. If you told me to do it, I would do it. God. I don't know. I feel. I like trust you, video. Mazra. I just. <laughs> um. <laughs> wait, wait, Mazra, did you say to lick it? No. Why would I? L- no. You got oh. a dirtsman on that floor. Foodle, foodle licks it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, picks up plus one STD. Right. <laughs> Do I get a damage on the lick? <laughs> I wonder if ghosts can still hear it. still guidance you to the lick. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Alright, well... Guys, I'm like, I'm too tired to be playing this game right now. (laughs) We've all gone a little insane. I can't even I definitely have. This is ridiculous. Dude, I think my brain got broken by that first encounter. I was so stressed out. Oh, no. Bar, man. Oh. And Shigras. Oh, I can't stand in the center. That's such bullshit. Um. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Pug. That was right, an important Poodle, make a point. Make a constitution save. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. He's good at these. <laughs> uh, 20. Dirty 20. 18 dirty plus 20. 20. 18 plus 2. Okay. Interesting. It tastes um, like stone. Just, I don't just know. A little, <laughs> just, just a little, just a little marker for later. Um, okay, so what, what's next? Cool. Yeah. Um, All right, let's try this one first. Come on. Are there no discerning marks above any of the doors, or on the, any of the doors? No discerning marks above any of the doors. No. Okay. Just gonna go clockwise. Um, and actually, what I'm what I'm gonna do for this dungeon, um, I'm gonna get everybody to roll initiative now. Okay. You no, know, we had initiative before. Roll initiative now, and we'll just keep a we'll just keep a running initiative. All right. Here's Fiddle's fake initiative. Oh my god! Can I stop rolling two twos, please, please? Mm. Yeah. Get them out of the way now. <laughs> did, what did it okay. taste like, Ghost? Tasted like chalk. It tasted like chalk. Is that helpful? I don't know if that's helpful. All right. it doesn't help me. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, Mazra, we will, we will go for your turn here. So we're on, we're on your turn. Um, I'm gonna be fairly loose with like initiative order like it's pretty pretty standard you can use your move action your bonus action you can make an ability check as an action on your turn things like that um but we're just we're just gonna kind of keep it rolling in that way uh so mazra you're gonna you want to open that door yeah i'm investigating it first though you're investigating it first okay go ahead all right it doesn't appear to be trapped. It's not okay. locked in any way. I will cautiously open it. Okay. And it opens into a set of stairs leading up. Do we want to open all the doors? She says to everyone. I guess so. I, I mean, we need stairs going up, and this looks like progress. Right, but they might all be going up. We gotta figure out if he said there's a route one. We can't just pick any one willy nilly, right? 
Oh, well, if he said the right one. Oh, wait, but what perspective is it from? Because that door. What? Oh. Oh, okay. So. Okay. So, Kiona, you're you're next. Are you opening a door? I guess so. Maybe. Okay. She'll go to the next one because Mazar said go uh, clockwise. Okay. So you attempt to open this door. But it is locked fast. Well, this one's locked. You don't see any keyhole on it. Uh, Iskander, on his turn, moves to this one and attempts the same thing. Also locked. There doesn't seem to be any means of unlocking these. Hmm. Uh, Foodle. There's one more door. Alright! Here it goes! Foodle's gonna try to open this one. Okay. That door opens. To another There's... staircase leading upstairs. These ones go upstairs too! Boodle's going to close the door and then come over here. Okay. Uh, Mazra, we're back around to you. Be careful, Mazra. Hey. Now, for situations like this, as you move into other rooms, I will allow you to say, like, hey, I'm going to wait for everybody to form up on me or in a line or whatever. Right. Like, you can, you can do some of that. Like I said, I'm going to be, even though we're keeping an initiative order, even outside of combat, I'm going to be fairly flexible. Okay. That's what you do within that. I'm going to try to go forward. Okay. She's going to, actually, while she does that, in, um, so she's got her, uh, so she put her rapier away. She's got um, one of her daggers in one hand, just kind of holding it. And the other, she's going to pull out... Um, the immovable rod. She's not using it, she's just holding it. And then she'll kind of inch. Okay. Yeah, you're now on the stairs. Okay. And I think she's gonna... Are they, and I assume these are windows as well over here. Yeah. Does she, can I take a, a like a skill action or a skill check? Or is that For too much? Uh, just to investigate, like just right in front of her. Okay. What are you investigating? Like just see if there's traps? traps or anything. Yeah. They're just like okay. right in front of her. Sure. Uh, You don't see any signs of traps in the walls, the floor, or the ceiling. But you do catch a little movement of shadow right here. <laughs> and I think I that's like for you, sure. If you're moving if you're moving back out, I like yeah. you to roll spell. Okay. I will do that. Okay. I'm so afraid of using these. Actually, she does get um, because she is she's not wearing her boots now, so she does get disadvantage on this. Um, so we're stuck. Oh, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll two. I'm gonna roll two d twenties. Uh. Oh yeah. I got a I got a one on one of those. So yeah, she uh, okay. she was very loud. So as you're turning to move down, a goblin kind of comes behind you and catches you off guard. Uh, these attacks are going to be at advantage. 
So a 16, a 20, and an 8. The the 20 will hit. The 20 will hit? Okay. Um, trying to figure out why it's not outputting damage. Yes, there it is. Okay, I need to click the attack again. Uh, so you take nine, uh, nine damage in the shoulder as a spear comes in behind and catches you just before you can say anything to warn. Can I half that ally. or not? Because it's uh, they kind of caught me off guard. I'm gonna say you cannot this time because okay. it caught you off guard. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kiona, you're up, and this one's gonna get an initiative roll. So having heard the commotion and seeing, she can see a little bit that there's another dude over there. So she'll step over uh, into the doorway and hurl a firebolt at that guy. Okay. Um, it's going to have plus two AC because monster is kind of blocking your shot well, a bit. That's a crappy not happening. Doesn't matter. Level. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, that's the... Okay. Oh, well, yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> okay. And, uh... I would like you to roll Bard's Wild Magic Search, please. <gasps> as you're, as you're oh, no. suddenly overcome by surprise and distress at Master's situation, <sighs> that you feel Thank your you power uh, well up inside you. <gasps> Thank you, Bard Owl. It is a 70. Seven. Ooh. Seven to seven. Ah? That is, you cast polymorph on yourself. Yay! Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I believe that's a wisdom a save throw. against your yes, spell save DC. Against my own yes. spell save. Cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Do you get to choose what you polymorph into, or it's like a? Sheep? I think it's a sheep. I assume it's a sheep, it's right? right? That's the. A... It's a sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it's okay. not Keonape. Oh, uh, I thought it was banana right. time. No, it's not banana time. No. Banana time! Oh, shit. Everybody, everybody wants it. Everybody <laughs> wants it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Sorry. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah, that doesn't. You are now a sheep. Do I have, oh, do I have a shit. sheep in here? Oh, I can get you a sheep, guys. Um, I'm wondering if I have a sheep in Remember my Remember when Kiona told family. you to kill her if this happened in the future. I could, I could grab you a sheep real quick if you don't. Just uh, shoot her, poodle. Yeah, I've got, I do, I do have a sheep icon somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, Crap. There it is. It's okay, nice. Bard. It's fine. Oh, uh, shoot. I mean... It is extra hit points, Bard. I don't know how many hit points a sheep has, but it is... It could have been a lot worse. Extra hit points. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah, no one, uh... no one would know. She's undercover now. She's incognito. She's the actual discretionary in the discretionaries. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> poof, in a, in a cloud of Police that gently rains down. Uh, you you see that Kiona is now a sheep. She just emits a little. Nah. All right, uh, Iskander. Three hit points for a sheep. It says. Hey, three hit points. <laughs> That's hey. three extra hit points that you didn't have. <laughs> uh, when you what? When did you say? When did Kiona say to kill her if this ever happens? Uh, a co you guys remember, right? We had this discussion when, I know. Uh, back when, um, after the storm giant thing, because she turned into a sheep when they were there, and the and okay, they okay. had a discussion about this. Okay, okay. I think before, did it well awesome. before you met Iskander, so he doesn't know. No. Uh, no. So yeah, he kind of like Iskander. Yeah, sorry. looks at you quizzically, but he but he's <sighs> kind of like used to this stuff happening now. Kiona is not actually here, by the way. I'm just just to keep her. I'm just doing that to keep her token on the board. 
Um, 15, 20, 25, 30, bonus action dash, 35, 40. Um, and he is going to make an attack on this guy. Uh, 16. 16 does not hit. Shoot. Okay. Um, the goblin is going to make two attacks on Mazra and one on Iskander. So the third one is on Iskander. Well, thank God. It's not actually at advantage. Um, but it does hit Iskander, the third one. So... Uh, Scander is going to take 11 damage. Huh. As the goblin kind of jabs at you, Mazra, and you, you kind of duck and weave out of the way, and then Scander kind of ducking past him, he turns the spear like this and manages to catch uh, Scander in the back. Foodle. He can, he can half that too if he wants to. Thank you for reminding me. He can. Mm -hmm. Uh... And I think I'm going to do just that. Ah, you're so fluffy as a sheep, Kiona. Ah, but I remember what you told us. So Foodle's going to pull out. God, does he have a not plus one dagger? She replies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't think he does have a... I think that's his least damaging weapon. And how does punching work? Like an unarmed strike? It's your strength bonus is the damage. So your flat damage so of your strength bonus. Zero then. Okay. Yeah. You'd be like slapping the sheep. <laughs> Good foodle, dude. So foodle's gonna Do you sort have of a dagger? Ripple... Do you do, you don't have a dagger on you? I have a plus one dagger yeah, and that's you it. Need a dagger, just slit her throat. Just, 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 oh just... <laughs> god. I know, but any damage that overflows past three, you're gonna take. Um, Alright, so Foodle's gonna like, I'm sorry! He's gonna like sort of ruffle uh, Kiona's ears, and he's gonna pull out his dagger and just stab into her. Uh, yeah, so you need to actually be here for that. Right, sorry. Yeah. Oh god! Non-lethal! Non-lethal! It's only five Shit. extra damage, it's fine. It's only five That's extra pretty damage. bad. Listen, you, you could choose to, like, kill hey. your punches. I can almost max roll it, too. Ugh. Uh, so yeah, you stab this sheep, and you're, and you're kind of like, oh, that was a little bit deep. Uh, <laughs> and, Kiona, and Kiona just bamps back into her original form. Oh, oh, mm, thanks. Sorry! I don't know my own... Strength, apparently. Uh, it's been a while since I did that, we and then Foodle's <laughs> for his second attack. This thing's gonna have plus two AC, huh? Uh, yeah. Foodle's gonna fire a gimbal shot. Mazra, watch out! Aha! That is a hit. Has it taken damage? It has. Oh, uh, has oh, it? Shit. No, it has not. Oh, no, okay. it has not. I apologize. That's okay. Yeah. That didn't matter. Okay. Is that and then Poodle's going to move there. And that's his turn. Okay, Mazra. Okay. I assume, I think the, the rule was that if she moves first... Then attacks, she gets an op attack, or she takes one. Was that the way it works, or is it if you attack, like if she moves, then attacks? Does that still work? If she moves, then attacks. If she moves yeah. out of threat range. No, no, no. She, she just wants to move like here, like just slip past. Oh, that's not an op. Yeah, that doesn't trigger an op attack. No. Okay. All right. She'll do that, and then stab, stab, and uh, she's got her. She's got, uh, red out, so she'll... Okay. This is at advantage. Oh, my God. Oh, Dang. shit. Where were these rolls during the worm fight? Right? right? Jeez. Don't worry, I'll be rolling ones uh, when we get out there, so... All right, so that's <laughs> actually seven... It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> eight, nine... 
So oh that first my attack is nine. God. No, so and she then gets then plus thirty. What the thirty? I'm so mad right now. Another four. It's like watching oh them my go goodness. get flushed into the toilet. It's like watching it going down, and you can't prevent it. <laughs> like, you, you just almost deleted this guy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, you, you dance around, and uh, it's so focused on having stabbed a scanner like, <laughs> that uh, it doesn't notice as you just plunge your knife into its back, and the knife blade pokes out of the front of its crude leather armor, and it stares down in surprise. And, uh, Kiona, it is your turn. Unless there's anything else, Mazra. <laughs> Kiona no? Okay, is Kiona relieved to see the knife come out the front of that guy's chest from where her vantage point is down where she's at. Yeah. Uh, that makes her pretty happy. Um, and she's going to kind of sidle up to the door there and say, are there more? Because she doesn't want to, she, she can't see anything. She doesn't want to just walk in and get an op attack on her. Like, because she gets too close. Is that legal? Can I yeah, can that's shout okay. down yep. the thing? Yep. And you can you can respond. Nope. It's clear. Okay. So then she'll kinda of limp in here a little bit with them. Move so that Poodle can get in. Well it doesn't look like this is it, is it? You're not gonna be able to walk through this guy. Oh, okay. So she'll just be standing here, like, yeah. around. Yeah. Is he still alive? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's still alive? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought you killed him. No. No. I'm sorry. None of no. that happened. None no. of the... <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was dead. I was so confused. I... Okay. No, because I thought... Yeah, I, thought yeah, I was like, what is he doing? No, I, I just... I thought he was dead. I'm sorry. No, no that's all right. That's all right. Firebolt. <laughs> hey. Roll it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, uh, no. No. You fire a firebolt up the stairway, but uh, it sails over the goblin's head and, right. and impacts the far wall harmlessly. Okay. Well then, that's that. Okay. Uh, Iskander is, uh, he's going to recover from getting stabbed in the back with that spear. Uh, make an attack. It looks good. And he just swings around with that scimitar and lops the goblin's head off. And that is it. Now it's dead. He'll kind of move over here. Looks like another door here. And it is Foodle's turn. Okay. Uh. Okay. Ah. I guess here we go. Five, ten, and this this would cost ten, right? Yep. Twenty, twenty-five. Can Foodle see that window or no? Cause I, the player, can see stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. All right, Foodle's gonna fire uh, a shot at. Well, actually, I've been kind of saving. Both of these guys have partial cover. Yeah, that makes sense. Foodle's yeah. going to actually burn a spell slot. He should have done this earlier. Sorry, guys. He's gonna cast Hunter's Mark on uh, this one here. You know, you gotta wait until your turn. I With was, his bonus action. Him, so check and see what he's firing at. Oh, fair, 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 fair. <laughs> Sorry. And then he's gonna fire yeah. two shots at this one here. Okay. At this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hunter's mark. And then he'll fire again. There we go. And Colossus. Oh wait, that probably doesn't hit actually. 
No. So, no. none of that matters. Does not hit. All right, first one does. Go. Um, for no nope, twelve damage. Yeah. So you fire uh, out the window across the expanse to this uh, this little uh, fortification tower here, and strike this guy um, before before it even realizes what's happening. Careful, there's more. And that's his turn. Okay. Uh, Mazra. Hold on, is Wolf muted? No, just thinking. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's okay. kind of the same, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to move, um, like, here for a moment. And so is, this is like a window I can see, like a feudal shot to shoot, shoot through this or? Um, yeah, this this here is a window, right? Here. Okay, so she's gonna try to shoot a crossbow bolt at this guy in the front. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's got partial cover. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, no, you fire your hand crossbow and the bolt just skips harmlessly off the flagstones. Okay. And then she's uh, going to move... I really need like... to roll initiative for these guys. Give me one second. Hold those thoughts. Um, so it's Mazra at eight. Uh, you, can finish, you can finish your turn. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I just had her move out of the line of sight, and that's that's her turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, is the goblin archer's turn? So, an um, enemy that you hear across the way, uh, this this chattering and gibbering uh, in goblinoid from from the other side. Um, so climbs up onto this table. From here, he has got a clear line of sight at Foodle, uh, imparting no partial cover advantages. But this guy doesn't get partial cover from Foodle either now, because he's climbed on top of the table. Um, and it is going to make two longbow attacks on Foodle. Uh, the first one at 20. Yes. Second at Eight. Ah. Uh, the twenty. The twenty hits, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Um. So you take. Now let me. Let me see. Okay. So that it just have to beat a ten. I rolled a ten and I add two, so twelve for the concentration check. Okay. Uh, that damage is not final yet, though. Oh, okay. uh, it is going to use an ability called Archer's Eye. Oh, to add another D10 to that damage. Okay. Um, so that's actually ten damage now. Okay. Okay. But he's able to maintain concentration. Yeah. Thank God. Okay. Uh, Kiona, you are up, and you're actually right here. Right. Um, would you say that it's been 10 minutes since the last time I used the bracer? No. No? Okay. Um, no. So I just wasn't sure how since we were... were... Since we're keeping, uh, since we're keeping our, our um, initiative up. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, so she's going to uh, see who will get hit by that arrow, come in um, and... On this side, because she can't stand on that guy. She sees that guy through the window. This one here that yeah. shot Foodle? Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so she is going to firebolt at him. Sure. Wow. Oh, God. There it is. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness, the rolls. Right? Yeah. Um, she'll take another step into the room so that she can see more clearly what's going on. 
kind of with us. Okay. Actually, she'll stay back here. But that's that. Okay. Uh, this goblin here. What does it have in terms of line of sight? Foodle is. Foodle is under partial cover, but Kiona is not. Uh, so it pulls out a heavy crossbow uh, and fires a shot at Kiona, rolling an 18 at to hit. At disadvantage because of the at disadvantage. That her oh. Rolling a six her. to hit. Uh, excellent. Thank you, excellent, Bo. excellent. I love you. You are officially Bo. as if we didn't already know. The best Something. Person in the world. Something happens as you raise your hands instinctively to, uh, to to guard your vitals from this bolt that's coming in, and an invisible force knocks the bolt uh, so that it just goes boom, into the wall behind you. Very nice, very nice. Uh, and this goblin curses and backs away from the window. Um, Scander is going to... I'm going to say, under these circumstances, um, opening a door is a bonus action with us keeping our initiative up like this. I think normally it's an action, but I think that kind of bogs down the action economy too much. So, oh, bonus action is going to open a door. Says if, it's, if it's unlocked, opening a door as just part of your movement is considered a free action. Oh, dang. Awesome. So oh, you're fine. Collie Flumps, thank you for reading all this stuff. I find I yeah. find that part of the books like I'm like skip, 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 skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, as a player, I'm just like, what can I do? How can I maximize my turns? <laughs> uh. I don't think that way. Even as a player, I'm like boring. I'm just just <laughs> take that that whole group of pages and just go full. <laughs> <laughs> Which is doesn't doesn't mean that's not a good thing. I should do it right. like you. <laughs> okay, so that's a free action then. So five free action, open the door, 10, 15, 20. Uh, 25. Now how does this swashbuckler ability work? Let's let's read this. You don't need advantage in your attack roll. You're sneak attacking against a creature within five feet of. If no other creatures are within five feet of you, you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. Okay. So that was the right move to sit the, set up there. Okay. So Scander is going to um, hack at this guy. He's going to bust in the room and just charge the guy on the on the stone table. Uh, that is not going to be a hit. Mm. Uh, shoot. So he's going to bonus action disengage kind of move over here to make some space. Um, this one is going to move here and make three spear attacks against Iskander. Two of which hit, oh. the third does not. So Scanner takes 12 damage. Okay, Foodle, you are up. Now, a Scanner does only get the one reaction. Does he want to have any of those? or? I think so. Okay. Five, Three ten, hit points is better than none. 15. Uh, God, I'm gonna be so in the way. Aha! Uh, Fool's gonna come busting up the stairs, and this is the one that he's got Hunter's Mark on, and he's gonna fire uh, at that one. Nice. That's good. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay, and and it's not at full HP because he's hit it before. Oh, frick's sake. Yep. That's okay. Oh, and then. No. 
<laughs> He's gonna <laughs> fire again. Ooh, no. Okay. Oh, uh, that is not a hit. Um, and I mean that's all he can really do. Yeah, that's his turn. Okay, Mazra. Kiona, you're just about up on deck. Quick question: Is this um? Yeah. Oh, man. Is this um? Can I can I dagger through here? Is that acceptable or not? Can you throw your dagger through here? Like through like. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Into so... this space or this space? Okay. So she was. Okay. Megan has another important question for you. I've responded. Oh, okay, nice. All right, so you throw your dagger through the window and you just appear in a uh, <laughs> right in front of this this goblin right here, and he in with the bow, and he's uh, currently reloading his his arrow, and he's just like. <laughs> Uh, how tall is this table? Is it like? It's, you try it's to about stab him? like it's about like, uh, like this high on you. Okay, so she could try to just reach up and just kind of. Oh, you could, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so she'll she'll try. To... <laughs> the goblin basically on top of the table stands about this tall. Okay. Totally. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay. Yeah, and as you reappear with your other dagger, you thrust up, stabbing into it. Um, is that your turn? Uh, yes. Yeah. I think so because you did hear. That was my bonus. Yeah. Misty nonsense. Um, this goblin archer, uh, he is going to drop his bow and just start swinging madly at you with his short sword. Uh, Ooh. a 21 and an 18. Ooh. I think both do, because it, if it meets it, it does it, right? If it meets, it hits, yeah. Yeah. Um, so five and seven piercing damage. Okay. Are you having either of those? I may hold off on that, actually. Okay. Okay. Right, then Kiona, you're up. Actually, before Kiona's up, um, this one is going to use Nimble Escape. The goblin can take Disengage or Hide action as a bonus action on each of its turns. And it's going to drop down here and take cover behind the table. Uh, now, Kiona, you're up. Um, okay. Um... So she's gonna kind of rush over to the window to see what she can see through the window. Um, and she is going to also firebolt again because just which which one? The guy behind firebolt. the table is probably. probably oh, is it at disadvantage? Yeah. No, it's not at disadvantage. Okay. Um, he's got a lot of cover, but a twenty-four is a pretty high roll. So that hits. Okay, and as it's jumping down from on top of the table to take cover, uh, the firebolt actually hits it in the shoulder and it kind of just <laughs> and stumbles. Nice! Mazur will always know when Keon is there for her because these firebolts and shit will come out of the nowhere. <laughs> like when the fire stops coming, Mazur knows to be concerned then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, is that it for your turn? Uh, yeah, I think so because she wants to come. She wants to keep an eye on Mazur, actually. Yeah. So. And Kiona, we'll say with like the between combat and stuff, at this point, one minute has passed. Okay. Since you activated okay. your brace. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I, I we'll added an count. extra round or two, but I, I wasn't, yeah. just wasn't sure what the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll start the count for minute two here. Okay. Uh, this goblin um, is going to uh, sidle up 
to Mazra and make three spear attacks. Ooh, a 22 and a 24 will hit. For four and nine. That's why I saved my reaction. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so take five back then. Okay. Off of that nine. So that'll be four and four, eight damage total. Okay. And that's going to be its turn. Iskander going to make an attack at advantage. Woof. Can you mm -hmm. can you do me a favor? I'm curious about something because I've been reading about roll, some some of the eccentricities of roll twenty. Uh, is the Iskander token like semi transparent for you? Can you see like the lines on the floor through them? No. Okay. No. Oops, sorry. That's, a, that's a weird that's a weird thing that the GM sees with dynamic lighting. Um, so if you ever see that in your campaign, Collie Flumps, and you're wondering why are my tokens transparent a little bit. Uh, it's something to do with the dynamic lighting and what the DM sees. Anyway, moving on. I've never seen uh, this. 21 will hit. You never notice that? It's very, very faint. Um, but anyway, it's been driving me nuts. I thought I thought I was uploading them wrong or something like that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. 11 slashing damage and sneak attack. Oh! oh it's exactly lethal. Yes! <laughs> um, <laughs> And this time, Iskander kind of fakes him out, knocks the spear out of the way, and with two hands, just goes boom, and cuts him in two. Uh, and then he is going to move in for uh, into threat range with this guy here. Uh, that goblin is dead. It is Foodle's turn. Nice, Iskander! Good job, everybody! Uh, Foodle's going to... Gosh, I guess only the archer's taking damage, huh? So Foodle's going to go 5, 10, 15. He's going to use his bonus action and say, I've got you in my sights! And uh, use his bonus action to transfer the hunter's mark to this one. And he's going to fire... Because I'm guessing it probably doesn't get a plus two because Swoodle's moved around the... It did, no, you have a clear line of sight. So. Okay. A 15 does not hit. Oh. Ugh, do I want to use a superiority die? I guess I already know that it doesn't hit, so it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, and Foodle's going to fire again. Okay. Hopefully yeah, that'll that, hit. That, that does hit. Okay. Oh. Well, Ooh, how do you want to do okay. this? <gasps> so Foodle's going to come running into the room, say, I've got you in my sights. Fire, go, shit, reload, and then fire again, <laughs> this time actually sort of leaning up against the wall for uh, for some support, and he's going to fire again. That's right. That's you... right. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and the goblin just gets hit, and he spins out dead as soon as it like even before he hits the ground uh, yeah I, uh, I leveled up these goblins yesterday i took like the the standard jobbers that were all the way back when you guys were level one and i decided to, to buff them up a bit so you had some some fodder befitting your level i see that i think that's brilliant all right that's foodle's turn okay uh mazra Okay, she'll go after this guy that's in front of her. Oh my god, how so many? This how is really many is this that? Is so annoying because it's going to be really bad next time. I just, I mean, <laughs> that's three bad right now. natural 20s. Really okay. The boss fight is going to be like. Oh, it's going to be ones yeah. all over the board. It's a disaster, isn't it? It's just ones all over the place. Uh, okay. 23 sneak attack. Shit. Four. Oh my goodness. That's insane. <laughs> that's that's a lot of damage. Yeah, here's her offhand. That's a lot of damage. Oh, and an offhand. Yeah, because she's using she's using her daggers this time. So. 
Yeah. So you just like you just like stab into this guy's shoulder and, and just like fall oh, and he's like <laughs> And then with your other dagger you just kinda go like flick. <laughs> <laughs> if they both hit, that's thirty Yeah. No, forty two damage? Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. That's forty two oh. damage in one go. Yeah. And she's gonna go um, uh yeah. Oh, the lighting, the light, oh, the lighting. I'm in complete darkness now. Now what did are I do? You? Where are you? You haven't moved for me. Oh, there. Right, okay. are you? There, okay. Oh. Yeah, you didn't move for me either. It must have been a glitch on your end. Okay, so, just, so she's moved, just going to do that. She can, be back. yeah, she can pull back without, she attacked the guy, she can pull back. So. Yeah. Uh, Kiona. Um. This guy still alive? That's in the window here that I can see. Yep. Okay. Yep. He's the only one left. Okay. <laughs> Firebolt. Uh. Hit. Just really trying to save her spell slots, you guys. Yeah. Well, that's smart. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Not you didn't bad, need spell slots. Bad. Holy. That'll do it. Um, yes. It's Thirteen damage. How do you want to do this? Oh yeah, yeah. She's just gonna. She's just gonna. Uh, this one is gonna like instead of going inside of his head, it's just gonna engulf his head. So he looks like a lighted match for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then you have your move if you want to enter the room oh, with yeah. everybody else. Okay. So in here, strewn around the uh, dead bodies of the goblins, you see uh, you see this table that that has some burnt out candles on top of it, and not much else going on. Uh, you also see a lever in the floor at Iskander and Poodle's feet. Um, and I believe it is Iskander's turn. And he kind of gestures to the lever and looks at everybody else. Well, friends. What do you think? Let's do it! Kiona will shrug. Okay. Okay. Scanner grabs the lever, gives it a big pull, and you hear a mechanism kind of a... kind of locks in place, and in the distance, you hear a grinding uh, sound of stone on stone. back in this general direction. I pinged in the darkness back in this general Fiona direction. Fiona is going to kind of walk over to the window and look for if she can see anything moving. Is that... Oh, I'm sorry. Is that uh, out of turn? Nope. That's out of turn order. My bad. Yeah, that's out of turn. Um, but no, you do not see anything moving from out the window. Um... And Iskander is going to spend his movement 5, 10, 15. Uh, shall we go back? I think so. 20, 25, 30. Okay, Foodle, you're up. Okay. 5, 15, 20. 25, and then he'll use his action to dash. Here we go! Five. Can he go there? <laughs> yep. Okay. He just oh, runs wait. past the scander. All right, after you! And Fudo's okay, gonna ready a shot. Just in okay. case. Yep. Before Maj release, was there, was oh. there anything... Oh, go ahead. He can't. He can't. He used his action okay. to dash. Just On a kidding. glance, yeah. is there anything else in this room that looks... Like it's worth looking at again. You can roll an investigation as your action. Okay. Kiona flutters her eyelashes at you a little bit. <laughs> you slightly uh, distract Mazra. Distracted. <laughs> distracted. <laughs> uh, yeah. You you find you find nothing of note. Okay. You're a little you're a little distracted. Um, but, yeah. Nothing of note other than Kiona. All right. Other than Kiona. 
Plaza and I open pudding cup. Oh no. And not a spoon okay. in sight. Flutter. <laughs> Did you hear that one, Flutter? Did I'm, you hear that sound clip? I'm, yes. Did you watch the clip? I think oh, I my yeah. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Uh. Bo makes a good point. If you're ready in action, uh, oh yeah, you can't ready in action anyway. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, is that your turn, Mazra? All right, Kiona. Um, what? And she's gonna follow them into the other room. Um, if Mazra didn't see anything, Mazra has the observational skills of all of the people that she would ever possibly aspire to be. So she <laughs> just follows. <laughs> She's like, if Mazra didn't see okay. it, I won't find it either. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> 10, 15, 20. I suppose I will go first. Uh, he's going to use his action to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20. Friends, uh, one of... One of these doors has opened. Oh. And it's Foodle's turn. Wait, which one? Foodle's gonna come running down the stairs. Five, ten, fifteen. Oh! This this leftmost one has. Is this. What's what does Foodle see? Oh, just up the, some stairs or down there's some stairs? There's a set of. Or? There's a there's a set of stairs leading up. Ah, okay. Um, and then it looks like you can't entirely see down it, but it looks like there's a there's a passage leading on from there. I, I see some stairs heading up, and maybe a hallway. Uh, f now Foodle's gonna ready an attack with Gimbal Shot, if okay. um, and and he'll. I mean, I guess he can decide when he sees the enemy, but if he yeah. sees something that he thinks is an enemy, he'll yeah. shoot. Mazra. Um, I think she's gonna wait there and also she'll ready a uh cantrip and hold that. Uh okay, which cantrip? Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's sacred, not a sacred flame. Uh, 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 okay. Super blah blah blah. Super blah blah blah. <laughs> blah 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 blah. <laughs> okay, that's the verbal component when you cast it. Yeah. Uh, and then and then it echoes like salt spire. So blah blah blah. <laughs> um. All right. Kiona, I guess it's, isn't it the dwarf that echoes when he does stuff? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Kiona, you're up. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, well, I guess we might as well check it out. It's the one that's open, right? Yeah. Uh, shall I move first? Thank you. My wife made me a mixed drink. Oh. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the first time she's made one for me. This is Phenomenal. lovely. That's amazing, Megan. Oh, I'm tasty. so proud of you. It's tasty. What is it? Oh, is that your Mai Tai? Did you do it? That's a Mai Tai, yeah. Oh. Yep, she did it. Yeah. Wait, you're drinking did Mai Tai? It. Mai Tais are so good. <laughs> What exactly did she put it? I think I think she looked it up. Yeah, she found one that uh, had the ingredients that you a version that had the ingredients you had. And so. I think it's I think it's pretty. Is it pineapple juice, orange juice, uh, spiced rum, coconut rum, and a bit of grenadine? Nice. Fantastic, Spiker. Spiker. Good tasty. job, tasty. yo. I like, it. I like it. Thank you so much, I'm Megan. I'm proud of you. All right. 
so it's amazing. All right. Uh, so Iskander, he's gonna he's gonna take point and go ahead. Uh, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, there's a door here, friends. Can you open it? Check it for traps. Ah. <laughs> a wise piece of advice, Mr. Fu. Uh, and he's going to check the door for traps as his action. Uh, it looks clear to me. I'm opening it. Okay. And he opens the door. There's another passage beyond. Uh, he's going to move there. And that's his turn. Foodle. Can't he bonus action dash? Maybe he doesn't want to bonus action dash. Bit. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to bonus action dash. Another door waits for us on the other end. At, at the end of the hallway. At the blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Mazra, uh, please prepare your blah, 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 can. <laughs> um, actually, Iskander is oh. going to wait here for everybody to kind of form up on him before moving into the next room. Okay. Okay, here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's Foodle's turn. Oh wait, actually, Foodle's gonna use his bonus action to uh, use second wind to get some health back. So I will roll that in a second. Uh, but yeah, go ahead, Mazra. Does someone... Oh my god. And she'll... Oh. Sorry. She'll keep that cantrip uh, prepared. Okay. Uh, Sacred Flame? Prepared for what? Um, if there's, uh, like, an enemy on the other side of the door, so... Okay. Great. Kiona. Um, yeah. Bonus action, run, because she wants to catch up with everybody. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. All right. And what? I'll hold a firebolt for an enemy. No, because... Thank you. Because, is that a thing? I mean, because I had to use my... No, you can't, because your because bonus... The, you can't yeah, run okay. on your bonus action. Cool. So that was right, right. Got it. Cool. That's okay. Yeah, we're the... We're the... <laughs> Not cool ones, Kiana. <laughs> we can't do those ones. <laughs> yeah. Iskander turns around and gives Fudo like a little punch on the shoulder and says, I think you're cool. Uh, and he turns around. Kiana and... will nod in agreement at Fudo's delight. <laughs> and he throws open the doors. And woof. Oh, shit! This guy has partial cover. It doesn't. It doesn't count. Oh. It doesn't count. Not with that cantrip. Ooh, okay. Yep. Okay. Post poster in the chat. <laughs> He's within range. <laughs> okay. It does have to make a saving throw, Dex. Okay, flame like radiance, blah blah blah. The target must succeed on a deck same throw or take one d eight radiant damage. This one, yeah, or this one. Uh, that the first one. The first one. Okay. Sturdy. Oh, it crit fails, so it takes the damage. Good. <gasps> Fight it. Uh, so, can you give me the the damage roll, please? Oh, oh shit! I doing everything on these goblins. D twenty, what are you doing to me? It's okay. You know, the easier just... it is to get through the trash, the more resources we have available to us when we get That's to the fair. boss. So. That's fair. <laughs> okay. 
sorry, could you just give me one second? Yeah, you're fine. You know, chat, I was just thinking when Ghost rolled that crit fail on the deck save, I was just thinking, like, I'm tempted to maybe, I'll have to think about it, but like on a, on a crit fail, which isn't really a thing in the rules, to be clear, but I think on a crit fail for the enemies, I think it'd be fun for the heroes to get, like, either advantage or, like, max damage on, like, a cantrip like that. I don't know. Probably advantage on the damage roll. You know what I mean? So, like, you'd roll 2d8 and take the higher roll? I don't know. Maybe. That could be kind of cool. Because they, like, critically failed at dodging the attack or whatever. I don't know. Could and it's usually fun. not too bad with something like this. It's like, this only can you know, only do, like, 8 damage. That's not monumental. Yeah. Well, exactly, right? I was like, man, that'd yeah. be kind of cool <laughs> if, like, you just max damage on that. Which you did anyway, so. Right. <laughs> yeah, Bo. The problem is I can't afford any of it. <laughs> but yeah. I think that'd be cool. Oh, that makes okay. sense later. Get some good, re you know, relaxation in, man. Oh, yeah, and Ghost, okay. you're fine. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. No. The uh, the neighbor needed to text me about something, but uh, everything is good. Um, good. So, Scander opened that door as a free action. And I think he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Bullshit. Bonus action dash. 5, 10, 15. He's going to make a scimitar attack on this goblin. 17 will hit. So he runs up, delivering a, a wicked slash, uh, piling on the sneak attack damage. Fantastic. Uh, and that is his turn. Foodle. Are both the doors open, or just the one a scander was behind? Both doors. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, and both these creatures... Because Foodle can see this one. Does this one have, like, the half cover or whatever, or just this one? No. No. You have a clear line of sight. This one okay. has a half cover because there's this well yeah. in the middle of the room that is kinda that's kinda partly blocking it. Yeah. Okay, Foodle's gonna um, use his bonus action to transfer Hunter's Mark. He's gonna be like, ah, you're going down next to this one here, and he's going to fire gimbal shot at that one there. Ooh, nice. That's a hit. Oh, good. Okay. And then he's going to spin it around as it reloads and then fire again. Nice. Dang. There we go. And then Colossus Slayer as well. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? It's, it's okay. And for his movement. He's going to go 10, 15, and say, Kiona, use cover! Uh, and probably scooch back even there. And that's his turn. Okay. Yeah, basically, Bo. Sorry. Right on, Mazu, you're up. Okay. Uh, she'll go. Let's see. Okay. Now you can't cross these squares right here. Not, yeah, I went. I went like. So, you so I went around and then back kind of, up. Yeah. 
I suppose it's the same amount of movement. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing I did do is I did I did this, so I was out of the range of this guy. But yeah. Okay. Is that within his? Well, you range are. You are. Him? Yeah. The, you are in his threat range now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then I guess she'll go. Um, so instead, she'll just find. And she'll go. She'll go for this guy instead. Okay. Okay. And actually, we'll we'll go to this space so that Kiona can have a so there's line of yeah. sight. Yeah. Uh, well, seasoned fighters here. At least that's what we try to think. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's true. Our characters are more competent than we are. Right. We'll put it that way. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. And because she because she uh, she did use her bonus like to move that whole way, um, she will attack uh, once using um, rapier. Uh... Okay, good. Does that hit? Uh, that hits. Yeah. So, 12 damage? How do you want to do this? Oh, um, I think she'll just kind of go for the classic, just kind of runs in and just takes a big swing at the guy, like right in the, like right in his, like, shoulder area over here. Okay, yeah. And so you skewer that, that rapier blade into him and he dies on your sword. Uh, is that your turn? Yep. Okay, excellent. Kiona. Yeah, sorry, Bo. Uh, Kiona's line of sight isn't um, completely open to everybody right now. Uh, so yeah, Kiona's going to move into the room, taking stock as she moves in to what's going on, seeing that Iskander seems to have the only dude that we're against right now, and so she is going to... No, she's just gonna throw the fireball at this guy. Um, or not fireball, sorry, firebolt. Bolt with a T. Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> God. Ooh, that's not so great. Aww. Um, yeah, it's not really worth. I think one of these guys is not really worth using any of her extra things on it, so. That's that. She's just gonna hang out there. What? Shout back one left foodle. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I know, but you're that. looking hurt. <laughs> It'll be all right. <laughs> and at that point, just just as Kiona says, "It'll be all right." You hear a hiss of air oh, from God. across the room, and you look over and you see. These familiar coffin like. I knew iron I recognized chambers. them, son of a bitch! And as they open, oh! out step two large armored figures with flat, featureless face plates, except for six burning red, molten iron eyes. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> this this one. <laughs> five, ten, <laughs> fifteen, <laughs> twenty. Flanks is scander. Making two slam attacks against him. One hits. Uh, and he is actually going to have that for five damage. Uh, it is Iskander's turn. He's actually going to... <sighs> this is a bad position that the DM put Iskander in. Uh... Did he do the thing that Mazra sometimes does where he attacks this one and then like he can reposition around this goblin? He can, yeah. I would rather, like, take this one off the board. Well, that might work, because if he hits, it'll... It might, might work. 
Yeah, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna try for it. Uh, so he is going to uh, he's gonna get jostled by by the uh, the golem coming in behind the iron forged, uh, and he's gonna try to turn his his sort of moment of surprise uh, into an attack on the goblin. Uh, <gasps> hits it. Nice. Eight damage. That's pretty. That's a pretty good hit. Um, finish him. Okay. Yeah. Finishes finish him off with the sneak attack, uh, and then kind of kind of drops low and does sort of a half step, half roll over here. Um. Yeah, and he that can bonus his action turn. disengage if he needs to. He can, but he's gonna keep this thing locked here. Right. What was instead what was that of, sound? Was it a good around. sound? There was like a squelching sound. No, it's the <laughs> six-sided golems. Oh. Uh, and this one is just gonna step up right here and oh, God. slam Kiona. Uh, Seventeen. 11 bludgeoning damage, Kiona. Only one person gets this little key. Browse. <laughs> Pug's shouting shield in the chat. Yes, <laughs> that time, shield would have won that time. That mark one it in time. the book! <laughs> mark it in the book! I did, okay. I did mark it. Uh, I did mark okay. it. <laughs> cool. right. It is your turn. 11 bludgeoning, shit. Okay. Wait, what?! Oh crap! Not these things again. Foodle's gonna. Oh god. Can Foodle do anything? Yeah. You know what? Foodle's a big DM hero. So instead of moving there, he's gonna go five, ten, fifteen. He's gonna run up straight to this thing, fire his musket straight at it. It's okay, Kyoto, we got this! Fuck! And he's gonna use a superior... Is he? Is he gonna use a superiority die? Uh, that's a hit. You, oh. you remember You remember that these things are, like, really slow and lumbering, but take a lot of damage. Right, so he sticks his musket right in his chest and fires, and then he's going to use a superiority die to try to knock this thing prone. So three extra damage, and it needs to make a strength saving throw as he's tripping it. Okay. Eleven. It falls prone. Okay, yeah. So it slams Kiona with its fists, and you rush up, point blank shot, and it kind of just gets knocked off its feet, just gets blown over. Oh, that's so good. Okay, if I'm remembering the prone condition right, it doesn't specify about melee attacks, or is it melee attacks? Within five feet, have Prone, advantage. Yeah, it says yeah. an attack Daily roll attacks. against the creature has advantage if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. It doesn't oh, specify so it's anything. Not melee attacks. It's Page attacks in melee range. Yeah, yeah, an attack roll against the creature okay. has advantage if the attacker is within five feet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. Kyoto, we there got it this. Um. So, oh, I forgot to do this. There we go. And then Foodle's going to attack at advantage. With gimbal shot. We got this, Kyoda! So he's gonna fire. Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! So no! Hunter's oh, Mark your, your twice. Your dive is one, which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, it happens, right? And then Colossus well, that is, twice. That is accurate. Um, God, how much health do these things have? I don't remember. Uh, you remember they have a lot. Uh, I can't really do much more than that, probably. Yeah. Um, okay. So you so, knock this thing over, aim down, boom, and you see just, like, Homer just fly off, and this, this thing is looking... Uh, quite dented and battered at this point, but still in fighting form. 
All right. Uh, and I think that's everything Foodle can do. It's okay, okay. Kiana. We got this. All right. Mazo, you're up. You okay. Um... Did I miss calculate that? Yeah. There was Yeah. So she can move that. I guess I guess it's just okay. sometimes the 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 squares don't match up, so it's a little confusing. So Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. So she will attack. She'll use her dagger this time. Um okay. Uh, that is a hit. Okay, and then she'll do a offhand as well. Goodness for that. That is a hit as well. And that she's gonna stay. She's gonna stay there. Okay. Uh, so two quick attacks with your daggers. Uh, you managed to find some perches underneath the armor plates. Uh, and and the molten metal begins to bleed out uh, flavorfully but harmlessly. Um, and Kiona, it is your turn. Now, I think if you move out of this thing's threat range, it still gets an op attack, but it's at disadvantage because it's prone. Right, and I um, I did just. You also have that. Uh, you also have that uh, disadvantage turned on you need we need to remember that did it actually hit you no no that i didn't have it turned you? on this time because i didn't turn it on purposefully because i thought there was only a goblin left in this room but did, didn't you still have it on i've been i've been tracking you said 10 minutes right or is it one minute? it's one minute it's yeah, it's one minute never mind we Why have I been had tracking it turned that? off last round okay. last fight okay never mind then never mind then um so it is still on, but she is going to turn it back on because she didn't do it last turn because she thought they were done here, but uh, apparently they're not. So she is turning that bracer back on as her bonus action. Uh, she'll pass her hand over top the bracer. The, the runes will glow blue on the back of it again. Um, and a little, little blue shield appears above her head. Uh, or around her head, I guess. Um, and um, she is going to if that thing is on and she moves away and it has disadvantage and that thing gives it disadvantage does that mean that the op attack is cancelled question mark sorry if if she does have her bracer on and that thing is already at disadvantage does that mean that the op there's no is such canceled? thing as there's so no such thing as double disadvantage okay, no right. Cool. No, so you might want to reconsider turning the bracer on in this instance. Right, because you're right, because it's you're... already disadvantaged against her. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so maybe she doesn't do that. Um, uh, she doesn't do that. Uh, and then <laughs> she is going to, um, oh, fuck, these things are immune to her fire. She, uh, yeah, she's still going to move away from it because she doesn't. She um, doesn't know what else to do. Uh, she's just backing off of this thing. Um, maybe the six eyes gets her. I don't know. But she just sees it. She can't. Uh, so she's going to try to back up. So it's going to have its disadvantaged op attack. I guess she stays there until that happens. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll address that in a second. Okay. Um, at disadvantage, is a 10. Okay, beautiful. Uh, so we, so to clarify, Bo, we always thought that attack rolls, um, ranged attacks against prone creatures are at disadvantage. The rule is actually attacks that are more than five feet away are at disadvantage. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Those it's are not, not ranged the same or melee. They're not yeah. the same she thing. She could yeah. take a crossbow yeah. and like shoot it down in its face and instead of being at disadvantage. From point blank range, yes. Right. From five feet away, yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. But from this distance, well, no. So, I don't know if that's true for Kiona. There are two things that could give you disadvantage at point blank range. One is because you're using a ranged weapon in melee range, right. and one is um, if you're further away and they're prone, right? Mm -hmm. But like, I because Kiona doesn't have like the archery, right? Right. She doesn't have you know, the crossbow expert or like gunner yeah. or whatever. Like you could you could melee this guy with your whip or something at advantage. Yeah. No, I mean, you may gonna... as well do it before you move, right? No. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Because what else are you gonna do? Because yeah, it's gonna be a disadvantage. A else, so. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I think it would be a straight roll because she has disadvantage with ranged, and the guy's prone. So I don't know. Anyway. Or, within five or feet. If if she's right there, she would be able to do the the advantaged dart thing. Yeah, like her rope dart. Yeah. Yeah. First roll hits anyway. Right, yeah. So yeah, so. you get the you get the nine. And then she is going to step over try to step away from it. Um so if it has a an attack. Wait, is that a crit? No. That was oh. because I hit it once it was and a it didn't click? show up until oh. I did it again. Oh. So I don't know. Of course. Right, right. Of course. Our crits. I just wasted a crit on a, on a throwaway oh. roll. That's, it's fine. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um. So, ghost. If it does take an up attack when she moves away, she's moving away at that point. These noodling yeah. rules. Yeah. Um. Are you up, up attacking? Yeah, I did already. Oh. Um, and it, got a 10. it was at disadvantage and it rolled a 10. Oh, okay. All right. So sorry. Okay. I got yeah. you, Kiona. I, I got that. you. I did that forever ago when you when you first moved away and then you changed your mind and made me attack. I apologize after that little discussion. About you don't need to apologize. Thing. That's um, okay. Uh, that yep. was a... <laughs> That's okay. Um, uh... She's coming here and she's looking down the hall. Uh, all right. The Iron Forged is going to make one slam attack on Mazra and one on Iskander. Uh, Mazra first. Okay, Mazra, 11 damage. Iskander. Uh, oh, Rick. What is that the second Skander's, roll as well? Scander's gonna have that because that's not a seven. That's actually another sixteen. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> so a Scander's gonna have that and take sixteen. Uh, <laughs> and the Scander's looking pretty hurt. Holy frack! That almost downed the guy. <laughs> Holy. Uh, so, Iskander's turn. Oh, damn. All right. All right, so he's he's going to, like, take a punch from, from this thing and turns, uses the momentum from that to turn around and deliver a critical blow back to this guy. And, jeez, that is a... 6 plus 4 plus 1, 11 plus 5 is 16. And he is definitely going to be pouring on two sneak attacks on this. 
Dude, you just he d a scanner just crit him right back. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, just critted him right back. Oh my goodness! Amazing. Roll twenty giveth and roll twenty taketh away. All right, <laughs> uh, and that is going to be scanner's turn because him and Mazer have this thing. They got they got it surrounded. They're just beating him up. Uh, all right, the Iron Forged gets back up to its feet. Well, oh, a little little bit unsteadily. Uh, and it's going to make two slam attacks on Foodle, so it sort of powers ah! over Foodle. And there's like a pneumatic hiss, and there's like uh, some steam coming out of its wrists as its its fists engage. Uh, and it is going to roll two oh. slam attacks. First one misses, second one hits for ten bludgeoning damage. Ah! Uh, and that is its turn. Foodle, it cannot, cannot leave your threat range. All right, Foodle is going to say, I'm going to send you back down there. And he's going to fire. Why am I at advantage? Hold on. Sorry. We'll ignore that. Um, so 16 to hit with Hunter's Mark. Mm. That's a hit. And he's going to use another superiority die to try to trip this thing. So strength saving throw, maybe? Yeah. God, these these rolls are so bad. I rolled I rolled a two, a two, and a three for my damage chat. And a strength save. It rolled a seven. All so right. it's tripped again. I fucking <laughs> told you! Uh, you <laughs> he blasts its other kneecap and it goes down. <laughs> so <food laughs> was again. This time, actually, at advantage. Fiona's level of respectful foodle has okay. gone up another peg like that. Uh, so, Hunter's Mark <laughs> and Colossus Slayer. Oh my god! No! Uh, and Foodle. Hmm. Honestly, this is probably fine. Fool is just gonna chill. I fucking told you! Stay down! <laughs> That's his turn. Okay. Oh, you know what? Mazra. Oh, thank God. Jeez. Sorry, I had to. He took a hit. I'm so <laughs> bad at the concentration checks. <laughs> he got a 18 plus whatever. Alright. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh,. And it's for that advantage, jeez. Hey, okay. wow. Uh, so that's 17. Oh, this thing is looking very hurt. Um, actually, she doesn't have to do that. Okay, what she's okay, she'll do uh, bonus to offhand. Um, See, that's the weird thing. It's like the numbers are so funky. It's just... Yeah. All right. I did... That is bizarre. Uh, it's an advantage, right? That still hits. Yes. I know, but a 24 and an 8, right. and then and an 8 and a 24, like... Like, what? Yeah. yeah. What is roll yeah, 20 yeah, yeah, yeah. still? Very odd. <laughs> so strange. So, yeah. despite the fact that they're, they they're have their, you know, friendship beat em up going on, she's actually going to... Since she's attacked this person, she can disengage without having to use a thing. So, um, so she has to, let's see. So she, she's going to move back here and that'll be her, uh, move turn. Okay. Kiona, you're up. Okay. What else to do right now, honestly. Uh, she fires these things, they heal, so um, that's the thing she's gonna do. That's 2D. Shit, that's 2D. Uh, no, 2D4 plus something. I 
have them. Wait, two two D4, D4 plus, plus two. two. Okay, it's fine. I was going to find it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. That's seven. That's not that's better than what she had, so that's fine. Um, that's, a, that's above. That's an above average roll. <laughs> so that is an above um, average so roll. Yeah. She's gonna drink a healing potion um, and take her turn after that to look down the hole. Like during drinking that and all of that, can she look down the hole? Is there anything interesting she can see in combat at the moment when she glances down this big long hole? It appears to just be a, a water well of some kind. But there's blood on the side of it. It extends, yes. yeah, okay. it extends deep into the darkness. Okay, cool. And you you hear the sounds of like a liquid of some kind lapping against the stone walls of the well. Okay, all right. Um, I really want to. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's it. That's all she's got right now because she just doesn't. These things terrify her, honestly. So she doesn't know what to do. With okay. Uh, and this one with only one target left is going to make two slam attacks on Skander. Uh, oh! 22 and it's 20. I keep on oh, forgetting to do this. I keep on forgetting to do this. Okay. Um, his proficiency bonus. Okay. He is going to use. Did he use his reaction this round? No. Mm. No. Unless, not unless because you want to. Because this thing goes yeah. before him. Um, so he is actually going to, yeah, negating this entire attack is, is the play. Um, he is going to negate, uh, this second attack. So he's going to take 11 damage. He's going to take the first hit and block and redirect the second blow with his scimitar. Uh, and then he will attack back, scoring a hit and ending this thing. He's just he just sort of lops its head off. I was really hoping the wolf would do literally two more points of damage in that last attack. <laughs> it's like two HP. I'm like no. Uh, and Iskander is going to... He's looking very battered and bruised. He's going to move back here. Um, the Ironforged doesn't understand your commands, Foodle. You did it! Uh, you did it! <laughs> and his stands back up. <laughs> it's, it's whirring and moving with much difficulty in consternation and it lifts up its fists and it makes two more steam assisted uh, slam attacks on you. This is gonna hurt. A 12 and a 20. The 20 is 10 bludgeoning damage. Uh, that'll hit. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So you take the 10 bludgeoning. Alright, constitution saving throw. Uh, 14 plus 2. So, 16. Okay. Alright. And you're up. What did I tell you? <laughs> it's gonna fire again at this thing. Ah! <laughs> That's right! You bastard! Why do I keep doing it in advantage? Anyway, it's a 30 anyway. Uh, so, what is that roll? Is that your second crit this combat? Yeah, it is. Uh, it is too. So 16 so, plus, so it's 18 damage, yep. plus hu double Hunter's Mark, plus okay. double Colossus Slayer. Is this thing still standing? I swear to God. No, it's not. How do you want to do this? It had six hit points left. No. <laughs> nice. So this thing, <laughs> this thing like hits Foodle and Foodle kind of like, you know, falls back a little bit, and he's gonna like come back around and smack this thing across the head with the butt of Gimbal Shot. As it's staggered, he's gonna jam Gimbal Shot into its mouth and pull the trigger. Nice. I yeah. told you, stay down. <laughs> and you know, you know that these things, you know that these things don't have a mouth, but you, well, you've they don't. like oh. battered this. But you've battered this thing. Well, the faceplate is blank, right? But you've battered right. this thing so much that you blasted off the lower half of its faceplate. And the the I made a mouth. Um, 
Well, yeah, and and you know that they, you recall that these were once like living flesh and blood creatures beneath. Uh, and you, the, when you blow the lower half of the faceplate off, it exposes the mouth permanently agape in that that uh, horrified and anguish anguish scream of agony as the molten iron was being poured onto the poor creature that was transformed into this. And it's that that you plug gimbal shot into and pull the trigger, and the entire head and shoulders of this thing is just blown apart into pieces. Kiona will remember that was hot. <laughs> and Poodle's gonna be like, look, I don't want to be the one to say I told you so, but we should have killed that robe guy. We wouldn't be dealing with this shit. How's everyone doing? Not great. Um, Ugh, not, not good. I do have this scroll as, as the heat of, bo- of battle dies down around you, uh, you take some time to look around. You see that you're in a, a laboratory of some kind. There are these iron coffins where the uh, where the, the um, iron forged are, are produced. You got a bookshelf with some books. You've got some sort of like a researcher or work desk here. And quite a grisly scene. There are uh, cages, iron cages here, uh, one of which has a skeleton in it. And you see some some dead bodies covered with bloody cloths here. Um, are we still sort of semi-initiative order? Because Foodle just took his turn. Oh. I don't. I don't know how that works. So what what we're gonna do? I'm I'm gonna actually propose that we uh, this is probably a good room to pause in um, for for our session. We're approaching hour seven here of our oh, right. five yeah. to six hour session. <laughs> um, right, Holly Flumps, I know you're tired and and oh, you should gosh, yeah. you should uh, you got you got some family stuff going on, some fantastic family stuff going on that you should probably you should probably see to a bit of that today. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, I've got supper coming up, uh, but yeah, so, but we can, we can do this room first. So why don't we exit initiative order, okay. uh, for now and you guys can, we can, we can take the time. We're not in a rush to end here. So you can take the time to like explore the room if you want. We can do a short rest and we can pick it up from here next time. Um, Oh, well, uh, prior to any idea of resting, Kiona is going to um, come over here to the, uh, the the things that create those golem things and try to examine mm-hmm. them and see if there's any way she can see how she might be able to turn them off or anything. Okay. She just wants to know what makes them work. She wants to figure out what the what the what the switch is, what the mechanism is. Mechanism. Yeah, roll roll just an intelligence check, I think. Uh, 13. Um, I mean, these these uh, tubes look like they do something here if you pull them out. Yeah, I mean, if that's if it seems it's like, like this, it would power the, down you know, machine. <laughs> you're 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 uh, you're looking at this infernal mechanism. You get the impression that to to the extent which, like, if you're trying to shut it down, you're like, well, if I turn these dials and pull these hoses out and things like that, that can't possibly be good for this thing. Right, right, right. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, this tube goes through the floor, so it has to go somewhere else and get something yeah. from there. So she's like, I'm going to just disconnect yeah, that whole yeah. thing right there. Yeah. I'm going to take an axe and just cut it. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So just trying to see yep. how to power these things down so that if they see them in the future um, sure so you you like uh, yeah. I mean you, do, you don't think you did anything with any great finesse right um, 
Like you're, but you, you know, you, you pulled this out, you, you jimmy that, you, yeah. you smash this thing, uh, and they, they release like a, a little puff of this blue white smoke, and, and it, it just, they're just, just shut down. Seems like they're dead, yeah. They seem to turn in there. All right, well, next time we see these things, we gotta make sure to do that first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Foodle wants to see... Are there are there any, like... He wants to know if there's anything alive in these cages. There's nothing alive in those cages. There, there you see a, a long, dead corpse in here. That, that actually looks like... Well, you need to roll an investigation if you want to study that. Okay. Um, would perception work if he's looking at it and smelling and... Mm, yes, but the information you're going to get from perception is much more limited. Okay. Uh, 22 perception. 22 perception jeez yeah. uh it, it looks like this this uh this is more of a skeleton than a corpse at this point some of the bones are broken it looks like this person died a very violent death mm. this is awful Can I see what kind of bodies these are underneath the sheets? Yeah. Yep. Do I need to investigate for that? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You you peel back the the sheets and oh. it's a grisly sight. Yeah. I like will. Whoever uh... these people were are have been mangled beyond recognition. So it is a, an investigation check. I'll guidance myself as well, just to be. Okay. Okay. You silently uh, call on the, the spirits of fire uh, and the spirits of your ancestors to guide you in your investigation. And you feel like they've given you just a just a little little bit of a nudge in the right direction. Um, the bodies under these. Uh, sheets many of them are, are just piles of dismembered parts um, but you realize with your investigation roll 26 that these are gnomes he puts the cover back over them Wise. Does she say anything? <laughs> okay, that's what nope. I thought. <laughs> right? That was the smartest move. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is why I'm hey, awesome. Look, goes she's into, learned like, from. Barbarian rage and, like, yeah. Yeah. She's learned from Oa oh, ate Kuna's horse. Let's go tell her right now. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good, that's probably good plan, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Uh, if Foodle, does Foodle have anything else that he wants to look at at the moment? Uh, nah. Kiona's next attraction okay. to the book. Okay. Book. Arcana. Just check my notes. Investigation. Roll, roll Arcana. Oh my god. God oh. damn it! It's like the world doesn't want Kiona to know anything about her magic. The whole fucking yeah. world. Always. All the time. Failing these rolls. Oh, god shit. damn it. The book is beyond your comprehension. It's practically indecipherable. She's still gonna close it up and, it, and put it in the bag of holding. She just She's angry, it, so she like slams it shut and like stuffs it into the bag. Okay. All right, you can add that to your inventory. Right. What about these books over here?
Basra, you want to take Yoda's a look? Would you? Because she can't read a book yet. It's been established that uh, that Kiana can't read. Yeah, clearly. Oh, clearly. God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find anything over there? Oh, just it's just it's just a mess. All right. Yeah, you want to help me look through these books? Sure, I'll help. Sure, Kiona's angry that she couldn't read the other one, so now she can't read any of them. So that's fine. So can we... Uh, it looks so, like Kiona's uh, helping. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you can, you can investigate. Okay. Oh my god. Yes! Dang. A lot of these... Books are are most of them are actually scrolls, um, and a lot of them are uh, records, meticulously kept records, about experiments being done on uh, Winfred's Iron Forged. It appears that th this was the original laboratory in which the Iron Forged were created. The laboratory at Winfred's Forge of Wrath was a larger sort of mass production facility, if you will, uh, compared to this one, which was sort of the, the initial experimentation lab. Um, the records end sometime after the fall of Amortica and uh, the, the movement of... The, the production of the Iron Forged to the Forge of Wrath from here. Um, and the last few entries kind of make notes of converting um, this space, um, this, in fact, this wing of the port, not just this room, uh, but this wing of, of the tower over to a new project. Whatever they were going to be doing here wasn't good. I think it's those I... things over there. Food will point at the, the big tube things. Possible. Well, I guess regardless, we should probably rest. We should. I just want to... I think we should try and shut those things down. Did you, did Kiona sh like shut them down? Or did oh, she, she oh, you, you okay, watched her. She took everything from yeah. anything that could okay, possibly yeah. power those good. things away from good. the walls. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kiona would like to rage. Yeah, she, yeah that was, that was <laughs> yeah. essentially. Because yeah. she can't do anything against those things. She's so angry when they come out. Because, oh. Um, yeah, so yeah. Uh, she will, uh, upon hearing we should rest, Say, I've, I've got this scroll. I know I'm hurt, and I'm not sure how much more I can do if Galthor is still ahead of us. Um, so she's. Is it? It's the Liam and scroll of Tiny Hut. So that they can take a longer rest, hopefully, maybe. I mean, is that. What's Go say? I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, time okay. And then that's where we can end this session. Then. Okay. All right. All right. Gosh. Thank you so much, everybody, for, for this wonderful Saturday session. This was fun. It was. This was incredibly I fun. Always, I always love these Saturday sessions. A fabulous comeback. Uh... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and we have we have some uh we have some good stuff coming up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh I great. Not wait for you guys to see what I have prepared for you for next time. <laughs> oh no. The good news is because I because I I uh did so much prep over the last couple of days. I'm planned through for Tuesday already, so we're we're ready to hit the ground running from here. Fantastic. Hell yeah! Yeah. Oh yeah. We are so close we to the end might. of this desert thing. Yeah, oh we might gosh. be able to finish it on Tuesday, maybe. 
That would be so, Me? so good. It is the bitter awesome. end of this stream, Mark Songs. It is the bitter end of this stream, <laughs> but we will be back on Tuesday on the Ghost Pepper the channel. Ghost Pepper we'll be, channel. We'll be on my channel on Tuesday. Over there. That guy. Uh, you guys. <laughs> is that? Yeah, there you go. Please follow Ghost Pepper if you'd like to see how this tower continuation ends with uh and woof and collie flumps right also yes yeah. because we play on all the channels um maybe someday uh, <laughs> we'll play on this someday. will be the hundredth episode <laughs> <laughs> we should totally do the hundredth episode on what's channel, channel. Be fun. how to do all that stuff if we say if we say right now <laughs> That we're going to do the hundredth episode on Bush Channel, it might give him enough time to prepare. Right, it I might will, actually. No, <laughs> I will forget about it until the week before, and then I will. Well, I was going to say, Woof, because it's it's a lot with all the overlays and stuff. Like at some point, I'll just well. I if I have someone to show me what to do, we'll doing it, like I'll figure it out. Oh, it's week, but, fine. We'll get Woof. But set somebody up. will help you set it up. Exactly. We'll we'll manage it. <laughs> You guys, yeah. this was so much fun. Thank you so much for this being the stream for me to come back on. I really appreciate that. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Heck yeah. yeah. Later. Oh, my god. Yeah, gosh. I'm so glad you're back, Flutter. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That was... Me, too. Yeah. That was a long that's time without craziness. you. We really missed you. I know. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh. Flutter is back. But, yes, I'm back. Um. So, shall we... Um. Uh, during the session, are we going to do a raid? Does anybody have somebody to raid? It's up to you. It's your channel. I see Peter and Plushy and Paytop. Why don't we Why don't we raid Peter? Oh, I've gosh. never raided Peter. Peter. Let's do it. Because Peter's, yeah, Peter's always, Peter's always at, at D&D, always supporting right, us. Right, right. I love it. I run Always supporting love Megan on her streams. It. So You're such well, a freaking homie. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so that's what we'll do. Let me put my thinger in here. Sorry, I am really slow at these kinds of things. Uh <laughs> oh my gosh. This was so much fun, you guys. Kind of figuring out uh, some of this stuff has been interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, Flutter, uh, I hope you enjoy a well-earned rest i hope you enjoy a well-earned chill evening after after your whirlwind adventures over the last it couple of weeks been crazy. It has been uh crazy. Mm -hmm. cauliflumps i hope you enjoy meeting and, and spending a bit of time with your nephew uh that's gonna be so so amazing i'm so happy for you uh woof <laughs> have a chill night i'm gonna go cuddle some cats bro. go yeah, cuddle, some, cuddle cats. some cats go cuddle some cats we all yeah. know that oh, yeah. cuddling cats is the best <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna order out and and snuggle up with megan on the couch and watch some tv fantastic man thanks for a good wonderful day you guys this was yeah oh, it was so good that's such a that it worked out so good to see yeah. and hang out with you guys yeah me too uh, i'm gonna hit that raid button you guys have a good night we love you all we'll see you on tuesday at ghost pepper right, everybody Channel. see you on tuesday bye, bye everyone Bye.